Yo Atlas speaking and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with a new series on the channel. What if I was reincarnated in the Naruto world as a branch Yuga and awakened the Tensegan? Part 1 Synopsis Being reincarnated into the Naruto world with all your memories intact seemed like a gift from the heavens, but that's until you realize the ninja world is far more cruel and far less forgiving than any anime. Not to mention you are born 13 years before the start of the Third Great Shinobi War. And expected to survive as a goddamn untalented, unskillful, not prodigy of the branch division in the Hyuga clan. It was clear I needed strength. All the knowledge in the world is nothing if you're not strong enough to change anything. That's why after the World War, I began to make plans to gain strength, and being unsuccessful for over half a decade called for a real change. After becoming a close student and confidant of Orochimaru, I began the research and experimentation. And finally my hard work has been completed. Project Tensegan is ready. That's enough with the intro the real story starts now, let the tale begin. Chapter 1 Tick 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 The sound of water droplets echoed in the gloomy passage, causing Kuroto to tighten the robes on his body unconsciously. He hated it very much. The dark passage in front seemed to lead directly to hell, always making him have all kinds of horrifying thoughts, but the one-eyed viper on his shoulder made him dispel the thought of turning and leaving. Involuntary. When he reached the end of the passage, Kuroto opened the door. Behind the door was a well-equipped laboratory with a figure standing inside. The figure turned around, it's Kuroto Kuen. Hearing this hoarse voice, Kuroto's heart trembled, and he lowered his head quickly. Orochimaru-sensei. Orochimaru looked at Kuroto thoughtfully, and then said for a long time. This laboratory will be yours in the future. Feeling the real gaze of Orochimaru, Kuroto didn't dare to think more than necessary, and hurriedly bowed and replied, Please rest assured, I will definitely work harder. Orochimaru looked away and glanced around the laboratory for a while, a bit of melancholy appeared in his eyes. I may be leading the village. For the future material, you can figure it out by yourself. Ads by Pub Future. What causes plaques oasis? it's not what most people think. Just search on the next page to find the silent but deadly signs. Trendseeker. Yes. Kuroto nodded and said yes without any hesitation, while the one-eyed viper standing on his shoulder was lazily flicking its tongue. Finally, Orochimaru took one last look at Kuroto, didn't explain anything, just left with a body flicker technique. With the departure of Orochimaru, the huge and gloomy chakra that filled the laboratory slowly faded. Phew! Kuroto breathed a sigh of relief. Recently, the aura on Orochimaru's body has become colder day by day, and it seems to have a bloody smell. Even if Kuroto reports the progress of the experiment from a distance, he still feels extremely uncomfortable. Fortunately, this difficult day seems to be over. But after thinking about it, Kuroto was a little confused. According to the vague memory from his previous life, it seems that Orochimaru left Kanoha after 4th Hokage's death. If Kuroto is correct then because of some conflict between Orochimaru and Danzo, the information on human experimentation of the village children was leaked that led to investigation under 3rd Hokage's orders and further course of events. But Orochimaru's attitude and actions just now seem to indicate that he has already prepared a plan to defect and could be launched at any time. Where did the deviation cause Orochimaru to defect early? Is it because of me? After sorting out everything in the past, Kuroto still couldn't think of a reason, but Orochimaru's defection is a good thing for him after all. As for whether he defected actively or passively currently, he can't do anything about it. Regarding Orochimaru, Kuroto's feelings are obviously complicated. If it weren't for the asylum under Orochimaru, Kuroto knew that he would not have survived the Third Ninja War so easily. After all, seven out of ten students in the same period had already died on the battlefield. Even a genius like Kakashi almost lost his life on the battlefield, and when compared to students of the same generation from the Ninja Academy, Kuroto couldn't even match one of Kakashi's moves. Living in the Naruto world as a pathetic weakling is the biggest sin one could commit. It's been more than ten years since he transmigrated here, 
but to this day, Kuroto still finds it hard to adapt to this ninja world full of killings. This is one of the reasons why he took the initiative to take refuge under Orochimaru, because when it comes to fighting talent, he is obviously behind his peers. During the battle, especially in life and death situations, his reaction is always slower than others. Sometimes, he really admires the ninjas in this world. Often, they have the ability to kill at the age of 6 or 7. It is commonplace to go to the battlefield at the age of 10, and then there are geniuses like Kakashi and Itachi who have already killed countless enemies by the age of 12. It's simply unbelievable. Ads by Pub Future. Kuroto does not have this talent. Fortunately, he was born in the Hyuga clan with white eyes. With the help of the white eyes, he was able to live in danger and survive on the battlefield several times. But good luck will not always last. Seeing the students of the same period die one by one, Kuroto resolutely took refuge under Orochimaru. You have to survive first. Staying alive is the most important to be able to rise. Kuroto also has certain advantages over others. With good education in his previous life, his comprehension abilities are far superior to that of ninjas of the same age. Coupled with the natural advantage of having white eyes, he quickly stood out in the laboratory of Orochimaru. He was able to learn a lot of genetic technology under Orochimaru's wings. Maybe because of witnessing too many deaths. In the later period of the Third War, Orochimaru was obsessed with the mystery of life. The clearest explanation is that Orochimaru no longer cares about the Third Hokage, no longer adheres to the low moral bottom line, and started doing a large number of cruel and bloody human experiments. In addition, Orochimaru also developed a keen interest in woods, white eyes slash Byakugan, and writing chakra eyes slash Sharingan. Kuroto's active refuge made it easier for Orochimaru to study the secrets of white eyes, so Orochimaru is still doing his best to guide Kuroto. The two sides hit it off quickly, so there was the scene just now. Of course, the reason Kuroto dared to take refuge under Orochimaru was that he knew that it would not take long for Orochimaru's attention to be attracted by the forbidden techniques in the village, such as the Edo Tensei and the Eight Gates of Life, plus he has the protection of Cage Bird, therefore he did not worry that Orochimaru will directly conduct human tests on him. Yes, the Cage Bird is indeed protection for the current Kuroto. Or to be more precise, for all the weak and struggling Hyuga clansmen, the Cage Bird is not only not confinement, but a kind of protection. Because of its existence, the Hyuga clan has avoided many serious problems and there are fewer people that covet Byakugan compared to Sharingan. As for another reason for taking refuge under Orochimaru, that is Tensigen. With his mediocre talent, besides attaining Tensigen, he really couldn't think of any other possible way for him to turn over and take his destiny into his own hands. As for Sinjutsu, even a once-in-a-decade genius like Orochimaru has difficulty to master it, let alone him. Otherwise, let alone the mediocre talent of Kuroto, even a genius like Niji died just from shielding Hinata from the debris of the ten-tailed attacks according to the memory of his previous life. The White Eyes can indeed give the Hyuga clansmen an unparalleled advantage Jinin, Chunin, and Jonin level combat power. But once power comparison reaches the Kage level or even the Super Kage level, the advantage of white eyes is not obvious. For the Hyuga clan who specializes in soft boxing, it is next to impossible for them to counteract the power of Achiha Susano, the strength of the human column force, the Senjutsu, etc. Hyugas are really powerless when put into a confrontation against enemies of this level, so the Tensigen is the only hope for the Hyuga clan to intervene in the Super Shadow level battle. This is also something Kuroto never forgot at the beginning of the journey. But it's not easy to evolve a white eye into a Tensigen eye. In terms of blood inheritance, Hyuga Kuroto has almost no knowledge reserves, so to achieve this goal, only the scientific research madman Orochimaru can help him in the entire village. Chapter 2 According to the vague memory from my previous life, Tensigen eyes are an upgraded version of white eyes, and it is a top dojutsu comparable to the Rinnegan eye. As far as Kuroto knows, there are two ways to evolve Byakugan into Tensigen. The first method is to use that bloodline on the moon, combined with the bloodline of the Hyuga clan on the earth, like the Atsutsuki clan, to evolve the Byakugan into Tensigen. The second method is to merge a lot of white eyes. 
The first method was directly discarded by Kuroto as he does not have a method to go on the moon. As the first method is also not very hopeful for him. He is not from the main Hyuga family, nor could he get the white eyes of the Atsutsuki clan on the moon. And for the second method, because of the cage bird, the white eyes of the separated family will be destroyed instantly after being removed or the death of the owner, so relying on the clan alone will not make enough of the white eyes for evolution process. Both methods seem to be unworkable, but from the second method, Kuroto has a new idea. Regardless of whether it's a Byakugan or Sharingan, all blood inheritance boundaries are actually the concrete manifestation of genes. If you can't get enough Byakugan, can you not start from the genetic aspect and collect a large number of Hyuga clan genes? And then maybe fuse these genes directly from the genetic level from the inside out to evolve Byakugan into Tensigan? Based on this bold conjecture, Kuroto focused on learning genetic knowledge from Orochimaru. Ads by Pub Future. What causes plaque psoriasis? It's not what most people think. Just search on the next page to find the silent but deadly signs. Trendseeker. Through continuous learning and observation, Kuroto has made an amazing discovery, that is, there are 33 special gene sequences in all of the genetic combinations of the Hyuga clan. Through further observations, Kuroto also found that in different clansmen, from 33 groups of special gene sequences, the number of sequences in the active state is also different. As for Kuroto's case, only the 17 to 33 part of the 33 special gene sequences in his body is in the activated state, while the 1 to 16 part of the sequence is in the inactive state. The details he collected indicate that of the dozens of other Hyuga clansmen genes he collected are also in a similar situation, and only some of the 33 special gene sequences are active. This discovery further confirms Kuroto's guess. He even suspects that if all 33 special gene sequences in the body can be activated, then every Hyuga clansman can evolve Byakugan into Tensigan. In an instant, this thought spread madly in Kuroto's heart. Thanks to the war, the Kuroto was able to collect a large no of genetic samples of the passed away Hyuga clansmen under Orochimaru's arrangement. After screening and comparing hundreds of genetic samples, he successfully extracted the 4 to 16 part. Special Gene Sequence in the Activated State Counting the special gene sequences that are activated in the 17 to 33 part of Kuroto's own body, what he lacks is only the first three groups of activated sequences, one to three of the 33 special gene sequences. Kuroto had collected enough genes of the separation, but none of the three special gene sequences 1 to 3 were found in the active state, so naturally, he set his sights on the main family. But the main family seldom went to the battlefield in person. Even if it was on the battlefield, they were under protection. It is definitely not easy for a ninja at the level of Kuroto to reach it. Therefore, he had not been able to obtain a gene sample of the main family. To this end, he had to ask Orochimaru to take action. Unexpectedly, Orochimaru did not reject Kuroto's request, but even for Orochimaru, as one of the three sinans, wanting to steal the genes of the main family. It was not an easy task. Things dragged on for more than a year, and the experiment was interrupted. Although distressed, Kuroto knows that currently, he is just a small fly struggling to survive. If he wants to change his destiny, he can only find opportunities on his own and cannot put his hope on some sort of miracle. But when Kuroto hit his idea on Hinata who was about to be born, he never thought that this time when teacher Orochimaru bid him farewell, he actually sent a sample of blood and skin tissue from the main family. Ads by Pub Future Kuroto thought in his heart Orochimaru's defection should have happened not too long in the future, but he not only didn't mean to take me away, but he also sent me the test materials I needed urgently before leaving. What was his intention? What? Let me stay in the village with peace of mind and be his spy. Whether it was Orochimaru's recent actions or based on the vague memories of previous lives, Kuroto can conclude that currently, Orochimaru isn't very interested in Byakugan, and at this time Orochimaru also sent him urgently needed. Experimental Materials Obviously not to study Byakugan, but to assure him. Thinking of this, Kuroto secretly laughed at himself. The bird in the cage doesn't seem to be useless. Undoubtedly, the decisive reason why Orochimaru chose to keep Kuroto in the village was that because of the cage bird on the forehead of Kuroto, he no longer had the right to defect. 
If Kuroto defected, he could be disposed of easily through the cage bird, therefore Orochimaru was naturally not interested in taking away a useless corpse. As the experiment progressed, Kuroto discarded his chaotic thoughts and focused his attention on the experiment. The blood and flesh tissue of the clan sent by Orochimaru is very vigorous. If Kuroto guessed correctly, this is probably the blood and flesh tissue of the patriarch, and it is also the gene sample that Kuroto wanted most. Because the flesh and blood tissues are very fresh, the gene extraction process is abnormally smooth, and after comparison, he was surprised to find that out of the 33 sets of special gene sequences of Hayashi Hyuga, 28 sets are in the activated state, and it also includes 1 to 3 special gene sequences that Kuroto needs most. There are as many as 28 groups of special gene sequences that are in the active state. You deserve to be the patriarch. Thinking of the strength of Hayashi Hyuga close to the Kage level, Kuroto was relieved immediately. Hayashi Hyuga, who is in his prime, is undoubtedly the strongest of all the clansmen. Such a powerhouse definitely possesses the best genes in the family, which is a reasonable thing. Throwing his emotions aside, Kuroto concentrated on extracting the three groups of special gene sequences in the active state he dreamed of. So far, all the special gene sequences in the activated state of 1 to 16 that Kuroto lacked have been collected. Whether I can change my destiny all depends on this. Rejoicing, expecting, worrying, hesitating, all kinds of emotions rushed to my heart, making Kuroto a little confused for a while. He wanted to scream up to the sky, want to vent the depression and fear that had been in his heart for so many years, but the one-eyed viper on his shoulder made him dispel all thoughts. After sighing lightly, Kuroto again discarded all emotions one by one. Immediately afterward, he calmly filled the extracted gene fluid into a small thermostatic bottle, then took out a scroll and sealed the thermostatic bottle inside. The defection of Orochimaru will inevitably cause shock in the village. To make sure that he is not implicated, Kuroto has a lot of hands and tails to deal with. First of all, this is the laboratory. He must completely clean up his traces in the laboratory, and even the traces of his experiments must be completely removed to avoid any possible attachments to the grapevine related to the special gene sequence fusion experiment he had conducted. Chapter 3 The next day, during the early morning exercise, Kuroto heard the whispers about an attack on the patriarch, which also confirmed that the blood and tissue sample that Orochimaru sent him yesterday were indeed obtained from Hyuga Hayashi. Although Kuroto had his speculations regarding this, but the mere thought that Orochimaru can casually hurt the strongest ninja of the Hyuga clan, even if through a sneak attack, still made Kuroto quite disappointed in the Hyugas. Based on this information alone Kuroto can conclude that it is not easy for a member of the Hyuga clan to reach the strength level of a Sanin even through rigorous practice and countless effort. Although not impossible but the difficulty of the said objective is too high unless, of course, the talent is too damn high. What's more, when it comes to talent, Kuroto knows that he belongs to the mediocre category, which can easily be understood based on the number of activated gene sequence groups in his DNA. In the case of most of the Hyuga clansmen, about 20 of the 33 special gene sequences are generally active. And for strong individuals like the current patriarch Hyuga Hayashi, as much as 28 groups out of 33 have reached activated state, while there are also individuals like him with less than 20 groups in the activated state. Therefore, it is not very hard to understand that his talent falls in the below-average category among the clansmen. If he follows the general training program then no matter how much effort he put, no matter how much training he goes through, no matter how much experience he becomes by doing tasks, at most he can reach the rank of a special jonin. After that, his growth and strength will stop, and he can't afford to let that happen if he wants to survive in this war-trodden world. Regarding the specific details about the attack on Patriarch the Hyuga clan didn't release the information publicly, they probably decided to keep it a secret. Kuroto can also understand the purpose of doing so. Most probably the Patriarch Hyuga Hayashi is aware that the attacker is Orochimaru, and Orochimaru's identity is not so easy to go against. Apart from being the most talented disciple of the third-generation Hokage, he is also a Sanin with Kage-level strength and a massive influence, truly a troublesome opponent to go against, not someone Hyuga clan would want to deal with if given other options. Therefore, the elder council of the clan must have concluded choosing silence in this matter. 
Orochimaru dared to take the initiative to attack not just any ninja but the patriarch of one of the major clan of Kanoha village indicates that he is not afraid to reveal his identity. This must mean that he has most probably completed all the necessary preparations required for leaving Kanoha, so his defection plan could be launched any time. This conclusion made Kuroto sure that Orochimaru was about to defect. Ads by Pub Future. January 5th. Atopic Dermatitis is Silent but Deadly Dash. Sponsored by Trendseeker. Orochimaru's defection has both pros and cons for the current Kuroto, the advantage is naturally that he wouldn't be under such heavy pressure working under some like Orochimaru but it also leads to a disadvantage which is that he has now lost a solid backing that provided him protection which he will lose. Moreover once Orochimaru leaves the village Kuroto will also be under heavy surveillance as one of the students of the said Sanin. People who knew about my involvement in human experimentation is only Orochimaru, at least the ones that are still alive after the third ninja war. So how long as he does not reveal my involvement nobody should come to target me for that and knowing Orochimaru, I doubt he would reveal it. Therefore, as long as there are no major accidents, the village should not have any direct proof of my involvement, apart from some possible doubts or speculations. Among many researchers in Orochimaru's team, not many have survived the Third War, and because of the special nature of Byakugin's field of research was completely separate, therefore he didn't have much interaction with other researchers because of generally isolating himself in an independent laboratory. So, apart from him and Orochimaru no one was aware of the experimental project he was in charge of. After again and again analyzing all the possible scenarios in his mind Kuroto continued his daily morning exercise calmly as if the upcoming storm to be brought by Orochimaru's defection has nothing to with him. For the next few days, there were no major changes in the village, Kanoha was calm as it should be, until finally on the night of the third day an umbu in fox mask suddenly appeared at Kuroto's home and took him to a temporary umbu base. The base was located at the northwest corner of the village, with a large area and very heavy security, there are about seven to eight elite umbu teams on constant high alert, and these are the only ones that Kuroto can discover. After being brought to the umbu base he was escorted to a small single room with no furnishings, the room has a solid iron fence installed outside with an umbu standing guard. These arrangements are more than just a temporary base or a temporary prison. Undoubtedly, if the umbu under 4th Hokage are being so watchful, it can only mean that Orochimaru has officially defected either today or maybe tonight. Bith is Byakugan eyes Kuroto observed everything in the temporary prison. He was able to conclude that he was neither in the first group of shinobis brought here nor among the last group because there were people already here before his arrival and they were still being brought here one after another, therefore his identity is neither most attention nor the least attention, which is just the perfect for him right now. The imprisoned ninjas all Orochimaru's subordinates without exception. There are hundreds of people already here and more and more ninjas are still coming continuously. Among these hundreds of famous people, there are several famous elites of the village, many jonins and special jonins. And there's nothing wrong with this, after all, Orochimaru was the commander of two great ninja wars, he had thousands of ninja following his orders. It is not surprising that there are hundreds of loyal subordinates over the years. After all, the village under war mobilization has tens of thousands of ninjas. If there are not even hundreds of loyal subordinates, then how come Orochimaru could compete against Namake's Minato for the position of 4th Okage? Due to the presence of hundreds of shinobi's prison house was quite noisy. Not everyone like Kuroto knows or could guess the reason for being brought here. Kuroto could bet that even among Orochimaru's loyal followers many would be unaware of Orochimaru's defection, therefore they expressed great dissatisfaction for being kept under detention with even any reasonable explanation for doing so. It wasn't until the third generation personally made his appearance that the noise subsided. Ads by Pub Future Although fourth generation Hokage Namike's Minato has come to power, the third generation is still responsible for the management of many large and small affairs in the village, and even in the eyes of many senior shinobis third generations still holds equal or maybe higher power than the fourth generation. In the presence of the third generation, the screening work soon began. The first to be screened and cleared were undoubtedly the elite shinobis with high strength, the chunin that were promoted during the war period like Kuroto were not of the top priority therefore ignored for a while. 
Although Kuroto was more than aware that shinobis like him that were under special promoted to chunin in wartime do not have actual strength to that of a senior chunin, but he is still depressed over the fact that he was ignored for such a long duration. Three days passed in a flash. After being detained for three full days, still, no one took him to the attention brought great dissatisfaction to Kuroto. Undoubtedly, the screening work is not progressing smoothly. Many of the shinobi under detention did not believe that Orochimaru, one of the legendary three sanins, would defect, therefore they did not cooperate with the investigation and review. As for the idea of using torture of the detainees, the village elder's opinion contradicts. After all, it's a simple interrogation so it is difficult to investigate who participated in the experimentations with Orochimaru and who are the spies left by Orochimaru in the village. It must also be known that shinobi receive strict counter-interrogation training and have just gone through the baptism of a bloody war. Nobody here is a fledgling rookie who would start spitting information under little torture. So the idea of using torture is probably pointless. And still, if the torture is used, the implications are far too great. Here not just one, two, or three but hundreds of people are detained and executing several hundred ninjas who played many heroic roles for the village following Orochimaru's defection wouldn't be a wise choice. On the fifth day of detention village elder Shimura Danzo finally made his appearance at the temporary prison. Danzo personally visited many of the detainees one by one, nobody knew what sort of conversation was he having with the detainees, but he took most of the detainees with him. It's not hard to guess that they are now going to be joining Root. There was no need to think about it, Kuroto can easily deduce this result based on the information he has on Shimura Danzo from his last life. If all the shinobi here cannot be investigated properly, in that case letting Danzo recruit most of them is a much safer option for the village than allowing such a big instability factor to roam freely. These ninjas in custody here have also understood their current situation in the village. Being loyal to Orokimini for a very long time they would not be accepted by the fourth generation Hokage in the elite units. Adding to the fact that Minato-sama is still very young means that he would stay in power for about two to three decades. Therefore he would be building his team of loyal subordinates. So, the route remains the only best option available for most people here right now. In the next few days, Kuroto received multiple chances and invitations to join route but he politely declined this opportunity. In his opinion, defection is a better option than joining the Roots that specializes in dirty work and precarious actions under Shimura Danzo's whims. Fortunately, the people of the Root were also not very interested in recruiting Hugo Kuroto and left happily after being rejected. The village did allow Shimura Danzo to solicit quite a few ninjas under his custody does not mean he can extend his hands onto everyone. Therefore, Kuroto dared to refuse the offer as it wouldn't bring him much trouble currently. Chapter 4 A Week Later, at the main entrance of the village. A young girl is carefully organizing things for Kuroto. From the girl's unique eyes, it can be understood that she is also a member of the Hyuga clan like Kuroto, and from her appearance, she is of a similar age as Kuroto. The girl's brows are wrinkled indicating that she seems to be worried about something. Kuroto, who is looking at the remote Hokage rock, smiled and said, Don't worry, it's just a normal change of defense. There won't be much danger, especially in the current peaceful period. The girl nodded slightly, then took out a new pair of goggles from her waist pouch and handed it to Kuroto. Kuroto glanced at the girl, did not say much, and just put the goggles into his waist pouch. In fact, from a very young age, Kuroto has worn goggles like a bido, except that the goggles he bought had darker lenses, kind of like sunglasses. His purpose in doing so was not only to protect his eyes but also to be able to hide his identity as a Hyuga on the battlefield to not get targeted for being a censor ninja. The other reason was to cover up the Tensegan eyes he would be awakening in the future. After all, in terms of appearance alone both Byakugan and the Tensegan are too different. The girl is undoubtedly worried that the lens of his old goggles might have broken or will possibly break and it would be very difficult for him to buy a new one while patrolling on the border of the Fire Nation, so she bought a new pair and gave it to Kuroto as a spare. At this point, a middle-aged ninja not far away waved his hand and signaled to everyone, the time is up, we are setting off. Hearing this, patted the girl on the shoulder, Yui, I'm going, don't worry too much about me, maybe I will be back soon. The girl's name is Hyuga Yui. 
although Yui nodded to Kuroto's words, but the clear signs of worry on her face couldn't remain hidden. Finally, Yui took one last look at the Hokage Rock at the far end and went back to the Hyuga Clan grounds. Ads by Pub Future This time Kanoha Village has again lost its top pillar strength. Orochimaru, a Sanin defected, and Jiraiya another of the three Sanin was responsible for following Orochimaru's trails. Therefore, Kanoha was the biggest loser in Orochimaru's defection. So far, all the three famous Kanoha Sanin that were the backbone of the village back in the Second Ninja War have left the village. Although Orochimaru lost village's support, but he also got rid of the constraints of the village. Shimura Danzo definitely had the biggest gain, as he incorporated most of the forces that were earlier loyal to Orochimaru into his roots. Kuroto even suspects that Danzo was able to obtain some of the results of Orochimaru's experiments on the human body and would have probably started doing some prep work to transplant Sharingan and Hashirama's cells onto himself. But all these losses and gains were not of much importance for Kuroto now. The village leaders have probably reached a consensus to send all the shinobis that were loyal to Orochimaru and haven't been incorporated into the roots like Kuroto himself will be replaced at the various frontiers. Simply put they intend to send these shinobis away from the village, as for what exactly is the purpose of doing so not yet known. Coming to the team leader's side, Kuroto took a glance at the members of the team he is currently part of. Including him, there are a total of 12 ninjas subdivided into three squads, with three squad captains each, responsible for leading the squad. One thing to be noted is that neither of the squad leaders was part of Orochimaru's subordinates while all the nine other members of the team were under Orochimaru's authority. This team combination itself made Kuroto quite alert regarding what he might be facing in this task. The destination of the team's trip was a border post at the junction of the Country of Fire and the Country of Wind. As soon as he left the village, his guard was on full alert as if standing in a war zone. This is not him being overly cautious or something but a profound lesson he learned just a few months ago when he was attacked less than 10 miles away from the village. The entire team that escorted the wounded back to the village from the front line suffered heavy casualties. This is not a fuss about Hyuga, but he had a profound lesson. Just a few months ago, he was attacked less than 10 miles from the village. The entire team that escorted the wounded back to the village from the front line suffered heavy casualties. If not for the fact that support from the village arrived in time otherwise he would have already been buried six feet under the ground with a sold name on the memorial tablet. The cruel ninja war has taught Kuroto many things and these habits are difficult to change for some time even if the war is now over. And Kuroto wasn't the only one with such changes. The other ninjas in the team also raised their guard to full alert as soon as the team left the village. Kuroto glanced at the figure walking at the end of the team and sighed slightly. If there is anyone in the Kanoha village who isn't going to believe that Orochimaru defected then it is Mitarashi Anko no doubt it. Overnight she became a prisoner from a Sanin's disciple, someone expected to be the pillar strength of the village in the future. After such long imprisonment, she was also dispatched to the border together with Kuroto, completely far away from the power center of the village. From her hollow eyes and sluggish expression, it is not difficult to deduce that she is still not able to accept that her teacher, one of the three Sanin, actually defected from the village. Ads by Pub Future She had her faith in her teacher collapse which is something that may not be restored in her lifetime. Taking away his gaze from Anko, Kuroto took a close look at the other ninjas in the team. In the team, only the team leader should be a Jonin while the remaining eleven including Hyuga Kuroto and Mitarashi Anko are all Chunin. It can be considered that this team has quite high overall strength as long as they don't encounter an ambush squad consisting of several Jonins, which is least likely to happen. Besides, the war has recently ended, so the probability of an enemy shinobi appearing in Fire Nation is very slim. Sure enough, as Kuroto expected, the team safely arrived at the border post without facing much trouble along the way. After arrival at the border post, the 12-member team was officially separated into three squads. Kuroto was part of Team Hyuga Kuroto, Mitarashi Anko, and Inozuka Oda, some unknown member of the Inozuka clan known for their ninkin. The Country of Fire and the Country of Wind are not bordered by small nations like the Country of Rivers or the Country of Rain, etc. The border post where Kuroto is located is responsible for guarding the border of about 40 miles. 
On the one end of the guard post is the edge of the forest, and on the other end is the endless sea of sand. For now, Kuroto will be having a boring life of patrolling in the desert. Time flies. Two months have passed in the blink of an eye. All news about the village was cut off. Currently, Kuroto was isolated at the desert border with only daily tasks of patrolling, garrison work, and resting all day for most of his free time. During this period, he could feel that the team leader Jonin had been monitoring the nine squad members who were under Orochimaru's command. Therefore Kuroto made sure not to perform anything that would lead to any kind of problem for him. He secretly speculated that such surveillance would not last very long. Even a village like Kanoha cannot manage to keep hundreds of ninjas under constant surveillance for a very long duration of time, so there must be a period for monitoring. And sure enough, not long after, the village sent three more Chunin to replace the squad captains and team leader. At first, Kuroto thought that this was because the village had lifted the surveillance on them and after some more analysis of the three newly arrived he concluded that these three were highly skilled and had a ruthless bloodthirsty aura around them. These three are definitely not some ordinary Chunin. Kuroto soon concluded that either they were part of Umbu under Hokage or maybe from the root under him or Adanzo. Does an ordinary border post like this one needs three Umbu members or Roots members? The answer is self-evident, so Kuroto's thoughts spread. He wasn't aware of what exactly happened back at the village in the past two months, but he certainly understood that danger has come. Time does not wait for anyone, the Tensegan Awakening Plan must be initiated immediately. Chapter 5 In Kuroto's Impression, Atsutsuki Tonori from the Atsutsuki clan on the moon seemed to have a long period of adaptation when he went through the evolution of Byakugan into Tensegan. Because of this, Kuroto hasn't started the Tensegan Awakening Plan as of yet. But the situation is different right now. Although Kuroto can't guess what exactly is the village planning to do him and the other eight shinobis, one thing he can be sure of is that the danger is approaching. Taking advantage of the opportunity of patrolling alone, Kuroto came to a remote part of the desert that he had chosen long ago. Looking around with Byakugan for a while, and after confirming that there were no else in the surroundings, he immediately made hand seals, and summoned the one-eyed viper that Orochimaru had left to monitor him. Bang! With a burst of smoke, the one-eyed viper lazily crawled in front of Kuroto and spit out a scroll from his mouth. Yes, this scroll contains the gene fluid that Kuroto hid inside the summoning space through this one-eyed viper. Kuroto also didn't have any other choice, because only in the belly of the one-eyed viper can Kuroto retrieve the precious gene serum through psychic summoning anywhere and at any time. As for the possibility, whether it will be taken by Orochimaru, Kuroto didn't need to worry too much about it. Kuroto is so sure because, for a long time, he has been storing some messy test materials in the belly of the one-eyed viper. Orochimaru had also secretly checked several times and found that they were all worthless things. So he simply started ignoring all the things he stored in the snake belly. Also, Ashimaru has defected not long ago, and I am afraid that he is still entangled with Jiraiya at this time, so he will definitely not be so free to pay attention to the things Kuroto has been during this time. After taking out the gene serum that was sealed in the scroll, Kuroto's face became completely serious. There are too many factors and unknowns involved in the process of genetic evolution. This serum in Kuroto's hand may be the ultimate key to change his fate or poison that will kill him painfully. There are too many uncertain factors in the evolution of the genetic level. The genetic fluid in front of you may be the key to change your fate or the poison that ruins your life. Without in vivo experiments, there is no data, so Kuroto cannot even estimate the probability of success at the moment, but he has no time and can only bet on whether he can control his destiny in the future and whether he can live with dignity and get rid of the helplessness of being a pathetic weakling like he is now. Everything depends on this bottle of gene serum. Without hesitating for any long, Kuroto Shuk took a deep breath to calm his nervousness and injected the gene serum into his body. Ads by Pub Future. All SHIT. Almost at the same moment, Kuroto yelled in severe pain. Pain! Biting pain! Heartache! Kuroto has been a ninja for so long, he believed he had a strong pain endurance or something, it would be impossible to shake him, but until this moment, he never knew that the pain can reach this point. Slowly, he started to feel that the chakra inside his body was disintegrating. Not good! 
The situation had been going out of his control, so he quickly used only the minuscule chakra to forcefully disarm the psychic summon to send away the one-eyed viper. Almost at the same time as the one-eyed viper was released, all his chakra veins collapsed following which his body also begins to collapse, and he could literally feel that the cells in his body melting away. What in the hell? With great unwillingness, Kuroto went black and fainted in the desert. After a long period of staying unconscious, Kuroto finally opened his eyes not knowing his current situation only to find that he somehow managed to stay alive, and right now he was resting at the guard post. He didn't have any idea how time has passed since he blacked out. The current captain of the guard post, Nara Mitsui stared at Kuroto who regained consciousness and asked coldly, What happened? What made you faint during your turn in the middle of the desert? Kuroto, who just woke up, was a little confused about his situation. Additionally, he didn't seem to have much energy left in his body due to body cell collapsing and rearranging. I... I don't know why, was all he could answer. Mitsui frowned hearing Kuroto's reply. He wasn't satisfied with it. Did you encounter an attack? Who? Is it some San Shinobi? Asked more detailed questions about the possible reasons for his blackout, but all was for naught. Kuroto finally shook his head feeling tired from being asked continuous questions. Finally he said, No one attacked me, it was my own body that had a problem. I... I seem to be sick. Since ninjas can also get sick, so it was the most feasible answer he could come up with his... current situation, so as not to draw any unnecessary trouble. Ninja World works on several natural phenomena and it is not too rare for ninjas with blood limits to suffer from strange blood diseases. Kimamaru and Itachi are typical examples of individuals that suffered from blood sickness, so even though Mitsui still had some doubts in his heart, but when he saw clear signs of weakness on Kuroto's face, he decided to accept the current explanation and didn't take the matter any further. After Nara Mitsui left Kuroto did a full body checkup of his body. Ads by Pub Future The violent reaction of body cells resulting in the collapse of tissues upon gene serum injection far exceeded than he could have ever expected, this fax itself made him realize just how much danger he went through to activate special gene sequence in his body. It is nothing more than a blessing to be able to survive. Although he hasn't recorded any detailed values and made any data analysis but based on the fact that he did this experiment upon himself, Kuroto can deduce that his body was on the verge of collapse, when continuous activation and recombination was taking place, if he isn't incorrect then he went through cell assembling and collapsing countless times during the whole process. It is his luck that he survived such a desperate process. Kuroto thought with a long sigh of relief. Now that he was analyzing the process, he couldn't help but be frightened thinking about his resultant death if he did not get lucky. At the same time, he also understood that when it comes to genetic knowledge he is still just a beginner in the field. After calming himself down Kuroto started analyzing the result gene serum had on him. Kuroto's body almost collapsed which is undoubtedly a response to the activation of a special gene sequence in the body. In other words, the number of the special gene sequence that is lacking in the activated state, the body has to undergo activation and recombination the same number of times. Since he lacked 16 groups of activated gene sequence, therefore his body went through 16 reorganizations. Each set of activation and recombination is an almost set invitation to the gates of death, and Kuroto went through this process 16 times means he touched the edge of life at least 16 times. It is really a fluke to be able to survive. But the results are also great and maybe they are worth it. Now that all 33 special gene sequences in his body are activated Kuroto can feel that his body is completely different from before, and this change is still going on, the clearest change is that he can feel the amount of his chakra growing at a very fast pace. Getting up from the bed, Kuroto came in front of the mirror in the room slowly. Lifting the goggles, he found that the original pale white pupils now looked much different. His pupils were glowing with bluish light, as if like stars in the night sky. These pupils looked so beautiful and mesmerizing with their royal blue color. So beautiful! Even Kuroto couldn't stop himself from praising the beauty of these eyes. The more he looked at himself, the more he felt attracted to them. Just as he leaned forward, trying to see more clearly, form a close range, but suddenly, a strong sense of dizziness enveloped him, and simultaneously he felt a sharp tingling pain in his eyes. After a while, this dizziness and tingling gradually subsided. 
Hugo was slowly standing up while supporting himself through the wall. He understood that this tajatsu cannot be used during the adaption period, even to make the simplest of observations and awakening, so he closed his eyes and put on his goggles again. Lying back on the bed, Kuroto couldn't help but think. Now that his Bayakaigen has evolved into Tensigen, he has to consider many things about the future, but for now, he has to safely pass the adaption period as he is in a weaker state than otherwise, so he can't just be happy yet. He needs to find a way to survive this difficult period of adaptation as the looming danger on him has not subsided yet. But he also has hope for the future because he has finally awakened the legendary Tensigen. Chapter 6 In the Evening Anko and Inazuka Oda came to Kuroto's room to visit him. After chatting for a while, Oda suddenly smiled and said, Kuroto Kuen, this time you are got a little unlucky because of being sick. Kuroto was a little confused as to why would Oda say something like that, so he asked, Why? Oda explained, The captain just assigned a special task for Anko Chanmi. If it can be successfully completed, maybe we can be transferred back to the village, then I won't have to endure the sandstorm here again. A special mission, you say? Kuroto was really startled by the information he just received, but he didn't show it in his expression and simply wished Oda and Anko good luck. I wish you success in your mission. For some reason, there was a bad premonition in Kuroto's heart after hearing about the special task, but as per the code of conduct of shinobis he can't inquire about the details of the task, so even if he had his suspicions he chooses to remain silent, because if it exactly the case he thinks it is, then it would probably be useless to express his opinion. Finally, Oda patted Kuroto's shoulder and said with a grin, Don't worry, the village will not forget us excellent ninjas who have experienced wars. It will not be long before you will be transferred back to the village. Now you can rest assured. So focus on recovery for now. Kuroto had his doubts about whether that is really the case asked. He didn't have any proof only doubts so all he could say was, Be careful on the task. After chatting about a few more topics, Oda and Anko left Kuroto's room and went to go on their task. In an instant, three days passed. In this adaption period, Kuroto constantly went through many dizziness and tingling torture sessions, but this torture was also not without any benefit because it leads to growth in chakra and body strength. Although he hasn't accurately tested it yet, however, Kuroto can estimate that the amount of chakra in his body at this time is approximately 10 times than before injecting the gene activation serum. Ads by Pub Future There are no standards for the classification of ninjas. The standards of the Jinin, Chunin, Jonin, Quasikage, and even Kage will change according to different environments and eras. For example, Hyuga Kuroto himself, before the injecting gene activation serum he was actually a shinobi with the strength of just a senior jinin, after all except the most basic three-body technique and standard Hyuga softboxing, he hardly knows any other useful techniques. But even so, he was promoted to the rank of a chunin by the village and led the team to perform several tasks and investigation missions. But in any case, a vague and universally recognized criterion still exists. A ninja who can perform E-level ninjutsu, or can use his own blood succession limit, is qualified for being classified as a jinin. A ninja that can perform C-level ninjutsu multiple times can be regarded as a chunin. A ninja that can perform B-level multiple times, and be proficient in more than just one combat art including ninjutsu, jinjutsu, taijutsu, or proficient in kekai jinkai techniques will be regarded as a jonin. And kagetir is vaguer than any other rank. The best method would be to pick out one of the strongest ninjas in the village. Therefore, the concept of Kage level strength is different in different eras. Since such vague means cannot give a solid idea, therefore the chakra volume has become one of the important bases for judging the strength of a ninja. Because of this, the chakra volume has become one of the important bases for judging the strength of a ninja. Although Kuroto's current strength is probably that of a senior jinin, his chakra volume has already surpassed that of a low-level chunin and is quickly racing towards the standard of a normal chunin. During three days of adaptation, Kuroto was barely able to use his eyes. Through careful observation, he found that his eyes became like azure color crystal gem, shining with breathtaking brilliance, and people couldn't help but be immersed in it and hard to extricate themselves. At the same time, he found that the caged bird seal on his forehead still existed, but it seemed to have lost its effectiveness. Of course, 
the bird in the cage targets Byakugan and all the brain nerves that connect Byakugan. Now, the Dejatsu in the Kuroto's eye sockets are no longer Byakugan but the legendary Tensegan. Therefore, although the seal of the cage bird has not been destroyed, it has still been solved and won't have much effect on him. The adaption period of the Tensegan lasted as per Kuroto's prediction and not long after he was able to see familiar chakra that was quickly approaching the outpost. Without thinking about it, Kuroto hurriedly leaned on the wall and walked out of his room. After a while, a thin figure rushed into the outpost. Ads by Pub Future. This figure is no. One else other than, Mitarashi Anko who went out with Oda a few days ago on a special mission. At this time, Anko's complexion was extremely bad, her face was almost bloodless, her body was covered with various scars, her breath was also very disordered, and she seemed to have experienced several life and death battles. Relying on the vigilance that was tempered in the war, when Kuroto judged that the person was Anko, he had already stretched his hand into the ninja bag around his waist and took out a kunai, Tensegan under the goggles was also blooming magnificently, he searched for any possible trail that might be following Anko. However, after only a slight scan, Kuroto found that there were no trails following Anko, so he was relieved and finally relaxed his guard. At this time, the other ninjas in the post also surrounded them, either bandaging Anko's wounds or asking about the details of the attack on her. Kuroto, who was on guard on the side, relied on the incomparable insight of the Tensegan to notice that when the team leader Naramitsui next to him saw the Anko, a strange expression flashed across his face. The expression seemed to reflect as if things didn't go as they should have. At this very moment, the doubt within Kuroto's heart was confirmed. In fact, he had thought of this possibility a long time ago, but he still wanted to deny it even if was quite sure about his guess. But now that his doubt has been confirmed he has to stay on guard against the squad leader and team captain Naramitsui. On the other hand, Naramitsui's attention was on Anko so he didn't notice Kuroto's abnormality and the change in Kuroto's guard against him. Is the task completed? Mitsui calmly asked Anko. Anko replied Mitsui coldly, we were ambushed as soon as we arrived at the location of the mission. It was a trap. Oda died on the spot. I managed to escape back after hiding in the desert for two days. When Mitsui heard this, his face was a little unnatural, maybe the spy we placed among the sand ninja was exposed, so you were ambushed, I will report it to the village. After saying just that, Mitsui hurriedly left, and Kuroto didn't say anything, just silently lifted the Anko. As soon as they entered Anko's room, she suddenly asked Kuroto, are we abandoned by the village? Anko is obviously not stupid to be accepted by Orochimaru as a disciple. These so-called special missions this time are full of loopholes, and she naturally noticed it. Kuroto helped the Anko dress the wound, and said, don't think too much about it, it is common for things to go wrong during the tasks, and you are still less experienced, so don't worry too much, just focus on recovering for now. Kuroto knew he wasn't fooling anyone but that's all he could say to comfort her. Hearing Kuroto's words Anko said nothing, and her face returned to the same numb expression she had most of the time during their assignment on this guard post. After dealing with Anko's injury and reconfirming that no enemy approached the post, Kuroto returned to his room. As soon as he lay on the bed, his expression became gloomy, he grits his teeth with all his strength and mumbled in frustration. How can they do this with us? How dare they treat us as such? Chapter 7 In his heart, Kuroto has realized. Based on the conversation between Mitsui and Anko just now, he roughly judged that the so-called special mission Mitsui handed over to Oda and Anko should be to make contact with the spy that Kanoha had planted in San Ninja Village. But how could the Kanoha village give such a secret mission to two Mirachunin ninjas who are still under the screening period? It simply doesn't make any sense to do so. So Kuroto's intuition is correct. This so-called special task is a trap. The village may have really abandoned their old ninjas that were under Orochimaru's authority and they are trying to clean them one by one through reasonable means. Is it Shimura Danzo? Sandame-sama? Or maybe Yandame-sama? The first target of Kuroto's suspicion is Danzo. Orochimaru defected early this time. There are many inside stories in all this matter, therefore, it is difficult to judge what role Danzo played in it, but there is no doubt that Danzo must have a big part. 
judging by the thought process that since Shimura Danzo is the biggest beneficiary of this whole fiasco as a result of Orochimaru's defection, the biggest suspect is naturally him, who most likely prompted Orochimaru's early defection. As such, both Danzo and Orochimaru may have completely cut off their relationship, so it would be reasonable for Danzo to dispose off of Orochimaru's former subordinates who did not agree to join the roots. The suspicion of the Sandame Sama can't be ruled out either, because the Sandame Sama is the kind of person who can really do a lot of unbelievably stupid things for the so called stability. This was the case when he didn't take any severe action in regards to the events that led to Kanoa's white fan to commit suicide, or the events that would be happening in the future as per Kuroto's memories from the past life, for example, to avoid a likely war with the Cloud Village, Sandame pressured the Hyuga clan to surrender Hyuga Hayashi under Cloud Village's demand, let Uzumaki Naruto grow up under Village's discrimination and abuse, and Uchiha clan downfall. Therefore, he is also a possible suspect. As for the Yandame-sama, Kuroto thinks he wouldn't do it. This is not just his faith upon Yandame-sama, but the fact that Yandame-sama were a civilian ninja. They have neither the support of their own clan nor from Sandame-sama. Therefore, Yandame-sama should not have enough power to complete these arrangements. At the same time, Yandame-sama doesn't need to rush to clean up the possible dissidents considering the advantage of Yandame-sama's strength and age. In short, no matter who is presiding over this purge behind the scenes, Kuroto has already become the target of the other party, so Kuroto knows that the danger is already over his head, and he doesn't have much time. Days pass by, and now a week after the attack on Anko event, Kuroto finally passed the Tensegan adaptation period. Ads by Pub Future The dizziness and tingling sensation disappeared completely, followed by a comprehensive enhancement of vision. Tensegan gives the user all the abilities that Byakugan provides to its owner, in a much enhanced form. This is especially the case with Subtle Insight. Through just ordinary observation, Kuroto can roughly judge the enemy's next move through his chakra flow and muscle expansion and contraction. In addition to insight improvement, the other biggest change within Kuroto is the growth in his chakra volume. Kuroto estimates that his current chakra volume is roughly 45 to 50 times before injecting the Gene Awakening Serum. Such high chakra growth is simply frightening, to say the least. Kuroto also faintly feels that he has awakened some other abilities, but currently, due to being present at the guard post, he can't check them because he is not sure what kind of effect they might have on the surroundings. I'll have to somehow go to some area where my movements will not be under monitoring to have a complete understanding of my current set of abilities. Kuroto made a mental note. Suppressing his inner excitement, Kuroto continued to analyze the changes within his body after the completion of the adaption period following Tensegan awakening. A few days later, finally, it was Kuroto's turn to be on patrol duty alone. On this day Kuroto was really excited to have finally got a chance to understand the abilities of the legendary Tensegan. Phew! Standing on the yellow desert, Kuroto took a light breath and extended his right hand parallel to the ground. As soon as he extended his hand, he could feel the flow of chakra, he concentrated on the objective in his mind, and finally... Ha! With just a single thought, a strong force was exerted into the air with him as the epicenter, as a result of which the swarming yellow sand was blown away like a hurricane head-on. Looking at the resulting sandstorm in the distant sky that occurred because of him, left Kuroto's mouth was left half open in shock. Holy shit! This trick was comparable to Tendo Pain's Shinra Tensei and Banjo Tenin, and the principle is also suction and repulsion. According to Kuroto's memory from his previous life, Atsutsuki Tonori also used this technique. Since it is a natural ability of Tensegan, then this technique will be called, Rain Will Push. Rain from reincarnation, which is the literal English meaning of Tensegan, will term is used for most of the Tensegan abilities and push for repulsion, similarly Rain Pull for Tensegan version of Bansho Tenin. Kuroto then tried Rain Will Push and Rain Will Pull to have a better understanding of chakra consumption and the effective range of the technique. As the initial excitement passed, Kuroto gradually discovered the shortcomings of Rain Will Push, that is, the effective range is only about 15 meters, and the further the distance, the weaker the effect. Ads by Pub Future Kuroto frowned while struggling to catch his breath due to overexertion. 
Most of the attacking ninjutsu above sea level can have an attack range of more than 20 meters, and some can even reach 50 meters, and the killing range of throwing weapons such as kunai, shuriken, etc. can easily exceed 20 meters. In other words, once the enemy has opened the distance, it is quite difficult for Kuroto to control the enemy with a simple push and pull, with his current capacity at best he can use it to play some role in defense and interference. Putting the shortcomings of small attack range aside, for the time being, Kuroto who was still panting discovered another shortcoming of himself, and that is low chakra volume. Don't get wrong, his chakra has at the very least increased 40 to 50 times since awakening Tensegan, which ultimately made Kuroto very excited, but now that he has used Rain Will Rush and Rain Will Pull several times, he was surprised to find that his chakra is almost exhausted. It is only now that he realized just how small his initial chakra volume was. Moreover, 40 to 50 times interfered with his objective judgment and made him wrongly estimate his chakra amount. Because his previous chakra volume was at the standard level of a low-level chunin, which is too mediocre, so even if it is increased by 40 to 50 times, the total volume is still not very exaggerated, only surpassing a high-level chunin. In this scenario, it's a far cry from his thinking to be able to use this ninjutsu wantonly and in comparison to Atsutsuki Tonari, who could play with the moon as a toy after awakening Tensegan, he is so far behind that he can't even begin to understand the difference. So regarding Atsutsuki Tonari as his standard for reference will only lead to mental attacks. Why is this? Where is the problem? Is my method of evolving the Tensegan wrong? One question after another flooded Kuroto's mind. After being confused for a while in doubts, anxiety, and even panic, he finally calmed down, and after another thought, all the previous puzzles were solved. According to the memory of previous life, the only person who awakened the Tensegan was Atsutsuki Tonari, so Kuroto subconsciously believed that as long as he awakens the Tensegan, he would also gain the same level of strength as Atsutsuki Tonari. But then thinking about it, Kekai Jinkai also gives a different level of strength to different people, the strength level with the same Kekai Jinkai will vary from individual to individual. The same concept applies to Byakugan, there are many ninjas in the Hyuga clan that are much better than Kuroto, similarly for Sharingan, when compared to Uchiha Madara, the vast majority of Uchiha are like salted fish. According to the story, Atsutsuki Tonari was the large descendant of Atsutsuki clan left on the moon, he was also a veritable genius, who had all the inheritance, knowledge, and records belonging to the Atsutsuki clan at his hand to increase his base strength to Kage level even when he didn't awaken the Tensegan. After awakening the Tensegan, it was a matter of course for Atsutsuki Tonari to reach Super Kage level strength in one fell swoop. The current Hyuga Kuroto is really not comparable to such a powerhouse. Kuroto's and Tonari's starting lines are not the same at all, so obviously it is quite unrealistic for Kuroto to awaken Super Kage level strength like Tonari with just the Tensegan. After comprehending this point Kuroto relaxed. He then tried using other techniques but found out that he can't do so. He is unable to enter the Tensegan chakra mode. So it is simply impossible for him to cut the moon in half as Tonari did or to use the truth-seeking orbs and other abilities of great power. Hmm, is it necessary to use hand signs to enter the Tensegan chakra mode? Chapter 8 After spending more than a decade as Hyuga Kuroto, many memories of the previous life have become blurred, so Kuroto can't seem to remember whether Atsutsuki Tonari needed to use hand sign printing to enter the Tensegan chakra mode. If it is necessary to print hand seals, what seals should be used? And what would be the direction of flow of chakra? Because of facing so many doubts and uncertainties, Kuroto now realized the troubles he was going to be facing because of the lack of knowledge he inherited from his ancestors, unlike Atsutsuki Tonari. Furthermore, he has now reminded of the fact that all the individuals who have brought major wind and rain in the ninja world up until now or will do so in the future like Uzumaki Naruto, Achiha Sasuke, Achiha Bido, Uzumaki Nagato, Achiha Itachi, Yandame Sama, etc., have more or less received the careful guidance of powerful Kage level or superior ninjas, and have, therefore, inherited all kinds of knowledge and techniques. And him on the other hand? Nothing! Don't get me wrong! He has in fact learned a vast amount of scientific knowledge under Orochimaru's guidance, but he still doesn't know much knowledge and techniques as a ninja. But Kuroto is not the kind of person who would get depressed over it, if he finds a problem, then he has to find a method to solve it. 
Speaking of the most valuable inheritance for Kuroto is naturally the inheritance left by Atsutsuki Himura on the moon, there is also the guardian giant Tensigen formed by the fusion of a large number of Bikugan, but currently, Kuroto doesn't know how to get on the moon, and there is also the existence of Atsutsuki Tonari on the moon so he can only ignore them for the time being. The Hyuga family may have hidden some secret inheritance, which may be worthy of his attention. Orochimaru's research and development capabilities are among the best in the world, so if he wants to go any further, the connection with Orochimaru cannot be broken. But the way of cooperation, Kuroto felt that it had to be changed. Continuing to be a spy for Orochimaru, being a marionette without any self-consciousness, has no future in his opinion. He must change his identity from a mere subordinate to a collaborator to gain profit from it. This again involves a question of his strength. In the ninja world, the weak are not qualified to talk about cooperation with the strong. After thoroughly readjusting his mentality, Kuroto began to evaluate his current combat capabilities. In terms of chakra, he has undoubtedly surpassed the level of a high-level chunin and almost reached the level of a special jonin, coupled with the unparalleled insight of the Tensigen, as well as the soft fist and the unpredictable rain will push-slash-pull. If not unexpected, he feels that defeating a Tokabetsu Jonin is possible for him, but if facing a real Jonin? Adds by Pub Future. He will most certainly die. Of course, that is only according to his current strength level. With the enrichment of experience and the further development of the Tensigen, he believes that it will not take long for his strength to reach the level of a Jonin, even surpass the elite Jonin. By then, he will be qualified to have a good talk with Orochimaru Sensei. After looking forward to the future, Kuroto brought his thoughts back to the present. He is still in the village's cleansing plan, and his strength is far from the point where he can wrestle with the village. Therefore, how to protect himself without exposing his Tensigen is his immediate priority. As soon as he returned to the outpost, Mitsui recruited Kuroto and said coldly, Be prepared, there is a task for you tomorrow. Kuroto's expression shrank, What mission? Mitsui said, I will personally lead the team, and I will talk about the specific task tomorrow on the road. Kuroto wanted to refuse, but after a slight hesitation, he finally nodded. In fact, he also knew that he had already escaped a round of cleansing because of his illness, so now that he has recovered from his illness, he can't afford to rely on it anymore. The next day, the heavily armed Kuroto and Mitsui set off because the Mitarashi Anko's injuries were not healed, so only the two of them participated in this operation. On the way, Mitsui gave a brief explanation of the task. Like the previous missions of Anko and Oda, it is also to respond to the Kanoha spy lurking in the sand hidden village and retrieve the information collected by the spy. After listening to the mission introduction, Kuroto was 100% sure that this mission was a trap to cleanse him. His expression on the outside remained the same, but he thought to himself in his heart, who will be responsible for final execution? Is it the root ninja? Or the umbu? Or will it be a sand ninja? If it's the root ninja, Kuroto can be sure that 9 out of 10 chances of the person who presided over the purge is Shimura Danzo, and if it was umbu. Then the 8 out of 10 chances for the person responsible is Sandame, but if it was San Shinobi, the situation could be complicated. If it's sand, it would simply mean that the Kanoha village and sand village have reached a consensus. In other words, this is no longer a matter within the village, but a matter involving more than one village. The authorities of both the village behind the scenes are probably responsible not just a certain person, that would eventually mean but the entire Kanoha high-level decision-making body. While running through, Kuroto quickly analyzed the situation that he was about to face in his mind. To deal with a Chunin promoted during wartime, there is no need to dispatch a Jonin. The opponent should be a four-person team composed of Chunin. Because I belong to the Hyuga clan, the other party should not presuppose an ambush, otherwise, it would be exposed in advance. The other party should attack me from all directions after I reach the junction point. Or, pretending to be a junction, take advantage of my precautions, and strike the killing move. So what role does this Mitsui play in all this? Is he just leading me into the ambush, or would he participate in the siege? After awakening, the Tensigen, Kuroto's mentality is gradually changing. If earlier, all he wanted was to survive, then now he has more desire and ambition in his heart. 
It is also because of Tinsegan that he is full of confidence, so after getting rid of negative emotions such as fear, confusion, etc., he accurately analyzed the situation that he might face. After a long crossing, Mitsui and Kuroto came to the junction, here is the Gobi covered with rubble. The surrounding area can be described as unobstructed, and it is not a suitable place to make contact. At the far end, stood a lone figure, appeared a little fuzzy in the wind and sand. Kuroto stared at him and immediately found that the opponent's body contained a large volume of chakras that far exceeded the level of a chunin. In addition, Kuroto also found that besides the figure, there seemed to be some corpses of San Shinobis lying stumblingly. This strange scene made Kuroto feel the danger. He immediately stopped and said in a deep voice, Captain, something seems to be wrong. Mitsui also frowned tightly at this moment, obviously, the situation before him was a little different from what he had expected. But he didn't have the sharp insight of Kuroto, so he could neither judge the strength of the stranger nor observe the few corpses looming in the sand at the feet of the stranger through the wind and sand. After hesitating for a while, Mitsui ordered, Go, let's go over. Mitsui was the captain. He gave the order, so Kuroto had no choice but to follow him slowly towards the stranger. After a while, the two came to the stranger. The stranger was wrapped in a gray-brown cloak, and even his face was covered with a cloth cover, only a pair of bright eyes were exposed, but the pupil in these eyes was extremely murderous, like a beast watching his prey. At this time, Mitsui found a few corpses dressed in sand-hidden costumes lying at the stranger's feet, and his face suddenly became embarrassed. You, who are you? The stranger slowly uncovered his hood, pulled off the cloth cover, tilted his head, and said with a joking expression, Oh, it turns out they are waiting for you here. Sasori of the Red Sand Chapter 9 Looking at the red-haired man in front of him, Mitsui and Kuroto exclaimed in unison. The identity of the other party is no stranger to the two who have just experienced the Third Ninja War. The Sasori of the Red Sand, a genius puppet master, one of the strongest ninjas of Sand Village, who disappeared along with the disappearance of the Sandin Kazakage, and was finally classified as an S-rank missing Nin. He has appeared on the battlefield many times to collect the corpses of ninjas and has several records of killing the elite Jonin. His strength is so strong that even ninja villages gave up on chasing him. He is a trouble that the five ninja villages are unwilling to put their hand into. Sasori stood akimbo with his hands on his hips and chuckles, do you recognize me already? Yeah, Kanoha ninjas, now that you have had the chance to meet me, please help me try this newly made artwork. As he said so, Sasori took out a scroll with three written on it. Bang! After a burst of white smoke, a puppet appeared in front of Mitsui and Kuroto. Looking at the black iron sand floating around the human puppet, Mitsui, who was stunned, said tremblingly, this is magnetic done. San, Sandin Ka, Kazakage. Kuroto was also very surprised, but he was not surprised by Sandin Kazakage's puppet, but by the fact that he encountered such a strong ninja, like Sasori of the Red Sand at such a remote place. Such terrible luck. It is difficult for Kuroto to judge exactly what strength Sasori currently possesses, but at the very least he should be above the level of an elite jonin, he is an enemy that Kuroto can't deal with anyway at present, so the moment he saw Sasori, he only had one thought left in his mind. And that's how to save his life. The man puppet who manipulated the Sandane Kazakage slowly floated up, while Sasori smiled and said mischievously, this is my most satisfying work so far, Shinobis of Kanoha, enjoy my art. As soon as Sasori's voice fell, the iron sand floating around the Sandane Kazakage's puppets turned into countless fine needles in the sky and shot like raindrops at Mitsui and Kuroto. Mitsui flung back while holding three kanai with detonating charms in each hand and shot it towards the sky. Ads by Pub Future. Office 2021, Lifetime License. Office 2021, Lifetime License. One-time purchase. No subscription. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook, Access, and Publisher. PSSBS. Kuroto, who was slightly behind, hid behind Mitsui and ran backward quickly. Boom, boom, boom. The explosion of the six detonating charms caused a burst of smoke on the desert. 
Seeing that the throne detonation paper barely blocked the iron needle, Mitsui took a cold glance at Kuroto and then fled towards the outpost without uttering a single word. Even if you don't speak anything, will you even run away alone? That's just fantastic. Obviously, Mitsui has finally torn showed his true self and no longer concealed his malice towards Kuroto. Naturally, Kuroto no longer cared about anything either and fled in another direction. Watching the two of them flee after putting up just a small resistance, Sasori smiled and jumped to the back of Sandane Kazakage's puppets, and then Sandane Kazakage's puppet turned the iron sand into two huge iron sand wings through Magnadun and flew in the direction of Mitsui's escape. Obviously, the leader Nara Mitsui was Sasori's first priority. He can fly! The corner of his eye swept Sasori, flying with the help of the Sandane Kazakage's puppet, and Kuroto heart sank. In the ninja world, the ability to fly is a huge advantage. Once you encounter a ninja with the ability to fly on the battlefield, you will often fall into an extremely passive situation. As far as the current situation is concerned, the Kuroto, running on the ground is definitely not as fast as the Sasori flying in the sky. Suppressing the mixed thoughts, Kuroto calmly observed the movements of Sasori, while secretly analyzing his situation. I saw Sandame Kazakage's puppets, Sasori will definitely not let me go. The fact that the Sandame Kazakage's corpse was turned into a human puppet by the Sasori should still be a secret, so in order to avoid trouble, Sasori will not let anyone who knows this secret stay alive. In other words, at the moment when Sasori revealed the Sandame Kazakage's puppets, Mitsui and Kuroto were already on the list of targets to be killed. The nearest post from here is nearly two and a half hours away, and even if we somehow manage to arrive at the outpost, the station ninjas there cannot resist enemies of Sasori's level. So simply trying to escape is not an option, I have to find a way to repel Sasori. While Kuroto was pondering the countermeasures, he suddenly discovered that Mitsui, who was running as fast as him, suddenly fell to the ground. What's going on? After a little shock, Kuroto immediately reacted, the iron needle. Just now was poisonous. Ads by Pub Future. The explosive tag thrown by Mitsui before did block a large number of iron needles, but one or two iron needles still passed through the explosion and scratched Mitsui's arm. No matter what happened, neither Mitsui Nakechi nor Kuroto paid much attention to this fact. But now seeing Mitsui suddenly fell, Kuroto immediately reacted, and he was also reminded according to the memory of his previous life, Sasori was indeed a master of poison. Without Mitsui's resistance, continuing to escape will not only waste physical strength but will only add to the embarrassment, so Kuroto decisively stopped. Stepping forward while bringing out a kunai and killing Mitsui who was poisoned and unable to move, Sasori leisurely came to Kuroto and said with a playful smile, Why, did you give up on escaping? Kuroto looked at the Sasori, I have always been curious, why did you defect? With your strength and status, even if you want to be a Kazakage, it is not impossible, right? Unexpecting of the calmness shown by Kuroto, Sasori glanced at him once again and said with a smile, Don't try to buy time, no one can save you. As Sasori continued to walk forward, Kuroto continued to speak, That's right, you dare to plot even against the Sandane Kazakage, known as the strongest Kazakage, how can a mere sand village be in your eyes? Isn't that the case? Sasori didn't answer but narrowed his eyes slightly, his eyes were still full of playfulness, he was really curious about what Kuroto wanted to do while he was trying to borrow time, although curious Sasori still slowly approached Kuroto. 19 meters. 17 meters, just 2 meters more to go, come on. 14 meters, just a little more. On the surface, Kuroto appeared calm, but in his heart, a group of Kuroto silently calculated the distance between himself and Sasori. Right now, his only chance of winning is to unexpectedly use Ryingville push slash pull to unexpectedly land a heavy impact on Sasori's body and then use soft fist taijutsu to seal Sasori's acupoints and stop his chakra flow. And the current effective range of rain wheel is only about 15 meters, so Kuroto must be as close as possible to Sasori. When Sasori approached a distance of about 11 meters, Kuroto slowly raised his hands. The Sandane Kazakage's puppet connected by the chakra line shining with light blue light quickly floated, and the iron sand surrounding it also turned into iron spears. Knowing that it was close to the extreme distance, Kuroto no longer hesitated, immediately stretched out his hands, 
and started rain will pull with all his strength. At the moment Kuroto raised his hand, Sasori, who had already had a rich experience for a long time fighting, life, and death battles, raised his mouth and revealed a mocking smile. Then, while a puppet manipulating the Sandane Kazakage protected his front, he retreated backward. In the eyes of Sasori, Kuroto's actions were nothing more than activating a one-hit kill type suicide ninjutsu, he had already encountered this situation many times, and there was nothing to care about. Being the maker of the Sandane Kazakage's puppet, Sasori couldn't be more clearer of its defense capabilities. Even the A-level ninjutsu can hardly break the iron sand defense of Magnetic Dun, so those ninjas who tried to die with him eventually became part of his collection and nothing more. This. However, what he was expecting to happen did not happen, but on the other hand, the corner of Sasori's mouth that hadn't fully grinned suddenly froze. Accompanied by a huge howling sound, the Sandane Kazakage's puppet that stood in front of Sasori was sucked away by a very powerful suction force. This suction force was so strong that it even broke the chakra line connecting his hands and the Sandane Kazakage's puppet in an instant. And when Kuroto saw that it was not Sasori but the puppet of the Sandane Kazakage that was pulled by his rein will pull, Kuroto was also left speechless. Chapter 10 At this moment, there was only one thought left in Kuroto's mind, it was really over this time. With the experience level of a strong ninja at the level of someone like Sasori, once the unexpected effect is lost, it will be extremely difficult to succeed in a sneak attack the second time. And fighting against Sasori, even if it is only a trivial scratch, Kuroto will lose his fighting ability due to poisoning, and there is no freaking way he wouldn't be getting injured if he fought against Sasori. Therefore, the failure of this sneak attack meant that the victory or defeat has already been decided for Kuroto. In the very instant, the Sandin Kazakage's puppet was attracted by the rain will pull and was held by Kuroto through the neck with one hand, so it lost the control of the magnetic dun due to being disconnected with the chakra strings, the iron spears in the air collapsed and turned into black iron sand that scattered all over. Looking at the Sandin Kazakage's puppet held by Kuroto, from a distance, Sasori's face was extremely red from embarrassment. At this moment, he was both surprised and suspicious, and even a little frustrated. Although Kuroto's heart was a little frustrated due to messing up the one opportunity he had of successfully repelling Sasori, but Kuroto still maintained his calm facade on the outside, and the slightest anger was not visible on his face. In this way, for a while, the two people who were both a little cautious of the other side confronted each other silently. This kind of confrontation made Kuroto, who was lacking confidence in his chances of survival, made even more nervous, and at this moment, he was surprised to find that the chakra in his body was constantly rushing to the Sandane Kazakage's puppet he was holding. The abnormal change protruded, Kuroto still did not dare to show any signs on his face, staring coldly at the opposite Sasori. Feeling the chakra in his body pouring more and more into the Sandane Kazakage's puppet, Kuroto's courage became more and more empty, he was thinking that he had finally awakened the Tensigen with such difficulty, and if he lost his life in the first battle his heart can't accept this result. When about two-thirds of the chakra in the body poured into Kazakage's puppet, the puppets held by Kuroto suddenly twitched disorderly. With the twitching of the puppets, the iron sand that had previously been scattered out of control also floated. Ads by Pub Future Sasori was startled when he saw this and shouted, Damn, you actually know how to use puppetry? Who are you? Why were you here to meet with the assassination team of the Sand Village? Sand Village's assassination team Listening to the Sasori's question, Kuroto's heart stunned. The identities of the corpses that fell beside the Sasori before were indeed Sand Village's assassination squad. This undoubtedly means that Sand Village has also participated in Kanoha's cleansing operations, and it also means that all the senior leaders of Kanoha have acquiesced to this cleaning. But that's not something he can deal with right now. Suppressing the resentment for the decision-making body of Kanoha in his heart, Kuroto brought his attention back to the current fight. After the initial ignorance, he now understood why the Kazakage's puppet was suddenly activated by him. According to the vague memory of previous lives, the Tensian, like the Rinnegan, has a similar great ability, which is to control puppets. The method for the Rinnegan to control the puppets is using the black stick. Pain's six paths are all puppets under the control of Nagato's Rinnegan, while the method of the Tensian to control a puppet is to inject the Tensigen Chakra. 
Once a sufficient amount of the Tinsegan chakra is injected, it can even activate souls within the puppets, allowing them to acquire a certain degree of intelligence and autonomy. In Kuroto's impression, Atsutsuki Tonori relied on this kind of puppet, and the main body did not show up in the ninja world initially, so he easily defeated the Hyuga Patriarch, Hayashi Hyuga who was close to the Kaga level, and sneaked out of the village taking away Hyuga Hanabi. After comprehending this point, Kuroto had a thought. Without the control of the chakra line, under Kuroto's thoughts, the puppet of Kazakage slowly floated, posing an attacking posture to the opposite Sasori, as if guarding Kuroto from the front. At this moment, Kuroto said indifferently, I am not interested in getting rid of San's missing name. We don't need to fight anymore. Sasori's face was now sullen and fuming with rage hearing Kuroto's words, taking away my beloved collection, do you think I will let you go? Even Sasori also faintly felt threatened, in the face of these never-seen-before mysterious methods that Kuroto used to control the Kazakage puppet. At this moment, he had listed Kuroto as a powerful enemy who could threaten his life. Kuroto smiled, this puppet retains most of its combat power. I have to say that you are indeed a genius in making puppets. This smile is not Kuroto's pretentious gesture, but he really felt happy at this moment, because he has Sandame Kazakage's puppet under his control, therefore he has the flying ability in his hands, so it is up to him whether to stay and fight or just run away. And the reason why he didn't leave the battlefield immediately and continue to have a word with Sasori was simply to buy time to think of a method to hide his identity to avoid future trouble from Sasori's pursuit of revenge. Ads by Pub Future After all, Kuroto doesn't want someone like Sasori to be after him all the time. Kuroto knows that if he displayed a little carelessness going against Sasori, he will definitely lose his life, so he doesn't want Sasori to be coming after him. You can control the puppet without using the chakra thread. How did you do it? After a pause, Sasori suddenly tilted his head and smiled evilly, forget it, when I catch you, everything will be clear. After that, Sasori took out a red scroll. With Sasori's soft words, the scroll was suddenly thrown, and a group of figures flew out of the scroll, floating around him. These figures are all puppets wearing red cloaks. There are as many as ten puppets. They have different shapes, some carry knives, some with swords, and some with huge shurikens. Sasori smiled and said, Red Secret Skill, Performance of Ten Puppets. Looking at the scene in front of him, Kuroto said secretly, It seems that Sasori at this time has not yet mastered performance of a hundred puppets, but even the performance of ten puppets is not something I can deal with. Wouch, wouch, wouch. Amidst the shaking of the puppets, the ten red robe puppets pounced on Kuroto. Kuroto's brow furrowed, and he raised his hand again to make a rain will push. After losing two-thirds of the chakra, he actually had no combat effectiveness, so he used the rain will push to bounce off the ten red robe puppets that had fallen on him and immediately jumped on Kazakage's puppet. In an instant, the iron sand in the sky turned into a pair of iron wings, and Kazakage's puppet flew away with Kuroto towards the corpse of Mitsui at the far end. Sasori, who was repelled away with the puppets, secretly cursed, Damn it, this is another unknown technique. Sasori feels a headache thinking about the strange and unknown techniques that can be performed at will without the need for the seal, but through this confrontation, he also keenly perceives that the effective range of the strange push and pull technique is only about 15 meters, so he immediately changed the engaging strategy, and a puppet was manipulated to launch a long range throwing attack on Kuroto. However, Kazakage's puppet who was under Kuroto's control hardy needed Kuroto's command to use Magna Dun and blocked all the incoming kunai and shuriken attacks. Sasori who was chasing after Kuroto saw this had his face sinking, and he felt as if he was slapped in the face by his masterpiece. Soon, under the control of the Sasori, all the throwing weapons of the ten red-robed puppets were replaced with a thousand bones that had been hardened with poison. Since Magnetic Dun can't control nonmetals, so Kazakage Puppet changed part of the iron sand into a hemispherical-shaped shield that protected Kuroto from behind. Tink! Ding! For some time, the sound of Kanai and Shuriken hitting the iron sand ball wall continued coming as Kuroto was making his escape. Chapter 11 Kuroto didn't entangle with Sasori and directly flew over Mitsui's corpse, while also throwing a few Kanais wrapped in an explosive tag at his corpse without any hesitation. Boom boom, boom. Boom. With a violent explosion, Mitsui's body suddenly fell apart. 
The reason why Kuroto destroyed Mitsui's body was to prevent Sasori from finding his identity based on Mitsui's identity. After all, he doesn't know how long he will stay at the border post. If Sasori rings at the door, he won't even have a place to escape. You must know that the village is trying to clean him at this moment. If he abandons the post and escapes, the village would just find a convenient excuse of punishing him for a crime of fleeing, and he will be executed fairly, which is not something he will allow. So, he ruined Mitsui's body, therefore Sasori would not be able to figure out Kuroto's identity that easily. Because no matter how strong Sasori is, eventually, he is only a missing Nin at this point in time, and without the support of Sand Village backing him up, he will inevitably lack a source to give him the required intelligence for him to figure out Kuroto's identity. And this time Kanoha and Sand Village did secret cooperation. It involves the cleaning of their own people, so there must be very few insiders, and they must be the highest level authorities of both the villages, so whether Sasori wants to get information from Kanoha or Sand, it is very difficult for him to find out the specific list of personnel involved under this purging operation. Kuroto thought all these messy thoughts while escaping in the sky, while Sasori chased him on the ground, and the distance between the two sides naturally kept on increasing. Glancing at the furious Sasori that fell far behind him, Kuroto smiled freely. Sasori at the moment hasn't joined Akatsuki. Although he has an impressive record of killing a Kage rank individual, he still belongs to the category of the traditional sand hidden puppet master. He has few methods in his hands, and that is being too dependent on puppets or poisons, besides he also lacks the means to deal with all kinds of weird techniques. Therefore, after Kuroto luckily took away Sande and Kazakage's puppet, Sasori's effective combat power was immediately reduced. Ads by Pub Future. Photos, 18 plus awkward photos that are difficult to forget. The funniest airport photos ever taken. Miss Penny Stocks. This weakening does not only refer to combat effectiveness. More importantly, it is mobility. Without the Kazakage's puppet, Sasori lost the initiative on the battlefield. This is one of the reasons why the Yandame Hokage-sama can surpass Sanin and other Kage-level ninja at such a young age. Those fighting against Yonadame-sama can't catch up to him in terms of speed, and those who can't fight him in terms of strength can't escape him. Where? When? And how? All three initiative lies in the hands of Yandame Sama's hands. This is the biggest helplessness all the enemies of Yandame Sama must have faced. And as the strength of Yandame Sama kept increasing day by day, slowly he became almost unbeatable, and finally, the alias Golden Flash became an existence highly feared by the enemies. The current strength of Sasori hasn't reached the peak state, once he joins the Akatsuki organization, learns about the Rinnegan, and understands the concept of power above Kage level, his strength will be further improved. With this thought in mind, Kuroto gradually got rid of Sasori's chase, broke away from the desert, and went in the direction of the woods at the border of the country of T. After repeatedly confirming that he wasn't being chased by Sasori any longer, Kuroto deliberately circled around and finally stopped on a big tree miles away from the border outpost. He knows that if he simply went back, he would be the one blamed for the death of Nara Mitsui. However, he can't report his encounter with the Sasori of the Red Sand, because once he does so, then under the vigorous investigation of the village it would get increasingly difficult for him to keep Sande and Kazakage's puppet in his hands. And once an S-level missing Nin is involved in this matter, the village will definitely send elite ninjas for carrying out an investigation, in which case the probability of his Tensegen being exposed will increase greatly. Therefore he must enact a scene to make Mitsui's death seem reasonable and believable. After thinking about it for a while, Kuroto started taking action. He wrapped Sandame Kazakage's puppet in a bandage from head to toe, now only his dull eyes were exposed, and finally, he put a grey cloak over. Because the puppet is originally made from a human corpse so its body shape was almost the same as before only on the chakra line where they're now for controlling and manually. After Kuroto took care of the puppet's disguise, it now looked like a living ninja covering its body all over. After a closed inspection and rechecking to find no flaws, Kuroto handed it few kunai and let it cut him to make the act seem more real. When all this was done, Jirodo rushed towards the direction of the outpost. At the outpost. Ads by Pub Future. Hearing a sound that was calling for help, Mitarashi Anko, who was recovering from her injuries, was stunned and immediately jumped out of her room and came outside. 
At the same time, the other two squad leaders in the outpost also jumped out and looked in the direction of Kuroda's call for help with full alert. In a moment, the three shinobis were able to spot Kuroto covered in blood stumbling towards the outpost, and behind him was a strange ninja chasing after Kuroto. The three shinobi didn't hesitate at all and immediately rushed towards the strange ninja with the intent to kill. Even if the Sandame Kazakage puppet only used Taijutsu, it was much better than Anko and the other two Chunin squad leaders, so Kuroto made sure not to overplay so that him being able to escape won't seem suspicious. On the side a short confrontation took place, Anko and the two squad leaders together exchanged some blows with the puppet and after a small stalemate, pretended to attack, dodged a few attacks, and then immediately retreated. The other three were kind of confused why would the enemy choose to retreat when he had the advantage over them in terms of strength, but they still decided not to think too deeply about it and didn't bother to pursue it. Seeing the strange ninja no longer around they turned towards Kuroto who was catching his breath and injuries, the most senior of them immediately asked him, what happened? Kuroto just shook his head, I don't know, Captain Mitsui and I were attacked as soon as we sneaked into the lands of Wing Country. In the surprise attack we encountered Captain Mitsui died on the spot, I was able to somehow escape but the enemy decided to give chase, I hid on several locations and somehow arrived here. When Anko heard Kuroto's story her expression was gloomy again, however the expression of the two squad leaders was of being surprised. After Kuroto came to his room, Anko followed him, and now she was helping him wrap bandages over his wounds, when she said hoarsely, every one of them dead. The them here refers to all the shinobi that were part of Orochimaru's subordinates who came with Kuroto and Anko to this border outpost. Today only Kuroto didn't go for a mission, there were two other teams too on special mission but only two squad leaders returned alive and the subordinates and the team encountered accidental death. Kuroto remained silent as Anko informed him while helping him treat his wounds, and just nodded silently. Only a stupid won't notice if there's no problem if, in such a remote border outpost with twelve shinobi assigned for duty, eight people died in less than two weeks, more so under similar situation, especially during the non-war period. Obviously, this is all being done under the orders of higher authorities. After a while, Kuroto spoke in a light whisper, be careful of them, most likely they are root shinobi, don't give them any opportunity. Anko has also noticed that something is definitely wrong with them and nodded. Finally, she asked, what happened to you today? Kuroto glanced at worried Anko and replied quietly, don't worry too much about me, we really encountered an accident today. Chapter 12 After taking care of Kuroto's wounds, Anko returned to her room without saying anything unnecessary as she also understood their current situation. Kuroto was now lying on the bed, thinking carefully about what happened today. Expectingly, today's mission was a trap, and Sand also participated in it. If there was no unexpected presence of the Sasori of the Red Sand, what Kuroto would have faced today is probably Sand Village's assassination team's combined siege. Perhaps, if necessary, Captain Mitsui would have also participated in the siege to eliminate him. As for why Sand Village is getting involved in Kanoa's cleaning operation, Kuroto pondered a little over this matter, and after a little brainstorming, he had the most likely answer. Sand Village's Yandame Kazakage has just taken his position because of the disappearance of the Sandame Kazakage. With the third shinobi war being over, the Yandame Kazakage needs to weaken the influence of Sandame Kazakage in the Sand Village, so Sand Village actually needs to clean its own people too, and for them, this demand is much stronger than Kanoha's. In addition, after the war, San signed the alliance treaty with Kanoha. This can also explain why San Village participated in Kanoha's cleaning operation. The highest level of the two sides has obviously reached an agreement to clean up the abandoned children for each other. This not only prevents one's own hands from being contaminated with the blood of his fellow villagers but also provides a possible excuse for them to blame the death on someone. Having figured this out, Kuroto also knew that even if it was Danzo who presided over this purge in the village, the Sandame Hokage-sama and other high-level officials must have tacitly approved of this or at least were aware of the details. Otherwise, Danzo alone would not be able to bypass the village authorities and negotiate such a major action with Sand Village without consent from others. At the thought of so many people being ruthlessly abandoned by the village, Kuroto was both disappointed and angry. It can be said that 90% of these people are innocent. 
It was only a small group of them who have actually participated in the human experiments performed by Orochimaru, and most of them have only participated in a peripheral scale, like Kuroto. Ads by PubFuture Office 2021, Lifetime License Office 2021, Lifetime License One-time purchase No subscription Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook, Access, and Publisher PSSBS. The real core projects that involve bloody human experiments are almost all done by Orochimaru personally, and there are very few people who are even qualified to about them, much less participate in them in the first place, and even Kuroto is not one of those. This is not Kuroto trying to shirk the responsibility, but except for Orochimaru, there might only be a handful of people who can independently carry out complex human experiments. What is the purpose of the village going so far this time? The more Kuroto thinks about it, the more he feels that something is wrong in this whole fiasco. The village's senior leaders cannot be unaware that this purge will affect many innocent people, but they still did it. There must be something Kuroto didn't know about. Kuroto did more brainstorming thinking about Orochimaru's active defection and the uncharacteristic behavior of Danzo, who has always tried to maintain some level of cooperative relationship with Orochimaru. And suddenly it finally struck him. It must be because of some anger and grievance due to something that Orochimaru must have done that might have made Danzo go into hysteria and the bastard finally decided to eliminate all the possible subordinates or Orochimaru from the village. It has to be the case. But regardless of whether Kuroto is correct or not, it cannot change the fact that the purge has already begun. So, he has to converge his diverging thoughts and calmly sort out the threat he is facing right now. The threat at hand is undoubtedly the purge issued by the village. Now that the purge has already begun, the village will not let go of him, so even if Kuroto has escaped this time, there will be another waiting for him, and the intensity will exceed as the times increase. In addition, the threat of Sasori cannot be ignored. Sandame Kazakage was once known as the strongest Kazakage, but in the end, he died at Sasori's hands. Just this fact alone proves how dangerous Sasori actually is. Now that Kuroto has offended the other party, he has to be on constant vigilance. Thinking about it, in fact, what is most imminent is the village's reaction to Mitsui's death. Once the village suspects that Kuroto had some hand in it, then there will only be one option available for him and that is to defect. I don't know if I can hide that scene from the village. It was actually a wonderful move on his part to have used Kazakage's puppet in act as a wandering ninja. Because of the third ninja war that finished not long ago, there are a large number of wandering ninjas who defected from many ninja villages, so it's not strange to have encountered one of those during a mission, as currently, the power sphere of each village has weakened to some extent, and this is especially the case at the borders. In addition, the two other team leaders who were suspected to be the Roots Ninja in the post also saw the puppet posing as a wandering ninja, which made Kuroto's words more convincing. Ads by Pub Future. After thinking about it all night, Kuroto recovered the Sandame Kazakage's puppet that had been hidden near the outpost and sealed it inside a scroll at the first opportunity he got the very next day. Right now, there is serious attrition in the post. Among the remaining four ninjas, there are two wounded, Anko and Kuroto, so the village will send a support team over at any time or may already be on the way. And the support squad will inevitably have a scout-type ninja. If he continues to let the puppet wander near the post, it is likely to hit the support squad and be exposed. In the final analysis, the identity of Sandame Kazekage's puppet is too eye-catching. Not to mention someone like Kuroto who is very cautious by nature, even the bold Sasori dare not use it so easily, and once it is exposed in Kuroto's hands, it is very difficult for him to give any explanation without revealing the secret of the Tensigen, which is a risk he is unwilling to take. After all, the Sandang Kazakage was once the Kage of a village from the five major ninja villages. Even if it is just to maintain their image as a major ninja village, Sand Village wouldn't stop at anything from eliminating the possible suspect of killing their Kage and retrieving the dead body of their Kage. Kuruto who has already been listed as a target to be cleansed by Kanoha doesn't have any intentions of offending Sand Village at all. Anyway, at present, there are only two people alive who are aware that the Sandame Kazakage was turned into a human puppet, and they are Kuroto and Sasori. 
Kuroto has no intention of revealing this information, and as for Sasori, as the culprit who killed Sandin Kazakage and turned him into a puppet, he would definitely not take the initiative to reveal this information. Furthermore, as far as Sasori's temperament is concerned, it is estimated that at this moment, he is still wandering around the Ninja World Collecting Corp for making various puppets while also brainstorming on how to retrieve the Kazakage puppet from Kuroto. He won't be exposing this information at all, as it would also disgrace him for losing such a thing in the first place. While thinking these messy thoughts Kuroto went back to his room to continue rest for recovering. For the next few days, everything was calm. Taking advantage of the few remaining opportunities, Kuroto continued studying the Tensian's ability to control the puppet. After many attempts, he found that the flexibility of the puppet depends entirely on the amount of Tensian chakra he poured into the puppet. In short, the higher the volume of chakra, the higher will be the flexibility of the puppet. Kuroto is obviously not a puppet expert. He doesn't know if Kazakage's puppet belonged to a relatively high-end quality or not. In short, simply activating it consumes almost half of his chakra volume. If he wants the puppet to use its high-end ability like Magnetic Dun, it requires more than two-thirds of his total chakra. So, when the Kazakage's puppet is activated at most one-third of his chakra can be used by Kuroto. Kuroto also tried infusing all his chakra into the puppet to see if this puppet could go further and possess a small amount of self-autonomy. But the result disappointed him. He doesn't know if his total amount of chakras is too small, or for other reasons, anyway, even if he infused all of his chakras, the puppet did not change any further. However, at this time Kuroto has learned to adjust his mentality, and nothing is compared with the impression of Atsutsuki Tonari, so he did not feel too frustrated, just a little annoyed over his weakness. Chapter 13 In the blink of an eye, three weeks passed. And he was wrong on the part that the village would be sending a support team due to lack of the number of people at this outpost. Kuroto was quite doubtful as to why the Kanoha village did not send any support team during this period, nor was he of Anko sent on any so-called special mission. This is obviously not in line with his expectations, nor in line with common sense. It would be understandable if there was some kind of short delay but three whole weeks? How can that be allowed? It is simply unthinkable to leave the guard post understaffed. This leads to only one possible scenario, at least that's what Kuroto can think of. Could it be that something major happened in the village? Kuroto then searched in his memories to find the clues to figure out if there was some kind of major event that happened at this point in time, but he wasn't getting anywhere as his memories are too vague. But suddenly a picture flashed in his mind, and he was covered in a cold sweat, he now had the answer and all could do was murmur it silently, Nine. Nine Tail Chaos. Although he doesn't remember the exact time of Kyuubi Rebellion happened, Kuroto does know that it happened on the night of Uzumaki Naruto's birth. Naruto's mother, Uzumaki Kushina, who was the current Kyuubi's Jinchuriki, had all the information related to her regarded as highly confidential. And someone with zero political power like Kuroto can't inquire about her status. But this does not affect his speculation, because Hinata is about the same age as Naruto, and he has already received news that the patriarch's wife was pregnant before he left the village. If Naruto is a few months older than Hinata, then Naruto's birth should be around this period. Why did I forget about this? At the bottom of his heart, Kuroto blamed himself. In fact, this is also unavoidable. After all, he has been in the world of the ninjas for more than ten years, and his memory is a lot vague. In addition, he has always been under the threat of death because of his weak strength. Until recently, he neither had the ability nor any willingness to intervene in various major events, so he didn't care much about them happening in the ninja world if they didn't involve him, and delved all his attention in finding a solid method to improve his strength. Now it's different now. With the Tinsegan awakened, he already has the ability to intervene in many things, so now he must pay attention to every major event in the ninja world like a real reincarnated individual in order to profit from them for his advantage. Ads by Pub Future. After making a mental note for himself, Kuroto analyzed the current possible situation in the village. If the Kyuubi Rebellion did happen, it means that the power center of the village will change drastically. The Yandame Hokage-sama, who was in his prime, passed away together with his wife Uzumaki Kushina who was the Kyuubi Jinchuriki, as a result of which Kanoha has again lost two shinobi with Kage-level combat power. 
This will lead to an awkward state of the current military power of Kanoha. In the previous decade, Kanoha has lost so many powerful individuals, Hei Sakumo committed suicide, Senju Tsunade left because of experiencing severe mental trauma due to the death of her brother Senju Nawaki and lover Dan Kato, then not long ago Orochimaru defected, following which Jiraiya left the village to pursue Orochimaru's tracks and now two of the most powerful shinobi have again passed away. In current Kanoha, if two generations involving the young and the middle-aged generation, if we exclude Jiraiya who is not in the village, then there is almost no one left with the combat power of Kavya level. Sandem Hokage-sama and Shimura Danzo are the only two people with the highest raw power currently. In addition, at the time of the Kyuubi Rebellion, Kyuubi was suspected of being controlled by the Sharingan, leading the top decision-making authorities to suspect the Uchiha clan to be responsible for this, as such the complete Uchiha clan, an important combat force of the village was under constant surveillance and completely isolated from the rest of the village under high pressure. All the powerful members of the Uchiha clan were on the watch list. And based on the memories Kuroto can predict that Uchiha's infighting with the village will be inevitable. After thoroughly analyzing the changes that Kanoha will experience in its power center, Kuroto began to analyze the change in his own situation because of Kyuubi Rebellion. There is no doubt that the leftover old subordinates of Orochimaru are no longer such a threat to the village when compared to the powerful Uchiha clan suspected of causing the Kyuubi Rebellion. What's more, a large number of ordinary ninjas were killed in the Kyuubi Rebellion, therefore the village has lost a lot of manpower, not only they have to rebuild the destroyed area immediately, but also deploy elite shinobis to monitor the Uchiha clan, even if it is Kanoha, strongest of the five major villages. I'm afraid that the manpower is still not so much at hand, especially because of the large number of death in the Third Ninja War, so it is not unreasonable to ignore the border post for some time. It didn't take long for Kuroto's speculations to be confirmed true. The village sent a message, abandoned the outpost, and all the staff was ordered to immediately return to the village. After a simple cleanup, the four people at the outpost embarked on the returning journey back to the village. On the way, Kuroto secretly rejoiced, feeling that he was lucky that Sasori did not find him for such a long time. In fact, Kuroto was thinking about this matter. It was actually an accident that resulted in him seizing up Sandane Kazakage's puppet, Kuroto obviously didn't do it intentionally, and even if he did, he doesn't think he could have achieved it. Kuroto is clear about this, but he doesn't know whether Sasori is clear about this or not. In the eyes of Sasori, Kuroto's reign will pull and the technique of manipulating puppets without the chakra line or need for printing hand signs are really weird, which caused him to misestimate the strength of Kuroto, mistakenly believed that Kuroto's strength is at least the level of an elite jonin. Therefore Sasori might have directly ignored some random border outpost that generally doesn't have any elite jonin personnel as staff for keeping watch unless there is some emergency period which was obviously not the case at that time. This is because according to common sense, border outposts that are mainly used for early warning will not deploy elite jonin. As a result, the border post where Kuroto was located became a state of black under the lights, but it also became the safest place for him. This is why the Sasori has not been able to find Kuroto up until now. Ads by Pub Future. Rushing all the way hurriedly, the four finally returned to the village a week later. The village at this time is simply a big construction site, everywhere busy workers can be seen, various scaffoldings were spread throughout, transport vehicles were continuously coming and going. Anko asked Kuroto with a little confusion while pointing towards the damaged city walls in the distance, what happened in the village? The two suspected root ninjas who were traveling with them seemed to know some news, but looking at the scene in front of them, they still showed surprises in unison. Obviously, the damage to the village far exceeded their previous expectations. Kuroto was also surprised at this moment. Although it has long been known that the Kyuubi Rebellion brought deep bone marrow damage to Kanoha, the dilapidated scene of the village still made it difficult for him to adapt for a while. You must know that even in the three shinobi wars that have occurred since Kanoha's establishment, and the village never once suffered such severe losses. After arriving at the task center, the four of them disbanded after a brief task handover. Kuroto, who was finally free for the first time in months, is not idle but inquired about the changes in the village. Before long, he collected a lot of information. First of all, the exact time when the Kyuubi Rebellion occurred was about a month ago. 
If you count the time, it happened to be within a few days before or after Kuroto encountered Sasori at the border. Secondly, in the turmoil of just one night, the village lost more than 20 elite jonins and hundreds of chunin and jinin ninjas. Almost all the ninja families in the village suffered casualties. It is said that the funeral alone lasted for a whole week. In the end, Several blocks that had been ravaged by the QB were completely razed to the ground. The casualties of civilians are hard to estimate. Even now, there are still many civilians whose bodies have not been found. After collecting enough information, Kuroto returned home full of thoughts. This guy Abito is no stranger to Kuroto, because, among the classmates of the same period, there were few who can barely be defeated by Kuroto, and Abito was one of them. And now such a person has grown strong enough to fight Yandame Hokage-sama while controlling QB simultaneously and control the entire ninja world in the palm of his hands as the backstage big boss and that too with just single Mangekyo Sharingan. To be honest, Kuroto is really upset, this is too frustrating, even if Abito had the Uchiha Madara's inheritance with him or Zetsu helping him out to some extent. However, Although Kuroto was upset, and he also knew in his heart that now that Abito had Mangekyo Sharingan and Hashirama's cells implanted in him, he was no longer the tail of Crane, so Abito can't be treated similarly to how he used to be during their Ninja Academy days. At the same time, Kuroto also has an ambition in his heart. Since Abito can stir wind and rain in the entire ninja world with just a single Mangekyo, then why can't he who has finally awakened the Tensegen get out of merely being an audience and step on the stage and control the ninja world as he wants? Decide the trajectory of the flow of events as per his whims? Or simply change the face of this forsaken world into how he sees it fit to be? Chapter 14 When something called ambition burned in his heart, Kuroda's thoughts became more agile. White fanned, the Kage level powerhouses of Sanin's generation either died, left, defected, or escaped. Now there is only Jiraiya left who is not ambitious for taking the position of Hokage. Among the Kage level powerhouses of Yandame Hokage Sama and second generation Kyubi Jinchuriki's generation, there were only Hokage Sama and Kyubi Jinchuriki themselves with true Kage level combat power, others of the same generation like the Hyuga Hayashi, Achiha Fugaku, and other patriarch although not bad in terms of strength, but still cannot be classified as true Kage level in combat effectiveness. This simply reveals the loss of talent Kanoha experienced due to several losses. This is a huge period of crises for the current Kanoha, but for Kuroto, it's the golden opportunity of a lifetime. Because for him, the only real competitors are Kakashi, Gai, Asma, Shursue, Itachi, and other ninjas of the same generation. And out of these both Shursue and Itachi, the two powerful ninjas of the younger generation are of the Uchiha clan, because of the tension between the Uchiha clan and the village, the stronger their strength, the more cautious village authorities will be against them, so they can be excluded from posing any competition. In the future, this will be my stage. Kuroto is very sure of this in his heart, and this is not only his confidence in himself, but also his hope for the future. Kuroto now faces only two problems stopping him from taking the position of Hokage. First is his Tensigen, although the Hyuga clansmen generally do not activate Byakugen when in the village, but if someone happens to activate Byakugen in his presence, then his Tensigen will be exposed immediately, after all, there is a clear difference between Tensigen and Byakugen. The second problem is his identity, Kuroto was Orochimaru's old subordinate. Kuroto hasn't come up with any good solution to deal with the first problem, since he can't deactivate Tensegen so the best he can do is to temporarily avoid the Hyuga clansmen. As for the second problem, considering the shortage of manpower in the village right now, and now that the attention of the village leaders will be directed towards the Echiha clan, Kuroto feels that it might not be too difficult for him to solve it as long as he works properly. But then Kuroto's face sank again, the status of a Chunin promoted during wartime is too low, anyone can step on them as long as it is for their convenience. Because of the experience during the past few months, Kuroto was really fed and aggrieved, the helplessness he felt, the resentment and anger for becoming a cleansing target, and the sorrow brought by the helplessness in being unable to do anything made him understand one simple truth. If you don't want to be stepped on, then climb to the highest stair. Ads by Pub Future. In Kanoha, I need a different status, a status completely different from the mediocre one I had in the past. 
And when Kuroto thought of a method to improve his status, Kuroto subconsciously thought of Yandame Hokage Sama. Yes, Yandame Sama is the best representative of the story of a mere civilian ninja becoming someone to be highly revered by all the ninjas alive in the current ninja world. If Yandame Sama's characteristics have to be summarized, then Kuroto's mind instantly thinks of the words powerful, sunny, and high profile. The crueler the war, the more dazzling he appears. In fact, it won't be wrong to say that the Third Shinobi World War was the stage that allowed Namake's Minato to obtain the position of Kanoha's Yandame Hokage, the highest authority of a Kanoha, even though he was born as a civilian. Now that the was is over, Kuroto must also develop a higher profile than Yandame Hokage sama if he wants to gain a huge reputation. He must show up in front of everyone with an incomparable strong posture so that everyone can understand his power so that when people consider Hokage's successor, he will subconsciously flash in their minds. Of course, the change of personal settings needs to be done step by step and should not be rushed, otherwise, it will inevitably arouse suspicion among the village leaders. After making up his mind, Kuroto no longer delays and immediately moves. In peacetime, the fastest way to show off your talent is through task completion, and a good-looking task resume is also an important basis for promotion. After making up his mind, Kuroto immediately came to the mission center. Compared with usual, today's mission center is slightly deserted. When he came to the counter, Kuroto said to the staff responsible, I am Chunin Hyuga Kuroto. Could you please show me which B-level tasks can be claimed? The staff verified Kuroto's identity and handed him a task list. These are all B-level tasks. You'd better pick the first few pages. Those employers are waiting in a hurry. Kuroto also knew that there was a serious shortage of manpower in the village right now, and many tasks were overstocked, so he didn't say much and immediately checked the task list. The village's classification of tasks is very rigorous. Jonin can accept all tasks including S-level, Chunin can only accept B-level to D-level tasks, and lower-level ninja can only accept C-level to D-level tasks. These tasks are further explained. S-level tasks are generally commissioned by certain forces, mainly assassinating important personnel, stealing confidential information, etc. Most of the A-level missions are also commissioned by certain forces, mainly protecting key personnel and crusade against traitors. B-level to D-level tasks are generally commissioned by individuals, of which B-level and C-level tasks will encounter combat, and D-level tasks will not have combat. Since Kuroto is Chunin, and he has the strength of a Tokabetsu Jonin without using Sandane Kazakage's puppet, so choosing the B-level mission is the most suitable choice. Ads by Pub Future. After briefly checking the task list, Kuroto frowned. The tasks on the task list are nothing in terms of difficulty, but most of the tasks have requirements for the number of people. The least demanding of them also requires a team of at least two ninjas to receive. At this time, a short figure appeared in front of the working window next to Kuroto. Kuroto glanced at it from the side of the light, and then he was taken aback. This little guy is none other than the genius of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Itachi. Although he was only six or seven years old, Itachi had already shown maturity far beyond his age at this time, the little guy looked was more mature than many adults from his thought process, and here he was quietly flipping through the task list rigorously. After a while, Itachi handed the task list back to the staff and asked a little childishly, Excuse me, is there no C-level task that can be claimed by a single person? The staff at the window of Itachi seems to have been used to dealing with the Uchiha clan. He was not surprised that a six- or seven-year-old child asked to receive a C-level task alone. He just shook his head normally, no, you have to think about it. If you receive a C-level mission, you should find a ninja you know to form a team. Hearing this, Itachi was a little distressed, and whispered, it seems that I can only wait for Shursue to return to the village. Kuroto smiled, hey kid, you haven't graduated yet? Itachi replied politely, because of the reconstruction, the school took a four-month vacation. Kuroto did not expect that the ninja school was also destroyed in the Kyuubi Rebellion, and said, since it's a holiday, stay at home. It's dangerous for you to go on a mission alone. Itachi replied with a serious face, now the village is understaffed, and many tasks are backlogged. If no one is doing it for a long time, it will have a great impact on the prestige of the village. Kuroto was startled, 
not knowing what to say for a while. After taking a look at Kuroto, Itachi asked, Excuse me, senpai, are you Chunin? Kuroto nodded. Itachi smiled with joy, senpai, are you short of a teammate? My name is Uchiha Itachi. Although I haven't graduated yet, I am already a qualified ninja. Kuroto shook his head and said, I want to take on a B-level mission, you are not suitable. At this moment, the village was suspicious of the Uchiha clan. Kuroto's personal troubles have not been completely eliminated yet, so he didn't want to have anything to do with the Uchiha clan. Itachi said quickly, I have checked the B-level mission, and there is no mission that a single person can take, so you must also need a member, senpai. Kuroto pondered for a while and felt that in the future it was indispensable to deal with the powerful Uchiha clan, so it was necessary to understand the Uchiha clan's fighting methods in advance. Itachi is one of the most dazzling genii in this generation in Uchiha clansmen, and establishing a personal relationship with him earlier may have some unexpected benefits. After calculating all these thoughts, with a smile, Kuroto who had an idea said, Okay, but everything must be under my instructions, and you can't act without authorization. Itachi hurriedly bowed to Kuroto, Please rest assured, senpai. Chapter 15 After discussing the matter of team formation, Kuroto looked through the task list again, and Itachi stood aside properly, quietly waiting for Kuroto to select the task. When I turned to the second page of the task list, a name suddenly caught Kuroto's attention. Shino! Who, who dared to openly claim him? Kuroto slandered in the bottom of my heart, and Kuroto immediately checked this task seriously. The task is very simple. It is to escort a doctor named Shino to the country of land adjacent to the country of fire. Staring at the task introduction, Kuroto frowned slightly. For some reason, he always felt familiar with something from it. After a while, he finally remembered. In the vague memory, there is indeed a remnant of the Sky Village disguised as a doctor, traveling around the countries, gaining prestige, while waiting for opportunities to steal the secret forbidden techniques of various Shino villages, and this guy seems to be called Shino. Tossing out a man-made tail beast named Zero Tail, making a lot of noise in the ninja world. Will it really be him? Secretly, Kuroto decided that he would follow this task no matter whether it was allowed or not. After completing the procedures for receiving the task, Kuroto and Itachi quickly met the client. Looking closely at the man named Shino in front of him, Kuroto had an answer in his heart. The person in front of him, whether in appearance or dress, roughly matches the Shino in his memories. Ads by Pub Future There is no doubt that this guy is the remnant of Land of the Sky, the future creator of the Zero Tail. Knowing the identity of the other party, Kuroto calmly introduced himself. My name is Hugo Kuroto, and I am a Kanoha Chunin, and I am also the leader of the team who accepts your entrusted task. The one next to me is my team member. His name is Uchiha Itachi, Kanoha Jinin. Shino, who was just in his early thirties, was very polite and bowed, then I will ask you two this time to. We will definitely try our best, but before we set off, I need to know something about it. After a pause, Kuroto asked, You should have your own reasons for raising the task to level B, right? Tell me, who is the enemy we might face? Shino was a little embarrassed and coughed slightly, in fact, it's not an enemy, it's just a little misunderstanding. When I was in Yunin village before, it seemed that a theft happened in their village, so they suspected me of it. The theft is related, but you know that I am just an ordinary doctor, how could I have anything to do with this kind of thing? I have to be an idiot to actually believe you. Kuroto secretly laughed because he knew Shino as true identity, he also changed his mind and thought, this guy seems to have a good way to steal techniques from other ninja villages. Even the high-level spies of Kanoha can hardly penetrate the ghost places like Yunin village. It is even more difficult to steal information, ninjutsu, forbidden skills, etc., and this shameless Shino can actually steal something from the Cloud Village, and what is even more amazing is that he can retreat after that. This is definitely something to surprise people. Kuroto decided it might be useful to keep an eye on this guy as he might be useful in the future. Kuroto decided not to eliminate him. After a little preparation, the group of three set out on the trip to Tanakuni. As soon as he left the village, Kuroto noticed Itachi's seriousness. 
Whether it was the choice of route or the camping location, his choice appeared quite decent and impeccable. On the road, Itachi would even correct the errors and omissions on the map he carried with him from time to time. When camping, he would record the itinerary of the day and occasionally write down some experience. It can be said that the existence of Itachi has saved Kuroto a lot of manual trouble. Naturally, Kuroto was not idle either. He used the unparalleled insight of the Tensigen to observe Itachi and Shino all the time. Through the changes in their facial expressions and the expansion and contraction of their muscles, he exercised his insight and predictive ability. Sensitive Itachi quickly noticed this, but he thought Kuroto was just examining whether he was a qualified ninja. So there is no resistance. Shino was also undoubtedly aware of it, but he tried his best to cover it up, revealing an appearance of ignorance, laughing, and talking about the interesting things when traveling around. After several weeks of walking and stopping, the group finally arrived at the border between the country of fire and the country of lightning. Ads by Pub Future. Seeing it was getting late, Kuroto said, Itachi, find a suitable camping site, rest well tonight, and cross the border tomorrow. Yes. Itachi responded properly, and then jumped to the tree, looking for a suitable camping site. Shino on the side laughed and said, Kuroto Kuen and Itachi Kuen are worthy of being Kanoha Ninja. Kuroto nonchalantly waved his hand ignoring the false praise from Shino, the ninja world speaks only by strength after all. Shino still smiled and said, I have seen many ninjas when traveling around, but there are not many ninjas as good as you, and it will probably not be long before your names will be spread in the ninja world. Knowing what Shino meant, Kuroto didn't care about the flattery and turned the topic to medical skills. It is undeniable that this Shino is very accomplished in medical skills, especially in the fields of bandaging techniques, human meridians, herbal pharmacology, etc., surpassing ordinary doctors by a lot. This is one of the reasons why he can pretend to be a doctor and travel around the world, otherwise, he would have been captured for being a spy long ago. After finding a camp with a wide view, the three of them discuss the human meridians while eating dry food. Of course, it was Shino who was explaining, and Kuroto and Itachi were studying. The meridians of the human body are not mysterious to Kuroto because of being born in the Hyuga clan. He has learned meridian knowledge from the clan for the practice of soft boxing, while the meridian knowledge explained by Shino is for the medical fields, different ideas, and different viewpoints, under the collision, Kuroto has gained some deeper understanding of the human meridian system. Itachi also listened very seriously, and within a short while, he wrote and painted several pages in his pocketbook. The human meridians are not unfamiliar to the Uchiha clan either who have the Sharingan, but there is no medical inheritance related to the human meridian in the Uchiha clan, so this knowledge of Shino is especially precious. Shino explained with dedication, but he did so naturally for a purpose. In his eyes, the two ninjas, Kuroto and Itachi, belong to the two great clans of Kanoha, are of great value in making friendship. Once a personal relationship is established, he will be active in Kanoha. While chatting, Kuroto suddenly asked, By the way, what the hell did Yunin Village lose? Want to trouble you as a doctor so much? I don't know this, I have nothing to do with this matter. With an awkward smile, Shino explained, This time, if it wasn't for the plague in a village in the country of lightning, I wouldn't have gone there. An old friend of my friend came over personally and begged me to go there. I really don't want to run around at this time. Knowing that there is no useful information coming out of Shinoe's mouth, Kuroto said, Well, I will think about it. Let's rest for now. We have to hurry tomorrow. Hearing this, Itachi used wire and bells to lay several tripwires around the camp, and then he jumped up and found a branch with a good view to rest. Staring at Itachi, who is skilled in arranging traps, Kuroto secretly sighed, Achiha clan is really good at training ninjas. At such a young age, Itachi can already set up such complex traps. Chapter 16 After observing the early warning traps set up by Itachi, Kuroto randomly picked a clean spot, leaned against the tree trunk, and fell into a light sleep. In the false sleep, Kuroto thought about his own affairs. Except for the lack of inheritance about the information on Tensigen, the biggest problem that restricts his improvement at the moment is the amount of chakra. As the Tensigen entered a stable period after the adaption period, the increase in his chakra volume has also stabilized. 
Although it is increasing every day, the effect is far less significant than during the adaptation period. In terms of chakra volume alone, although he already has an impressive chakra volume among the peers of the same generation, this does not satisfy him. He hasn't reached anywhere near Yande Mokage-sama's level. In fact, there is no way to solve this problem. The tail beast is a very good supply of chakras. Almost all the Jinchuriki have near inexhaustible chakras in the raw form. The difference lies in whether they can control it or not. However, the nine-tailed beasts are in the hands of the five great shinobi villages, and they are still Akatsuki's goal in the future. Therefore, capturing these tailed beasts is no less than grabbing food from the mouth of a tiger. If he doesn't pay attention, he will set yourself on fire. On the other hand, Rabi is different. This is a self-made artificial tailed beast. Although its strength and stability are far inferior to the original nine-tailed beasts, if it is only used as a chakra battery, it might solve Kuroto's low chakra level problems. Thinking of this, Kuroto inadvertently glanced at Shino who was resting not far away and thought to himself, when Rebi officially appeared, Uzumaki Naruto had grown into a teenager. If I have to wait for more than ten years, it wouldn't exactly be useful for me, need to search for another method to accelerate the time of Rebi's appearance. The next morning, the three packed up and went on the road again, and when they entered the territory of Tanokuni, Land of Sound, they were immediately spotted by a group of wandering ninjas. The wandering ninjas are often missing mean of the five great ninja villages and the rebellion ninjas of the small ninja villages. These ninjas are generally not strong, so most of them are entrenched in small countries like the country of tea or waves without the protection of the ninja village. Ads by Pub Future Looking at the wandering ninjas hiding far behind him, Itachi asked, Captain, what should we do? Kuroto looked around and said lightly, There are three ninjas ambushing from the front, and three are behind. I will solve the front, you solve the back, a quick fight don't delay if not necessary. Swish. Swish. Following Kuroto's order, he and Itachi turned into two after images, one after the other, pounced on the wandering ninjas who were staring at them. On Kuroto's side, he didn't use Rain Wheel, but with the amazing insight of the Tensegan, he solved the three wandering ninjas in front of him with two soft fists attack each. And when Kuroto turned around to check, Itachi also ended the battle. With the exquisite kunai throwing skills, coupled with the movements without a trace of extra action, Itachi's battle is also straightforward, not inferior to Kuroto in any aspect. The whole battle seemed to be just an inconspicuous episode, and the three of them didn't care too much and continued on their way. After walking for another half day, Kuroto suddenly stopped. Both Itachi and Shino looked puzzled, but upon noticing that Kuroto looking into the distance with a very serious face, so they didn't ask questions, but unconsciously became alert. After a few breaths, Kuroto said in a deep voice, We are probably in trouble. Itachi asked, Is it Cloud Shinobi? Kuroto nodded. The four people who are fast approaching them all have a good amount of chakras, especially the leading one. The amount of chakras is more than anyone Kuroto has ever seen before, even more than the Sande Mokage. Moreover, the four of them did not even try to conceal their movements, this simply meant their target was his group. Kuroto is not stupid, by now he had realized that what Shino had stolen in the Cloud Village should be something very important, otherwise, the other party would not be so set on retrieving it that they sent such an elite team to pursue it. Ads by Pub Future After just ten breaths, the four figures appeared on the surrounding big trees, condescendingly examining Kuroto and others without hiding their presence. While the other party analyzing Kuroto's group, Kuroto also observed the other party. There are a total of four people on the opposite side. The leader is a female ninja who is probably of the same age as Kuroto. And based on the memories of his previous life, Kuroto can make a good guess of her identity, although he doesn't exactly remember her name, but he can be sure she is the Jinchuriki of Manitabi. In addition to the Jinchuriki, the other three in the team seem to be high-level Chunin, their responsibility should be guarding Manitabi Jinchuriki specially arranged by Yandame Rekage of the Cloud Village. After a brief stare of the opposite party, Jinchuriki spoke coldly, Hey, Kanoha brats. Hurry up! Go back and tell your village that you encountered Cloud Shinobi, Kanoha won't blame you for giving up the task. 
It was obvious that she and Kuroto were of similar age, but he was treated as brats. Oh, now the readers can imagine our protagonist's mood. Werder, I don't blame her. Taking a kid Itachi to the mission was your idea. Obviously, she doesn't understand who is Itachi. Similar to all the Cloud Shinobis, Matatabi Jinchuriki is also very conceited of her strength and did not hesitate to look down on Kuroto and Itachi. Such blatant disrespect isn't unnatural from the Cloud Shinobi's side. According to Kuroto's vague impression of Manitabi Jinchuriki she is too arrogant, she insisted to single out Akatsuki's undead duo and ended up being captured, not only lost Manitabi but also lost her life. Shinoe's face was uncertain at this moment. He has a lot of experience traveling around the world. In his eyes, Hugo Kuroto and Uchiha Itachi are indeed very good ninjas, but compared with Cloud's Jinchuriki, they are obviously weaker. Itachi is a thoughtful person. When he saw the lineup sent by Cloud Village, he guessed that Shino, as their employer, must be hiding something very important. Seeing Kuroto and Itachi seemed unmoved, Jinchuriki girl said again, this guy named Shino has stolen our important secrets from Cloud Village. He is a complete liar. Do you think it is worth it to give up your life for such a worthless person? Shino immediately defended, I have never entered your village at all. How could I steal your secrets? It is not honorable for you to treat a doctor like this. Jinchuriki sneered, no need to argue, we will know after the interrogation, whether you're speaking the truth or not, dot. Kuroto was really hesitant at the moment. He did the task to uplift his status and reputation. If he didn't fight, he would betray his employer, let alone complete his objective. I am afraid he would in fact be punished by the village for giving up on the mission. And the Jinchuriki is not an ordinary opponent, once he fights, the degree of battle is difficult to control. Boom! Just as Kuroto was weighing the pros and cons, there was a sudden explosion in the distance. For a time, both the enemy and their eyes were attracted to the distance. When Kuroto looked, he found that two people were fighting in that, and recognized both of them, they were none other than his teacher Orochimaru and Jiraiya, two of the three Kanoha Sanin. At this moment, from the corner of his eyes, he suddenly noticed that a hint of joy flashed across Shinoe's face. Chapter 17 Only Kuroto noticed the instantaneous joy that flashed on Shino's face as only the Tensigen has such insight to be able to capture such micro and nano expressions, others including Itachi who hasn't yet awakened Sharingan didn't notice this change. Kuroto who noticed this, pondered in his heart. Why is Shino so happy upon noticing Orochimaru and Jiraiya's presence? The fact that Orochimaru defected from Konoha is already well known in the world. He and Jiraiya also appeared here at almost the same time as their group arrived here, but this doesn't affect their current situation. There is no real help coming. Unless, unless, unless Shino is sure that Orochimaru and Jiraiya will join forces to help us deal with Cloud Ninjas. But if that's the case, how can he be sure that Orochimaru, a defected ninja, will help? Obviously, he knows that Cloud Village is hunting him at this time, so why does he insist on coming to the Country of Lightning? Hiring Kanoha Ninja to escort him, without even hiding his true name. Does it mean that he wants to provoke a conflict between Kanoha and Cloud? And if that's his purpose is he assured that he can escape and scathe out of all this? Could it be? Orochimaru appearing here at this convenient time isn't just some simple coincidence? Does that mean Orochimaru hiding in Tanokuni is the trump card? Is he working for Orochimaru? No, at best Shino is a Chunin level, and at this time Orochimaru won't be taking subordinates that would be a burden on him. So the best explanation is that there must be some kind of cooperative relationship between the two. Combining the observable information with his vague memory, Kuroto quickly had an answer. But anyway, the coincidental appearance of Orochimaru and Jiraiya is a turning point for Kuroto. If Orochimaru really cooperating with Shino, then he will not ignore Shino, and neither will Jiraiya let Kanoha Ninja get killed by Cloud Ninja in his presence. As soon as his thoughts turned, Kuroto immediately put his hand behind him and made a gesture to Itachi. Upon seeing it, Itachi quickly took out a Kanoha signal flare for help and fired it high into the sky. Why Yaisal? Bang bang bang. Ads by Pub Future. Accompanied by a blast, the signal flare exploded three red smoke clouds in the air. In fact, 
firing signal flare was kind of unnecessary. When Kuroto and others found Orochimaru and Jiraiya, they also found Kuroto and others, and tacitly stopped fighting and rushed in Kuroto and others' direction. Soon, one after the other, Orochimaru and Jiraiya appeared in front of Kuroto and others. Looking at the group of people in front of him, Orochimaru spoke with a hoarse voice and smiled gloomily, I didn't expect to meet Cloud Village's Jinchuriki here. It seems that I have gained something today. Jiraiya also said in anxiousness, Don't be foolish, Orochimaru, it will cause war. Orochimaru ignored Jiraiya and moved his gaze away from Cloud's Manitabi Jinchuriki and glanced at Kuroto and his group, stopped at Kuroto and Itachi respectively, and finally fell on Shinoe's body, revealing a playful smile. On Cloud's side, as Orochimaru and Jiraiya appeared one after another, Cloud Ninja no longer had their previous composure, and the three Cloud Ninjas who were traveling with Jinchuriki were even restless now. Unlike Hyuga Kuroto, which was barely trying to survive in the war, and the kid Itachi who hasn't yet gained his reputation, the fame of Orochimaru and Jiraiya was achieved through countless battles the trials of life and death. Even if Cloud Shinobi were arrogant earlier, but now upon seeing these two arrive at the same time obviously, they dare not be so arrogant anymore. This isn't over yet. Seeing that nothing could be done, the Jinchuriki left some empty words and decisively led the team to retreat. Orochimaru had no intention of pursuing them at all, obviously, the threat from Jinchuriki was completely ignored. Seeing Cloud Ninja take the initiative to retreat, Jiraiya on the side also let out a long sigh of relief. Kuroto moved the object of the guard from Cloud Ninja to Orochimaru and asked tentatively, Master Jiraiya, do you need our help? Officially, Orochimaru is Kanoha's defected ninja. On the surface, Kuroto who is Kanoha ninja naturally has to make a clear stand. However, Jiraiya only waved his hand, Orochimaru is not something you can deal with. There is nothing for you here. Go and perform your own tasks. Kuroto was also just asking for formality's sake, and he stopped talking after hearing this, and immediately left with Itachi and Shino. After experiencing this storm, the three became more careful. They bypassed all the towns and did not deal with anyone. When encountering flat, open, unobstructed terrain, they even changed to traveling during both daylight and night. So cautiously, the three Kuroto finally reached their destination safely a week late. R. This village is indeed suffering from a plague, and the site is full of depression, and there is indeed a villager who claims to have written a letter asking Shino to come to the village to heal the plague. Ads by Pub Future. As for Shinoe's identity, Kuroto already knew, so he pretended not to notice anything, and completed the B-level escort mission. On the return trip, Itachi looked back at the village behind him and whispered, Captain, there is a problem with this Shino. I know, but it's not our business. After hesitating a little, Itachi said, I don't know if it is my illusion. I always feel that he is hostile to us Kanoha. Kuroto looked at Itachi with some surprise, and said, maybe that is indeed the case. Sky Village was destroyed by Kanoha, so it is normal for Shino to be hostile to Kanoha. Kuroto can judge Shino's identity because of the memory of his previous life, but Itachi has such a keen intuition at such a young age, which really surprised Kuroto. When camping at night, Kuroto noticed that there was a signal left by Orochimaru on a big tree not far away, and he knew that Orochimaru was summoning him, so he casually made an excuse and quietly came to the indicated place. As soon as Kuroto arrived, Orochimaru's figure walked out of the shadow. As always, Kuroto greeted respectfully, Orochimaru-sama. Orochimaru looked at Kuroto with interest, and then said after some pause, kuroto kuen the feeling you gave me this time seems to be different from before. Kuroto replied calmly, thanks to your help, I almost died at the hands of the village. Therefore, I appear to be a little different. The corner of Orochimaru's lips curved, a blessing in disguise, yes? Then you have to thank Shimura Danzo. Does that mean Shimura Danzo was responsible for the cleansing? Well, I overestimated his skills and underestimated his methods. Orochimaru looked casual as if talking about something completely unrelated to him. Kuroto tentatively said, it seems that you must have snatched something he really wanted for himself. Orochimaru did not deny it, but smiled, yes, it is indeed a very good baby. After confirming his guess, 
Kuroto did not continue to probe, but took the initiative to change the subject and asked softly that Shino is also dealing with you, right? Orochimaru glanced at Kuroto because of his question, I can't even hide this from you, you really seem to have made some progress from before. Kuroto shook his head staying humble, he has exposed too many flaws, let alone me, even Uchiha's little guy has noticed that something is wrong with Shino. With a noncommittal smile, Orochimaru said, he stole some secrets about physical regeneration from the cloud, which is very helpful for my current field of research. So, no wonder Cloud sent such a strong pursuit team. Seeing Kuroto seemed very interested in physical regeneration, Orochimaru said with a hoarse voice, Kuroto Kuen, if you are interested, I can also consider giving you a copy of the research results. Chapter 18 The secret technique that even strong people at the level of Orochimaru are interested in, if Kuroto says he is not interested, it is undoubtedly deceiving himself, so he bluntly said, What do I need to do to get it? Orochimaru answered something that was not what he expected, what do you think of Uchiha Itachi? Kuroto answered without much need to think, unlike many so-called geniuses, he is a true genius. Maybe in three to five years, he can grow to an unparalleled level. Upon listening to Kuroto's evaluation of Itachi, Orochimaru took out a scroll from his arms and threw it to Kuroto, he also said, help me keep a close eye on him and pay more attention to him. I am very interested in this Uchiha kid. With these words left, the figure of Orochimaru disappeared into the shadow, as if it had never appeared before. Holding the secret technique scroll that Orochimaru threw over, Kuroto thought, is it Itachi Sharingan or Itachi's body that Orochimaru covets? There is no doubt about Itachi's excellence, but Kuroto is a little confused about the so-called pay more attention of Orochimaru, what does it mean? After returning to the camp, Kuroto found that Itachi was writing and drawing on the pocketbook he carried with him, so he asked casually, What are you writing? Itachi replied seriously, I'm recording the mission log. According to the village's regulations, all ninjas who perform missions must record mission logs. When returning to the village to hand over missions, the mission logs will be kept as files and sealed in the archives of the mission center. But the rules are rules. In fact, there are very few ninjas willing to record mission logs in such a detailed manner. Most ninjas, such as Kuroto, simply dictate the summary of the task when handing over the task completion report, then record it on the spot by the staff of the task center, and finally save it in the archive. Seeing Itachi's dedication, Kuroto said with emotion, Itachi, you are the most meticulous ninja I have ever seen. Although you are such young, you are indeed meticulous in everything you do. Closing the notebook, Itachi replied, I just want to learn more from my senpais. Kuroto shook his head and smiled, saying nothing more. Ads by Pub Future. After that, the return journey was smooth. Unlike the time when they came, Kuroto and Itachi, who rushed at full speed like ninjas, returned to the village in just one week. After submitting the task log in the task center, the task center immediately upgraded the difficulty level of this task from B to A. As for the reason, it was because this mission involved Cloud Village, which is one of the five great ninja villages similar to Kanoha Village, and the other side also dispatched their Jinchuriki and his guard team. Jinchuriki is regarded as the strongest combat power in ninja villages, except for Kages. They are even considered the pillar of ninja villages. Therefore, when encountering such tricky characters in the task, and to able to successfully complete the commission is not considered easy. So, Generally, the task center will upgrade the level of such tasks to their appropriate standards. Of course, the reward money given to Kekuroto and Itachi is still the standard for the B-level mission, but their mission archives files have one more A-level mission completion record. It is very rare for Chunin to complete an A-level mission, not to mention Itachi, who has not graduated yet, so Itachi who walked out of the mission center was very happy. Looking at Itachi's smiling face, Kuroto said with emotion, only now can he really smile innocently like a child. Before leaving, Itachi bowed deeply to Kuroto and expressed his gratitude sincerely, Kuroto Senpai, thank you for your guidance. I learned a lot from this mission. You are worthy real Kanoha ninja. Kuroto smiled and said, however, I don't remember teaching you anything. Itachi replied, although you are not a talkative person, 
you have taught me a lot with your actions, especially when we encountered the Manitabi Jinchuriki, you let me understand the persistence that a Kanoa ninja should have. Kuroto was startled when he heard the words, and immediately asked, Don't you think I was embarrassed at that time? Itachi shook his head. Kuroto raised the corner of his mouth, Then you know why when facing clouds humiliation can I keep calm? Itachi thought carefully for a while, and tentatively replied, Because anger interferes with judgment, shouldn't the ninja not get angry? No. He waved his hand, and Kuroto smiled mysteriously. It's because I suddenly felt better when I thought of the Uchiha Itachi being looked down together. Itachi and Kuroto had some fun conversation, and after chatting a few words, he left. Looking at Itachi's leading figure, Kuroto sighed slightly. I have to say that the Uchiha clan is indeed weird. They are too easy to go to. Extremes there is this guy Abito who wants to put the entire world into an illusion so that he can live together with the girl he loved. Ads by Pub Future. There is this guy Itachi who killed off his entire clan, relatives, and parents for the sake of peace. And there is the Madara of all people, the guy simply wants to put the entire ninja world in an infinite jinjutsu and decide the course of their life as per his whims. If it's just thinking extremes, there are too many such people in the world. But the Uchihas are different, and it is also their source of strength. The more extreme they are, the stronger their pupil power. Once their Sharingan evolves into Mangekyo, these people will have both the motivation to develop their extreme ideas and the strength to realize them. Just think about it, makes Kuroto shudder to the core. An Uchiha should never be offended. In the Hokage office. The Sandame Hokage, Hiruzen Saratobi is holding a tobacco pipe in his mouth, while looking at the file in his hand. Suddenly, Sandim Sama asked the Hokage assistant beside him, that kid from Uchiha clan just completed an A-level mission? Because the village has now launched comprehensive monitoring of the Uchiha clan, so the fact that Itachi has just completed the task on the front foot, at the back foot, the mission archive file has already been passed to the Hokage office for a review. The assistant replied, Yes, it was originally a B-level commission, but Cloud Village was involved in the mission, and the other party also dispatched their Jinchuriki, so the mission center updated the mission evaluation and upgraded the B-level to a level. While looking at the mission record, the Sabdame said, This Hugo Kuroto is related to Orochimaru? The assistant replied, Yes, during the Third Shinobi World War, Orochimaru used his relationship to arrange Hugo Kuroto from the front-line battlefield to the hospital and served as a hospital guard for a while, however, Hugo Kuroto isn't a medical ninja although is proficient in wound dressing, and his reputation in the medical class is not bad. Apart from close contacts with Orochimaru, there is no other stain. The Sandame took out Kuroto's personal files again, read his record, and then wrinkled his brows, was he sent for cleansing? The assistant replied, Yes, the roots took him for cleansing once, but because the team encountered an unidentified wandering ninja, the cleaning operation failed and the roots ninja Naramitsui who accompanied him was killed. The Sandame's frowned brows tightened again, unidentified wandering ninja? Can you confirm it? The assistant replied, Yes, there was also news from Sand Village's side, their assassination team responsible for the purge operation was also annihilated. However, the news they passed was a little vague. They seemed to know who the murderer was, but they didn't want to reveal. So the intelligence team analyzed that this so-called wandering ninja was probably a missing name of Sand Village. The brows of the Sandame now relaxed, since you can be sure that it was not made up incident by Hugo Kuroto, then observe him for a while. If there is no abnormality, cross him out of the cleaning list. Following the rebellion of Orochimaru and the Kyubi rebellion that followed, the village lost one after another the three Kage-class combat powers including Orochimaru, Yande Mokage, second-generation Kyubi Jinchuriki several, elite and high-level jonins, as well as a large number Chunin and Jinin ninjas. And according to the information returned by the spies lurking in the other big ninja villages, these ninja villages seemed to be conspiring together after learning that Kanoha had been hit hard. They were all a little bit ready to move. Coupled with the problems of the Echiha clan in the village, the Sandame who were struggling and internally and externally and have been a little tired of coping, so Danzo's purge action has been stopped indefinitely by him. Chapter 19 of the scene that happened in the Hokage office, Kuroto naturally had no way of knowing. 
He who had just completed the A-level mission was walking towards his home at the moment. Kuroto's parents died in the war a long time ago, but because Kuroto was part of the wealthy Hyuga clan and was sheltered by the clan, his childhood was much better than the other orphans in the village. At least, he owns a single-family house left to him by his parents. When he returned home, Kuroto noticed that the house was spotlessly clean. Obviously, someone had been helping him with cleaning when he was on the task. The only one who would sew is Yui, Hyuga Yui is Kuroto's engagement partner. The marriage contract was made when Kuroto's parents while still alive, so after his parents passed away, Yui's family took care of him very much and treated him completely as a family, Kuroto is really grateful to Yui's parents. After closing the door, Kuroto took out the secret technique of physical regeneration he had obtained from Orochimaru. After careful research, he was able to figure out the principle of this secret technique. Simply put, it is to use extremely special techniques to stimulate the cells in the body with chakra to accelerate cell division so as to achieve rapid accelerated healing of wounds and rapid recovery of chakras. In terms of effect alone, this secret technique lives up to its name of physical regeneration because it really regenerates the body by accelerating cell division. But Kuroto knows that the number of possible divisions of every human cell is limited if the rate of cell division is accelerated then it actually accelerates the consumption of lifespan. In other words, the more frequently this technique is used the faster the user dies. However, if used only in desperate situations, it would be a really useful technique. Ads by PubFuture Office 2021 Lifetime License Office 2021 Lifetime License one-time purchase. No subscription. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook, Access, and Publisher. PSSBS. Thinking of the shortcomings of this technique, and also thinking of the Furofusher no Jutsu that Orochimaru was about to develop in the near future Kuroto S. Hart really revered it. Orochimaru possesses Furofusher no Jutsu, so the body can be replaced frequently. In this way, he completely overcomes the shortcomings of this technique. No wonder the later Orochimaru was kind of like a cockroach, can hardly be killed, even Itachi can only find a way to seal him. The secret technique of physical regeneration can not only quickly recover the injury, but also because of the production of new cells, the body continuously obtains a new source of chakra, so once this secret technique is cast without scruples, then the caster is almost not afraid of any kind of damage and have a continuous supply of chakras. To others, this is tantamount to suicide. But for Orochimaru, who is about to develop Furofusher no Jutsu, the secret technique of living corpse reincarnation, according to which if one body is damaged, it can be replaced by another, this is not a problem at all. Thinking of this, Kuroto really had to admire his teacher Orochimaru. Although Kuroto couldn't use it unscrupulously, it was not a bad thing to master one more secret technique after all, so he quickly condensed his thoughts and concentrated on learning this secret technique of physical regeneration. I don't know if it is due to the physical changes brought about by the Tensigen or the increase in chakras in the body. Kuroto has learned this new technique much faster than before. In addition, this secret technique involves human meridian's knowledge, and he was already very familiar with it, so he soon mastered the direction and method of chakra flow of this secret technique and the steps of forming seals. After thoroughly mastering the secret operation, Kuroto didn't hesitate and immediately destroyed the scroll recording the secret technique. He was cautious not to leave any evidence that could be used against him. After learning the secret technique, Kuroto pondered the problems encountered in this mission. Regardless of whether the rain will control, a combined term used for push-slash-pull, a powerful and useful technique or the Sandane Kazakage's puppet is very powerful, but he can't use these techniques openly, he can't include these techniques in his conventional fighting method if he encounters an enemy in the presence of a Kanoha ninja. Kuroto's fighting method is already very simple and of singling out. This feeling of restraining his strength was fully reflected in this mission. Therefore, Kuroto urgently needs a series of fighting tactics and techniques as a means of defending against the enemy which he can use openly. Taking into account his identity as a Hyuga, if want to reasonably obtain more and stronger means of defending against the enemy, further development of Gentle Fist is undoubtedly the best choice of combat method for Kuroto at the moment. It's time to try to train Gentle Fist again. Ads by PubFuture 
the principle of revolving heaven is not complicated. Previously, it was restricted by the insufficient chakra volume, so I have not been able to successfully practice. Now Kuroto's chakra volume has far exceeded that of Niji, and since Niji can understand it by himself, then there is no reason why he who possesses the Tensegan can't understand. The next day, Kuroto found a small forest far from the land of the Hyuga clan for training. After confirming that there was no one in the surroundings, he did not waste any time and immediately began to try. There are two ways to master the revolving heaven, one is to master the various acupoints of oneself, and the other is to have sufficient chakras and be able to control chakras stably. For Kuroto, both these methods are usable, so after only a few attempts, he was able to perform revolving heaven to some extent. From this, it further proves that the physical changes brought about by the Tensig into Kuroto are not only reflected in the growth of his chakra volume, but he is also reflected in chakra control, insight, somatosensory balance, and perception, etc. Phew! After a sigh of relief, Kuroto wiped off his sweat with the towel prepared in advance. After a morning of hard practice, he has barely mastered revolving heaven. Although there is still a lot of room for optimization and improvement in the use of skills, it is no longer a problem to use it in actual combat. After mastering the secret technique of physical regeneration and the technique of revolving heaven, Kuroto was in a good mood, so he took a short break at noon and came to the mission center again. Like last time, the mission center is still deserted, and most of the ninjas who come and go are in a hurry. Because there was a record of leading a team to complete A-level missions, and there were too many tasks in the mission center, Kuroto was made an exception and obtained the permission to receive A-level missions. A-level tasks are generally commissioned by politicians of various countries or large forces. Under normal circumstances, at least ninjas who are a particularly high ranking can receive them. And as his body gradually adapts to the Tensegan, Kuroto's strength grows every day, and now he has mastered the technique of physical regeneration and revolving heaven. The strength has also reached the level of Tokubetsu Jonin, so it is no problem to take some A-level tasks that are not too difficult. After simply flipping through the A-level task list, Kuroto curled his lips. At the level of A-level missions, there are very few that are allowed to be received by a single person. Even if there are one or two missions that are allowed to be received by a single person, they are also difficult tasks such as assassination, which require Jonin's, even elite Jonin's. Only the shinobis at that level can complete such tasks with confidence. At this time, Kuroto realized that the lack of a tacit teammate was a very big problem. Just as he was starting to have a headache on who to search for forming team, a green figure rushed into the mission center. Chapter 20 Turning his head and looking around, Kuroto realized that the green figure holding a tabby cat was not a stranger, but a classmate named Mike Guy who graduated with him at the same time from the Ninja Academy. At this moment, Guy is hurriedly handing the tabby cat in his arms to the staff of the task center, seeming to be handing over the task. Seeing this scene, Kuroto smiled. In the impression of Kuroto based on his previous life's memories, Guy is a powerful elite jonin, a representative of Kanoha's strong fist flow, and even Kanoha's top power pillar in the later period. But in this life, Guy gave him the impression of a complete crane tail, a strong competitor who competed with Abito for the last place in the Ninja Academy. At first, Kuroto thought it was his own crossing, which caused some deviation. But with the growth of strength and experience, he now understands that this is not the deviation caused by his own crossing. This seemingly funny green tights wearing guy in front of him will definitely become the might guy in the near future. The reason is also very simple. The strong fist is closely related to physical fitness. Without speed and strength, strong fist taijutsu is doesn't not very effective. Therefore, at an early age, because the body has not yet developed, the ninja who practices a strong fist will be far inferior to the ninja who practices ninjutsu. This is completely natural and does not involve personal talent. Once the practitioner reaches adulthood, with the full development of the body, the ninjas who practice strong fist flow will quickly enter the peak period and catch up with the orthodox ninjas who practice ninjutsu. What's more, Guy has Hashiman Tonka no Jin, the secret technique of using the eight inner gates, handed down in him by his father Mai Duwei, so as he grows older, this crane tail will inevitably shine with a different brilliance. Kuroto's heart was a little eager when he thought of Guy's Hashiman Tonku. 
A secret technique is generally passed on from father to son, from master to disciple, or from close friends. Perhaps the village also has a collection of the inner eight gates, but with the current status of Kuroto, it is obviously unrealistic to obtain it from the official channels in the village, so Guy in front of him is the best source of obtaining this technique. As for how to make friends with Guy, this is not difficult for Kuroto, because there is a ready-made example he knows, and that is Kakashi. As long as Kakashi, or someone like Kakashi, can be considered an eternal rival by Guy, then there is almost no need for Kuroto to take the initiative to do anything, Guy will come to him by himself. Ads by Pub Future. Office 2021, Lifetime License. Office 2021, Lifetime License. One-time Purchase. No subscription. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook, Access, and Publisher. PSSBS. After making up his mind, Kuroto came to Guy and said with a slight contempt, I remember you are already Chunin, why are you still doing the task of finding cats and dogs? Guy also recognized Kuroto and immediately dropped his head in a little embarrassment. Ah ha, I was just exercising, by the way. I found it coincidentally, so I caught it. Staring at the claw marks left by the tabby cat on Guy's face, Kuroto smiled lightly, then it's not that nobody wants to team up with you, so you can't get the high-level mission? After being revealed mercilessly by Kuroto, Guy suddenly drooped his head and said with a little discouragement, everyone thinks since I don't know how to use ninjutsu, so they don't want to take me on missions. Sure enough. After chuckling, Kuroto said lightly, Obviously, Strong Fist has no future. Guy suddenly raised his head and shouted, I will definitely prove to everyone that even if you can't understand ninjutsu or jinjutsu, a Strong Fist Taijutsu user can become a worthy ninja. Naive. Kuroto snorted coldly and said slowly, It seems that I need to make you recognize the reality. Come with me, I will let you know that our Hyuga's gentle fist is the best Taijutsu technique. Guy who heard this statement was quite shocked, he didn't expect Kuroto to be willing to compete with him. After graduating from school, ninjas rarely compete with each other unless they are very close friends or comrades, because during the contest, you will inevitably leak information about your own ninjutsu, taijutsu, jinjutsu, etc. techniques, and this information is about your own strength and weakness if leaked to an enemy, it is easy to be targeted and the consequences will be disastrous. After taking Guy to the remote practice range, where he practiced revolving heaven in the morning, Kuroto stopped, just here. Guy was full of vitality at the thought of being able to compete with Kuroto, who was born in the Hyuga clan and saw him stretch out his thumb and show his big white teeth. Kuroto on the other hand still looked cold and waved to him impatiently, indicating that they could start any time. Guy stopped talking nonsense and turned into an afterimage as he rushed towards Kuroto. Bang! The two sides collide their fists, and there was a low muffled noise. So fast. Kuroto was stunned in his heart. Not daring to underestimate the enemy in the slightest, Kuroto immediately rallied the blows. Bang, bang, bang. Ads by Pub Future. In an instant, the two figures fought fiercely to and fro in the forest. The key to practicing strong fist is fast speed, accuracy, and intent, so if insight is not enough, the average ninja can't keep up with the rhythm of the refined strong fist taijutsu fights. The short encounter between Sasuke and Rock Lee before the Chunin exam is the most typical example. However, the current Kuroto is not Sasuke, and the Tensigen is much superior to two Tomo Sharingan of Sasuke. So, although Gaia's speed is very fast, Kuroto still adapts quickly. At this moment, under the black goggles, Kuroto's royal blue Tensigen is shining brilliantly. The flow of chakra, the contraction and expansion of muscles in various parts of his body, and even the flying trajectory of the gravel caused by stepping on the ground can't escape the inside of the Tensigen. Guy's swift speed gradually slowed down under this Tajatsu, and it seemed that the time rate Kuroto was experiencing was different than the actual flow rate. The battle continued. In the scene, Kuroto looked more and more relaxed. But in reality, every time he parries, every attack he blocks, Kuroto can't tell relax his guard at all. He really didn't expect that after only a few years of effort, Guy's strength has become so great, even if it is just parry and block, it faintly makes him struggle to keep up. Guy, who is in a fighting state, 
changed his previous comical temperament, and the whole person became so awe-inspiring, and there was a natural magnificence between his every gesture. After a series of rush attacks reduced Kuroto's dodge space, Guy immediately shouted, Leave Hurricane! Whoosh! Whoosh! Guy's whole body is really like a green whirlwind, fiercely blowing towards Kuroto. Kuroto didn't choose to back down or dodge in the face of Guy's attack and decided to meet it, as a result, the whole chakra in his body stirred and greeted him with a soft fist. Boom! There was another muffled sound, and Guy was shot out and fell to the ground. Although there was no big scene when Kage class or Elite Jonin class ninjas are fighting against each other, the edge-to-edge taijutsu-type battle here was much more intense than that of ninjutsu-type battle. The last blow just now, if it weren't for Kuroto to seal the acupuncture points on Guy's leg with a gentle fist chakra injection, blocking Guy's meridians from instilling chakras into his leg, Kuroto would be the one who had been knocked off. Although his heart beats like a beat, 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 and his arms are already sore, Kuroto still maintains that indifferent cold look with his lips curling mockingly and said, it seems that you haven't made much progress in the past two years. However, Guy who seems to have already been used to cynicism from others didn't pay much attention to Kuroto's teasing. Instead, he praised Kuroto sincerely with the idiotic sparkle in his eyes, Kuroto, you are amazing. Chapter 21 Kuroto with one hand on his hips, imitating the look of Orochimaru, chuckled softly, I can't feel any joy to be praised by a weak person like you. Guy, who was lying on the ground, immediately lowered his head. Seeing Guy's depression, Kuroto secretly said, Uh, did I discourage him a little too much? Just as Kuroto was about to console Guy with a few words, Guy suddenly put away his frustrated expression and said loudly, I am Kanoha's proud blue beast. One day, I will catch up with you. Sure enough, I think too much. Murmured to himself, Kuroto said, Hey, it wasn't all your strength just now, was it? Guy jumped up immediately, Of course, I still have a trick up my sleeve. Kuroto backed his faintly red and numb arms to his back, and said contemptuously, You. And have a trick up your sleeve? I don't believe it. But it's true. Guy said, Are you sure it's not just your imagination? Kuroto also knew that technique, but he has to pretend to look down on Guy. No. It's a secret technique that I can use. Guy said with deep emotion as he mentioned it. Is that so? Then let me see it. Finally, Kuroto demanded. After a little hesitation, Guy shook his head. Kuroto just wanted to force Guy to use the Hashiman Tanku, so he deliberately said while continuously hitting Guy's with a pointy finger, Why? You think I can't take on some mere trick from you? Are you looking down on me? Guy hurriedly waved his hands and explained, No, no, no. No! My father said that this is a forbidden technique and made me swear to never use this technique against companions. Hmm, is that so? Although your father is a respectable ninja in my opinion, but I don't believe you have any forbidden techniques that can hurt me. After a pause, Kuroto said, You don't seem to understand the difference between our strength. Fight me with all you have, you don't have any qualifications to reserve any technique, or you might seriously get hurt, besides it's disrespectful to not use all of your strength. Guy still hesitated, but, but this is really a very powerful forbidden technique. I haven't fully mastered it yet. Kuroto stepped forward, full of momentum, is your talent surpassing me? Or is your blood purity surpassing me? If you don't do your best, if you don't use everything you have, how are you going to win against me? Aye aye. Guy stuttered and was continuously shaking his head left and right. Staring at the stuttering guy, Kuroto continued to press, or, is it that you never thought about defeating me? If that's the case, you can go. I am not interested in challenging a weak person like you. After Guy listened to Kuroto's words, his whole body was struck by lightning, and then he slowly clenched his fists. Ads by Pub Future. Office 2021, Lifetime License. Office 2021, Lifetime License. One-time purchase. No subscription. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook, Access, and Publisher. PSSBS. What the hell? In just a moment, Kuroto realized that Guy's aura had changed. At this time, Guy looked at Kuroto and shouted, Kuroto, 
you are right. I should use all of my strength when fighting a strong, noble, and genius ninja like you. Only in this way, my youth will not be wasted. Kuroto was confused, and said secretly, I barely got a touch with the noble, when did the term genius hook up with me? Could it be that my pretending effect is so good that he feels that I am a genius? Just as Kuroto was muttering, Guy's momentum suddenly rose. The first air gate, Kaimon, open. There was a change in the flow of air around Guy. The second inner gate, Kumon, open. The airflow gradually turned into waves of air. The third inner gate, Simon, open. Chakra floated out of Guy's body, it was as if it really manifested alive. The face of the opposite Kuroto was continuously sinking as water as Guy started opening inner gates one after other, but his heart was shocked. Hey, 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 no need to get desperate. That's enough, don't open anymore, you will kill me if you open more. Guy naturally couldn't hear Kuroto's heart, so there was no sign of stopping. The fourth inner gate, Shomon, open. The dissipated chakras seemed to thicken, and a dense wave of air rose up, like the tailed beast chakra cloak, enveloping Guy. Maybe it was that Guy could only open up to the fourth gate at present, or maybe he knew that it was just a mock battle between companions, so after opening Shomon, gate of injury, he stopped from opening any further. Kuroto! Get ready cuz here I'm coming. After saying so, without waiting for Kuroto to answer, Guy turned into a flash of green lightning and ran around Kuroto, seeming to be looking for the best opportunity and opening to attack. Following Guy's figure, Kuroto's Tensegan eyes swayed quickly from side to side in his eye sockets following Guy's movement closely with his Dejatsu. With Tensegan's insight, it is still more than enough to capture the figure of Guy who opened the fourth gate, but being able to capture the figure of Guy does not mean that Kuroto can physically keep up with Guy's action and speed. With a sinking heart, Kuroto said secretly, damn it, too fast. Kuroto's physical combat experience is still at the level of Chunin. Although he has been practicing secretly after awakening Tensegan, he still lacks actual combat beyond the Chunin level, so as Guy opened the injury gate, the battle level has advanced beyond Kuroto's responsive level. After the endurance stage, he immediately keenly noticed that his body faintly couldn't keep up with the rhythm of the battle. Seeing Guy who was still spinning around him at high speed, looking for an opening, Kuroto was also getting anxious, thinking hard about the possible countermeasures. Indeed, Kuroto is not up to the level of Tokabetsu Jonin without the use of Rain Wheel and the Kazakage Puppet, but his chakra volume has exceeded the level of a high-level Chunin, and this is his advantage. So, he quickly made up his mind, which is not to compare moves, not to compare speed, only to fight chakra in terms of chakra consumption. Ads by Pub Future. In this mock battle, he must win. No matter what happens, he must win in this mock battle. With the Tensegan, he can't allow himself to be defeated even once, even if it's just some mock battle. As Kuroto made up his mind, Guy also made his move. He kicked his foot on the ground, and while stirring up the dust in the sky, the whole person, under the huge reaction force, shot in his direction like a cannonball. Boom! The speed is so fast that it seems to have surpassed the level of a sonic boom, and the entire training grove is shaking because of the resulting vibrations due to strong impact. Kuroto's expression shrank, and he reacted immediately. In fact, before Guy took the shot, Kuroto with his keen insight had already captured the change in the flow of chakra in Guy's chakra meridians, but such micro-change was not enough for Kuroto to counterattack with gentle fists, so he didn't hesitate anymore and used Revolving Heaven. Bang! It was another real collision. Guy was bounced off and knocked down four or five big trees in a row. The momentum impact spread far and wide and shocked many people in the village. Kuroto is also not in good condition, at this moment, he can feel that there is some internal bleeding, and he is also feeling really dizzy. However, after just a few breaths of effort, Guy stood up and turned into an afterimage again, stepping up into the air, mixed with the sound of popping and quickly moved in midair. This. Seeing Guy, who was able to move quickly in the low air just by stepping on it, Kuroto immediately dispelled the idea of taking the initiative to attack, suppressed all kinds of thoughts, and began to focus solely on defending himself. In the rushing sound of air, Guy made another move. This time, he used the leaf whirlwind from top to bottom. Before his figure arrived, 
the resulting winds swept the entire grove. Leaf whirlwind. Revolving heaven. Because of Tinsegan, no matter how Guy concealed his attack trajectory, he couldn't escape Kuroto's insight, so if Kuroto completely abandons the intentions of making active attacks and just focus on defense, he will be able to barely grasp the time to launch Revolving Heaven. Boom! Not surprisingly, Guy's Leaf Whirlwind was once again blocked by Kuroto's Revolving Heaven. Guy's whole body was shot out like a cannonball, falling far outside the small forest and even almost hitting a few villagers passing by, causing a lot of noise. In the forest, Kuroto felt as if he couldn't move a step now. The bones won't break, right? Feeling the soreness, he was feeling from all over the body especially in his hands, Kuroto was secretly frightened. At this moment, he noticed the ground under his feet. With his location as the center of the circle, the spiderweb-like cracks on the ground continued to spread around, extending seven or eight meters away. Chapter 22 Not long after, Guy, who had already lifted the effect of the Hashiman Tonku, slowly walked into the grove. Seeing Guy lifted the Hashiman Tonku, Kuroto also breathed a sigh of relief, but said coldly, Under my perfect defense, any attack is ineffective. You should have experienced this. Guy gasped, and said, Kuroto, your Hyuga clan's Byakugan and Gentle Fists are indeed well deserved to be called one of the best bloodlines and combat techniques. I feel that my every move was under your attention, it felt that no matter what I did it couldn't escape your eyes. In the fourth gate state, both the attacks Guy initiated on Kuroto were blocked by him very easily, at least that's what Guy believes seeing the unaffected state of Kuroto. This fact led Guy to believe that he has no chance of winning this mock battle even if he continued to fight. Kuroto's face was still indifferent, of course, all your attacks have been seen through by me. Guy sat down on the ground, hey, I still lost. Humph, you should be proud of yourself to be able to force me to use Revolving Heaven, your secret technique is indeed commendable. After a pause, Kuroto said again, take a good rest today. See you at the mission center tomorrow morning. Guy was taken aback for a moment, and then said in surprise, you, you don't mind making a team with me for going on missions. Don't be late, because I don't like waiting. After Kuroto left a word, Guy no longer said much and Kuroto simply walked towards his house. At this moment, he was about to fall apart, and he couldn't stand any longer, if he didn't leave, he might have fallen unconscious because of all the pain he was feeling. The nervous guy seemed to have nothing to say, he was only cheering and bounced back home in excitement for tomorrow. Not long after Kuroto and Guy left one after another, a team of Umbu appeared in the woods where the two fought. After a brief survey of the scene, one of the Umbu said, There are no traces of using any ninjutsu, nor does it seem to use any jinjutsu. It is a pure taijutsu battle. The leading Umbu said solemnly, Is the identities of the two fighting parties confirmed? The Umbu member on the side replied, Well, one is a chunin from the branch part of the Hyuga clan, name Hyuga Kuroto, and the other is my Dewey's son, Chunin Mike Guy. Looking at the traces, it seems that the kid from the Hyuga clan has won. Ads by Pub Future. Looking around the surrounding trees and the pits of different sizes all over the ground, the Umbu team leader said, they have caused such big disturbances by using only Taijutsu techniques, reported to Hokage-sama, these two boys are worthy of attention. On Kuroto's side, when he returned home, he found that he was cleaning his house, seeing her Kuroto's heart suddenly felt warm and he forgot all the pain he was feeling. You hurriedly came out as soon as she noticed Kuroto, Kuroto Kuen, welcome home. Kuroto smiled, thank you you for taking care of my home while I was away. In the presence of you, Kuroto puts away all his acts, if there is anyone in the Kanoha village that Kuroto can trust unconditionally, it's the girl standing before him. As soon as you came out, she noticed the reddish and swollen arms of Kuroto, and exclaimed in surprise, How come you got injured Kuroto Kuen? Come, I'll bandage you. It's no big deal, I just accidentally got slightly injured during a mock battle, not something to be worried about. However, you didn't listen to Kuroto and pulled him onto the tatami and started cleaning the wounds. The two sat in silence while you was doing her work. After most of the work was done suddenly you spoke, while still applying the medicine to Kuroto's hands, Kuroto Kuen, Hizashi-sama asked me to apologize and ask for your understanding. 
Hyuga Hizashi is the twin brother of the current patriarch of Hyuga clan, he is responsible for assisting the patriarch in managing the Hyuga branch. Kuroto was a little confused because of what you said, apologize. Apologize to me for what? You said, are you angry? Everyone in the clan thinks you are angry at them, so during this period you didn't return to the clan, nor did you interact with anyone, it seems like you are avoiding them. Hearing you say that Kuroto immediately reacted. Undoubtedly, the clan misunderstood. The clan obviously thought that Kuroto had grievances against the clan and complained that the clan did not speak for him during his involvement in the Orochimaru defection incident, so he probably alienated himself from the rest of the clan. This is obviously not true because Kuroto never thought as such, because he knows what Hyuga, what Uchiha, and what any other clan. On the front, these clans surely do have high political standing but it is not possible for them to influence the final decision-making authorities, i.e. the Hokage and the Elder Council, unless, of course, they have a member of their clan a part of it, which is not the case here. The death of Hyuga Hizashi is a clear example of this. Even in the case of legitimate defense done by Hayashi-sama, the clan couldn't influence the village to refuse Cloud Village's demand and ended up sacrificing the twin brother Hizashi-sama in Hayashi-sama's stead. In such a case, what authority does the Hyuga clan has to be able to protect him during Orochimaru's defection? Therefore, Kuroto doesn't resent the Hyuga clan because he also knows that they are powerless. The alienation from the rest of the clan is only to protect his secret to have awakened the Tensegan to be accidentally discovered, but now that he knows that the clan has misunderstood his intentions, he can use this misunderstanding as an excuse, otherwise, an unreasonable alienation from the rest of the clan will inevitably arouse the suspicion of the elders. Ads by Pub Future While all this was going on in Kuroto's mind, Yu's innocence didn't allow her to discover Kuroto's absent-mindedness while he was cooking some plans, and she continued to speak, his Ashisama also said that at today's Jomin Council, the Sanin Jiraiya-sama also praised you, even in the face of Cloud Village's Jinchuriki, you made sure to not to affect Village's reputation by running away or giving up a task. Looking at you who seems to be quite happy while informing Kuroto of his great deeds, he asked gently, Jiraiya-sama has returned to Kanoha? Hmm Jiraiya-sama returned to Kanoha today. Sandim sama should have called Jiraiya-sama back to stop his tracking of Orochimaru, this shows that the trouble the village is facing is much bigger than he has calculated. Kuroto thought in his heart. In the Third Shinobi War itself, Kanoha didn't have the advantage it did during the Second Shinobi World War while it was facing the combined attrition from the four great villages. If it were not for the emergence of Namake's Minato, Kanoha's Golden Flash, who was able to reverse the situation on several battlefronts, the war might still have been in the stalemate period, so when the rest of the villages learned that one Sanin defected, Yandame and second-generation Jinchuriki both sacrificed themselves, they naturally started having some thoughts of taking advantage of Kanoha's weak situation. Anyway, all that aside. After you applied for medicine on reddish swollen parts of the body, Kuroto took a rest early. The battle with Guy can be said to be one of the hardest battles he fought since he had awakened the Tensegan, but at the same time, this battle also gave him much-needed experience. As a Taijutsu sparring partner, Mike Guy is simply impeccable. In the early morning of the next day, Kuroto wrapped his arms and legs with bandages before rushing to the mission center. A short night of rest isn't enough to recover from the injuries, but for the sake of his face, he doesn't want Guy to see him covered in bruises. By the time Kuroto arrived at the mission center, Guy was already waiting at the gate and greeted Kuroto as soon as he saw him coming. Kuroto! Here, here, here! I am! I am here! Looking at Guy who was bouncing around at the gate of the mission center, Kuroto suddenly felt embarrassed as he also became the center of attention along with Guy. Kuroto obviously didn't reply to Guy's overly excited greeting and directly entered the task room and started flipping through the available A-level task list. Guy didn't seem to notice Kuroto's embarrassment, whispered from the side, Kuroto, isn't his A-level task list that only Jonin can take? Kuroto casually explained, I just led the team to complete an A-level mission a couple of days ago, so I was granted permission to be able to take on A-level tasks. Guy was obviously surprised. What? You completed the A-level mission? For Mike Guy who has only dealt with D-level and C-level tasks, 
being able to complete B-level tasks is already out of his expectation much less the A-level task that is simply a dream come true. So naturally, he was quite surprised to hear that Kuroto led a team to complete an A-level task as a chunin himself. Kuroto glanced at Guy and pursed his lips and spoke in fake annoyance, what's so strange about it, I and the Uchiha kid were part of the team, so it is natural for us to complete an A-level task easily. Guy smiled seeing Kuroto's arrogance, that's right I forgot, you are a genius. Kuroto nodded in satisfaction. He just wanted to establish his strong image in Guy's mind, even though the of being called a genius irked him a little, but he doesn't have any other choice if he wants to achieve his purpose. Chapter 23 After flipping through pages in the mission file of A-level tasks, one particular mission caught Kuroto's eyes. The objective of the task is, suppress the wandering ninjas in the land of fire. Fighting between ninjas is a very common situation in A-level missions, as such Kuroto has to keep three points in mind before finalizing which mission to choose. 1. The distance to the location of the mission shouldn't be too far, because if the location is too far away then accidents are likely to occur on the way since the third shinobi war has ended not long so it wouldn't be strange if Kuroto encountered another missing like Sasori of the Red Sand or some other S-class ninja of other shinobi villages that might lead to confrontation, Kuroto doesn't want to take the risk. 2. The goal of the mission, i.e., the enemy he would be fighting slash suppressing slash killing shouldn't be too strong. 3. And lastly, the background of the enemy shouldn't be too complicated for Kuroto's own good, at this stage he isn't very interested in making someone enemy that might eventually bite him in the back at some point, so he absolutely doesn't want to attract the hatred of someone when he already has a Sasori looking for him. Since the mission of suppressing the wandering shinobi in the land of fire perfectly meets all the three conditions as per Kuroto's requirements therefore it is the mission that Kuroto finds to be most suitable to take on. After deciding, Kuroto passed the file to Guy who was eagerly looking in Kuroto's direction to see what is the objective of the mission, Kuroto asked Guy, how about this task? As he received the task file Guy quickly went through the mission objective and various other task details and then finally replied, I have no objection. Since that's the case, let's take this task. Kuroto finalized. Hmm. And Guy agreed. After finalizing, Kuroto got the task to register with the staff, and finally, the two Chunin set off immediately towards the location specified. On the way, Kuroto analyzed the detailed information about the task provided by the task center when they registered with the staff. The entrusting party of the task is the Daimyo of Fire Nation. Recently, a group of wandering ninjas successively attacked several villages around the border of Fire Nation, causing a lot of loss of life and heavy damages to the property. According to the intelligence reports, there are about five to seven wandering ninjas who are suspected of being missing Nina of the Mist Village, their strength is of Chunin level and their methods are really cruel. Because of the Third Shinobi War, the number of missing Nina increased quite a lot. This is the case for all the villages and Kanoha is no exception to this fact, but generally, most of these rebel ninjas who flee from war make their base of operation in and around small countries without any ninja villages to avoid attracting attention from any major ninja village, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. These wandering ninjas have been attacking villages of Fire Nation so blatantly, this fact alone shows that something is definitely off here. The enemy dares to attack and plunder from the villages of Fire Nation so openly, this means the strength of the enemy is definitely not weak, make sure to not take them lightly and do not make any careless mistake. Kuroto made sure to warn Guy about the seriousness of the matter. Guy also nodded seriously to Kuroto's words. Ads by Pub Future. Green Card Renewal Application, FileRight USCIS Form I-90, FileRight. Green Card Renewal Application, FileRight USCIS Form I-90, FileRight. FileRight. From Guy's reaction, Kuroto noticed that he is a little nervous so Kuroto decided to ease his thoughts a little, don't get too nervous, although I am saying that this matter isn't as simple as it appears to be, but that's not necessarily that big of a deal after all the enemy is only attacking the civilian parties, so as long as we don't make any stupid mistake, there shouldn't be any problem completing the task. Listening to Kuroto's words Guy clenched his fists and spoke with vigor, I'm not afraid of them. Kuroto just smiled at Guy's action and the two then continued their journey. A few days later, Kuroto and Guy traveled all the way to a village that had been attacked not long ago. 
From the state of the village, it is not difficult to guess that it has been attacked not long ago. The whole village appears to be in a mess with corpses all over the place, the air filled strong stench of blood, and the sound of crying and wailing of the few survivors all around. As soon as Kurodo and Guy reached the village they both were shocked by witnessing the horrendous state this village was in. It wasn't their first visit to a place with such a bad situation, after all both of them have experienced a war not long ago but the scene here is equally troubling even when the war has ended. This just shows the suffering of the common folks at the hands of Shinobi. After arriving at the village, Kurodo came to a survivor and asked, We are Shinobi from Kanoa village, can you describe to us who attacked this village? The survivor's expression was quite dull, for a while he seems to stare at Kurodo in a dazed state, and finally replied, I don't know who are they. They kept killing, and killing, and killing, and then, then, they, left, they just left after killing them all. Midway through the speech he started crying and couldn't even express his words properly. Kurodo, although a little shocked but wasn't much affected by witnessing the tragedy this village faced and continued asking calmly, how many people were there in total? How long ago they left? And, did see the direction they left in? Upon Kurodo's further questioning, the survivor pointed in a direction, they left in that direction. I... I don't know how many they are, and it's been a few hours since they left. Kurodo stared at the direction pointed by the survivor, and then stated coldly, We'll chase. Guy, who was opposite to Kurodo already filled with righteous indignation, nodded fiercely, Hmm. For the people of the Hyuga clan, tracking is a basic course, every member of the Hyuga clan who has been to the battlefield is a tracking master, and Kurodo is no exception to this fact, so he quickly found the traces of tracks left by the enemy. After following the tracks for a while, the two Chunin arrived in front of a quagmire. There were signs of footprints still left, upon checking which Kurodo reached a conclusion, the information in the task objective is accurate, there are most likely five shinobi on the enemy's side, and since they didn't care of hiding their steps their strength also doesn't seem to be very high or most likely they were in a great hurry. Listening to Kurodo's conclusion, Guy anxiously said, then what are we waiting for, let's catch up. However, Kuroda shook his head, and pointed towards a big tree not far away, don't panic, look at the moss on that tree. Guy looked in the direction pointed by Kuroda only to notice, the half footprint left on the moss collected on the bark of the big tree. He wondered, why are there footprints here? Does that mean someone else is following this group of shinobis? These footprints in the quagmire obviously do not belong to the same group of shinobi. If the footprints in this quagmire belong to the group of wandering ninjas, then the footprints on that tree should have been left by another shinobi. Ads by Pub Future. Hmm, that's most likely the case. Since we took this task so Kanoha should not have sent anyone else on this task, therefore the most likely suspect that the other group of shinobi who are following those wandering ninjas must be from the village hidden in the mist. Kuroto nodded to Guy's question as well as gave his thoughts on who might be the third party involved in this mission. And Kuroto's explanation isn't without a reason, since they have received that these rebellious ninjas were most likely part of the village hidden in the mist so it isn't strange for Mist Village to send their tracking and hunting unit. Since this mission now involves another one of the five great ninja villages therefore Guy seems to out of options on what to do, then what should we do? Kuroto pondered over the matter for a while, and then firmly replied, anything and everything that hinders us from completing the task should be treated as an enemy. But, no buts let's chase after them. After following the tracks for a while, Kuroto and Guy finally caught up with the two other parties, however, they had to hide because two ninjas were confronting each other. A total of four ninjas dressed in umbu uniform were on one side, only the leader didn't wear an umbu mask. Instead, he wrapped the lower part of his face with a bandage. Based on his figure and appearance, Kuroto recognized him as Momochi Zabuza. On the other side, there are only two people, both being Kanoha's umbu, one of them was quite young, with silver-white hair. Although he was wearing a kitsune mask, Kuroto recognized that he is the genius ninja of the same generation named Hataki Kakashi. Both sides were full of war intentions and ready to confront each other at any moment. Seeing that more Kanoha ninja arrived, Zabuza lifted the long sword behind, as if he was about to initiate the attack. 
While standing on the branch of a tree, Kuroto condescendingly glanced at the mist Umbu Ninja with one hand on his waist set with an arrogant expression, showing his contempt for the other party, leave. Zabuza, who heard the contempt Kuroto showed, was now furious. Do you want to die, brat? Kuroto didn't bother to answer Zabuza and lightly ordered Guy, Guy, go and teach him not to mess with Kanoha Shinobi. And Guy, who has become accustomed to obeying Kuroto's instructions along the way, didn't care. Whether the other party was a Miss Shinobi, so following the order, he shouted an acknowledgement and rushed to Zabuza. Both the Mist Umbu and Kanoha Umbu were taken aback by the arrogant behavior shown by Kuroto and Guy, but being a trained shinobi still allowed both parties to take action immediately. Just gave way to some area for Zabuza and Guy to fight one-on-one. -on -one. As a ninja that specializes in taijutsu combat, Guy continued to dominate close-quarter combat and didn't give the opponent any chance to use ninjutsu. However, Zabuza isn't a simple enemy, he seems to have confidence in his sword skills, therefore he wasn't afraid of taijutsu and kenjutsu battle. For some time, the exchange of punches and the blade arcs flew all around. At this time Momochi Zabuza is already a famous ninja of the Mist Village. Although he is not yet promoted a seven ninja swordsman of the Mist Village, he is still one of the best among the peers of the same generation in the Mist Village. All his moves are sharp and extremely dangerous for the enemy. Mike Guy is also in a phase of rapid growth in his strength, his speed, strength have all increased dramatically every day. He isn't the same guy during the academy days where he was treated as the tail of the crane. The battle between these two individuals soon heated up, and their range of moves spread wider and wider, causing the two missed umboos who were watching to retreat to a further distance. Not long after, Guy kicked launched a kick towards Zabuza's face that the other party blocked with the blunt part of his broadsword. After exchanging this blow, both of them leaped further away from each other, leading the contact, and the scene fell into a strange silence. Chapter 24 After the two sides retreated, the scene suddenly fell into a strange silence. Guy looked solemn. After this short confrontation with Zabuza, more than ten stab or cut wounds appeared on his body, although these wounds were really shallow and not really penetrating through his skin, he was injured anyway. Zabuza was also not in a much better condition, he was panting heavily while holding his broad sword. During the confrontation, Guy was able to deliver a kick to Zabuza in the ribs, the effect seemed to be certainly visible from Zabuza's current state who was unable to straighten his waist properly, and signs of feeling dull pain were visible from his breathing. Kuroto standing on the tree saw this opportunity and immediately said, Guy, you can retreat, let me handle him from here on. Guy didn't argue to Kuroto's order and silently stepped back for a quick retreat. Although the confrontation just now was short, it did allow Guy to weigh his options against Momochi Zabuza. He understands it all full well that if not for using Hashiman Tonku, it would be really difficult for him to beat the enemy. As soon as Guy retreated, Kuroto silently stepped down on the ground below from the tree branch. In the presence of everyone, Kuroto calmly walked forward towards Zabuza and said with the same contemptuous tone, I am different from Guy, I won't need to get so serious to deal with a low-level, no-name, pathetic mist ninja like you. Kuroto's tone clearly showed he was looking down at Zabuza similar to how Boa Hancock looks down on everyone except for Luffy, he was clearly expressing that he was talking to a pathetic bug he could squash at his whim, or at least that's what he wants everyone here to believe. But where did Zabuza receive such contempt? He was now furious for being looked down on, a brat like you dare to call me a no-name. That's it now you have done it. Step. Step. Fush. Kuroto immediately injected chakra into his legs and rushed towards Zabuza at a flashing speed. This was the opportunity he was waiting for. Although Zabuza was surprised by Kuroto's sudden change of actions, but he wasn't just some rookie ninja, after all, refocusing his mind to the state of battle ready, he immediately slashed his sword horizontally opposite to the direction of Kuroto's incoming momentum. Swish! The cutting wind generated by the slash rushed in Kuroto's direction. But Kuroto wasn't afraid at all, and no one has noticed the Tensegan shining with magnificent light under the goggles he was wearing. Through the incomparable insight on the Tensegan, he had already noticed the flow of chakra in Zabuza rushing towards the chakra veins in his hands, and at the same time, there was no chakra rushing towards his legs at such intensity adding to the fact that there was no sharp contraction of muscles in his legs. This series of small details led Kuroto to know Zabuza's tactical intentions in advance. 
Zabuza made the horizontal slash just to force Kuroto back, the leg muscles didn't contract to show there would be no follow-up chasing or incoming swords slash attacks towards Kuroto's retreat, and since the chakra was still continuously rushing towards his hands indicated that he plans to use ninjutsu attack to follow up the previous slash. Ads by Pub Future. Green Card Renewal Application, FileRite USCIS Form I-90, FileRite. Green Card Renewal Application, FileRite USCIS Form I-90, FileRite. The easy way to complete your green card renewal application. FileRite. After understanding Zabuza's intention and making all the tactical calculations in a matter of split seconds, Kuroto directed Chakra in his muscles accordingly. For the others witnessing the fight. Kuroto suddenly stopped, leaned back a little, and then rushed towards at a faster speed. Kuroto's whole set of movements were done in an instant while avoiding the cross slash. With almost no extra effort, he didn't retreat and went ahead in Zabuza's direction. What? Seeing that the enemy didn't change his direction or retreated, it seemed that he wasn't worried whether Zabuza would add a follow-up sword slash, instead use ninjutsu in the direction of his retreat, that is if he did retreat. Instantly he realized that Kuroto has seen through his tactic, but now it was already too late to change his course of action, Kuroto was already very close and not at all deceived, as soon as he approached Zabuza, he waved his hands and struck a series of gentle fist attacks. Seeing the incoming strike, Zabuza's heart couldn't calm down. At this moment, whether he swings the sword or directly discard it to make a series of hand seals to launch some ninjutsu attack, it was already too late. Bang, bang and bang. A series of low muffling sounds of palm hitting the body sounded in the field, but it was transmitted clearly to the ears of everyone present here. Amidst the sound of the palm strikes, Zabuza's body trembled and finally dropped to the ground like a deflated ball. Plop. Hisses. Whether it was the other three umbu of the mist village or Kanoha's umbu, both sides took a cold breath. Not for anything but because Kuroto solved Zabuza like a piece of cake. Is it so simple to defeat Zabuza? Obviously, no. The strength of Momochi Zabuza is simply amazing, neither Hitaki Kakashi, hailed as the most genius in this generation of Kanoha Shinobi, nor the Umbu Shinobi standing next to him would be able to win against him with complete certainty. But Kuroto appeared so relaxed, the confrontation was so simple, and he defeated Zabuza pretty easily as if the opponent was just some fledgling underdog. Kuroto's on the other hand, still kept the indifferent and cold expression. Strikes, Zabuza's body trembled and finally dropped to the ground like a deflated ball. Plop. Hisses. Whether it was the other three umbu of the mist village or Kanoha's umbu, both sides took a cold breath. Not for anything but because Kuroto solved Zabuza like a piece of cake. Is it so simple to defeat Zabuza? Obviously, no. The strength of Momochi Zabuza is simply amazing, neither Hitaki Kakashi, hailed as the most genius in this generation of Kanoha Shinobi, nor the Umbu Shinobi standing next to him would be able to win against him with complete certainty. But Kuroto appeared so relaxed, the confrontation was so simple, and he defeated Zabuza pretty easily as if the opponent was just some fledgling underdog. Kuroto's, on the other hand, still kept the indifferent and cold expression. Ads by Pub Future. He glanced at the three other Miss Shinobi standing not far away, turned around, and kicked the unconscious Zabuza in their direction. Take him and get out. The three Miss Shinobis supported Zabuza, while one of them spoke, We are ordered to hunt down the rebellious Nin. Upon hearing this reply Kuroto raised his head slightly, looked at the Miss Ninjas, and said coldly, The rebellious Nin you speak of is my target. If any of you dare to intervene, I don't mind disposing of you lot together. Seeing the unconscious Sabuza and two more Kanoha Umbu, standing not very far away, Miss Group looked at each other, nodded to each other, and then hurriedly retreated while carrying Zabuza on their backs. After the Miss Shinobis retreated Kuroto didn't speak anything to the Umbu, directly called Guy, who had wrapped his wounds, and continued to chase after the mission target. After both Guy and Kuroto left, the two Kanoha Umbu ninja looked at each other. The elder Umbu muttered, Hey, did that kid use Revolving Heaven just now? Is he from the Hyuga clan? Kakashi who was still in his kitsune mask nodded to the elder Umbu's word and spoke, Well, I know both of them. We are from the same class from the academy, one is my guy, 
and the other one is Hugo Kuroto. Elder Umbu was surprised by Kakashi's words, if I remember correctly, in your year, other than you there were no promising students, right? Then how come both of them were so strong? That's right, most of the shinobis of Kakashi's year have already died in the war, and those who survived were high-level chunin, only Kakashi was ahead of his pairs and managed to qualify as a jonin at such a young age, so in the eyes of Umbu, Hataki Kakashi is the most genius of his generation, but here it appears that's not entirely the case. Kakashi was also at a loss at this moment. He didn't have a very deep impression of Kuroto, according to his understanding Hugo Kuroto was a mediocre student and didn't have any sort of talent to attract any attention to himself, but Kuroto's performance today really surprised him, the attitude and confidence Kuroto showed in the face of the assassination unit of the Miss Village unconsciously reminded Kakashi of his teacher, Namike's Minato. The elder Umbu continued with some emotions in his words, make sure to write down the event of today and report to Hokage-sama after returning. Such talents should be brought to Umbu first, especially in the situation the village is facing currently. On Kuroto's side, Dai couldn't help but ask Kuroto, Kuroto, why don't we just ask the Umbu ninja if they have any information about those rebellious ninjas? Kuroto smiled upon hearing Dai's question, because it would be pointless, so there is no need for that since the Mist Assassination Unit appeared here indicates that those wandering ninjas are indeed rebellious Nin of Mist Village, and the appearance of Konoha Umbu here should be only for monitoring this very assassination unit, otherwise they would have already started the battle. Now there is no need to think anymore, it is not difficult to guess. Miss Village sent assassination unit simply means they want to clean up their mess themselves and take away the corpses with them. This means that there might be a ninja among the rebels with Kekai Jinkai unique to the Miss Village. Kakashi and the other Umbu were obviously sent to monitor the entry of the Mist assassination unit in the Land of Fire, this can be confirmed because they didn't start the battle but only stood in a stalemate. Now that guy heard Kuroto's words, it made sense. If the Konoha Umbu ninjas were only responsible for monitoring the entry of the Mist assassination unit, then they wouldn't have exact information about the team of those wandering ninjas. Moreover, I have already locked the traces of the team of wandering ninjas, so there's no need to delay any time. Thought Kuroto silently. Then they continued to chase when suddenly Guy said, Kuroto, what you did just now in the battle just now was really beautiful, I really didn't expect that the enemy couldn't even stop or counter your approach. Kuroto's lips curved slightly after hearing Guy praise him, although only slightly but he smiled in a reserved manner. Chapter 25 In the performance just now, Kuroto was actually a little proud, but he would not let it go to his head. The reason for that is very simple. No matter how strong Zabuza is, after a hard fight with Guy both his stamina and physical strength were consumed a lot, and the most important thing is that he had broken a few ribs. Although a small injury from a shinobi standard that wasn't very visible from the outside, but it still had a great impact on his combat capacity, especially limited his physical skills. This is one of the main reasons why Zabuza intended to make Kuroto fall back and rely on the long-range ninjutsu tactics because engaging in taijutsu combat would have undoubtedly given Kuroto an advantage because of his ribs injury. Therefore, it won't be wrong to say that Kuroto not only took advantage of the opponent's injury but also exploited it pretty effectively, and coupled with the advantage provided by the incomparable insight of the Tensegan, his win was pretty much guaranteed. Various factors piled together to create this quick victory for Kuroto. Of course, it also shows that Kuroto is changing. His original mediocre self is disappearing and is now being replaced by a powerful person with great determination and keen insight who is good at grasping the right opportunities. Guy who was running on the side asked with some curiosity at this moment, Kuroto, you didn't seem to be afraid of those missed shinobis, what do you think was their shinobi rank? Kuroto replied, he should only be a Tokabetsu Jonin at best. In particular, although Tokabetsu Jonin also falls in the category of a Jonin, they are actually quite different from the real Jonin level, because the term Jonin is a very broad ranking concept with many monsters hidden in it, and in some cases, various Kage level powerhouses also falls in this rank. On the other hand, Tokabetsu Jonin is a very special class, because the truly strong ninjas easily get promoted to a jonin quickly, therefore, most of the ninjas who stay at Tokabetsu jonin rank are inferior to real jonin ninjas, and the probability of encountering a Kage level shinobi in this ranking is much less. 
Secondly, Kuroto's attitude towards the Mist Village shinobi wasn't entirely because of his confidence in his strength, but also partly an act. In fact, Kuroto already began his performance as soon as he was aware of the Kanoha Umbu's confronting Miss Village assassination unit. Kuroto wants to change the image of his previous mediocre self, but he doesn't want to be seen as an aggressive or ardent person either, therefore who to use as his stepping stone to achieving this objective is very important for him, in terms of strength he has already reached the level of a Tokabetsu Jonin, only the lack of combat experience is a problem for him, therefore suitable opponents are important for both aspects, and luckily enough these missed shinobis just so happens to fill both. The Category Ads by Pub Future Love you can shape, surprise with a 100% personalized token of affection. Love you can shape, surprise with a 100% personalized token of affection. Made just for you, now up to 45% off. Louise and Fred Munich His arrogant attitude against the enemy was also a planned tactic, belonging to the Huga clan, one of the major clan of Kanoha village makes his status to be classified as a noble, even if he is of the branch part, so being a rich and powerful with slight arrogance makes for a perfect image for a shinobi with noble lineage. And, being a little arrogant makes it difficult for others to mess around with him. When facing an arrogant person, truly smart individuals will definitely think twice before having any unhealthy idea or provoking him for their own good, and this will eventually reduce many troubles for him. But there is one more reason that prompted Kuroto to build a strong image for himself as soon as possible. A few days back he learned from you a piece of information that is very useful for him. In view of the shortage of manpower in the village, the senior management has decided to select a group of individuals to be promoted to the rank of Tokabetsu Jonin. And Kuroto definitely wants to seize this opportunity to get rid of his status as a Chunin promoted during wartime. Currently, his shinobi status is much inferior to that of a normal chunin. Therefore, if he becomes a tokabetsu jonin it would be equivalent to stepping up two ranks in one small leap, and he would have surpassed all the chunin and free from the status of being classified as cannon fodder class by being viewed as a member of high-level combat power in the village. By becoming a tokabetsu jonin B can also submit requests to the village to learn some advanced ninjutsu and even some secret skills it shows his appropriate worth by accumulating the trust of village authorities. In the beginning, Yandame sama also gained the opportunity to learn Horatian no jutsu by accumulating merit points on the battlefield of the Second Shinobi World War and completing various missions, and obtaining Horatian no jutsu allowed him to lay out a solid foundation for him to eventually reach the combat class of a Kaguya-level shinobi in due time. And Kuroto isn't going to waste this opportunity either, therefore becoming a Tokabetsu Jonin is much important for him to obtain some resources who don't have any inheritance left to him. While all this was going on within Kuroto's head, both of them finally found the group of wandering shinobi. There was a total of five of them, all dressed in Miss Shinobi uniform, the leader had white hair tied in a bun with two scarlet dots on his forehead which indicated that he is a member of the Kagaya clan belonging to the Miss village. As soon as Kuroto realized the enemy he spoke in a low voice, be careful he seems to be a member of the Kagaya clan with Shikatsu Miyako Kekiai Jinkai. Guy nodded cautiously. The well-known Kagaya clan isn't something to be taken so lightly, Guy, who has experienced the war on the Mist Front knows this better than Kuroto, the Kagaya clan is both notoriously powerful and psychologically crazy beyond recovery, therefore they are really feared on the battlefield. While Kuroto and Guy were analyzing the enemy while still being hidden, one of the rebellious shinobi standing opposite to the ninja of Kagaya clan among them spoke out loud, did Kanoha get so weak to have sent two brats to chase us? The other companions also laughed and teased, ha 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 ha. I heard that Kanoha's Yandame Hokage died in his own village not long ago. It seems that the days when Kanoha was hailed as the strongest of the five ninja village is coming to an end. Ha 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 ha. Not being provoked because of the mockery, Kuroto looked around and confirmed that there was no other presence nearby, and he decided to try out something that he thought of just now. Shikatsu Miyako Kekiai Jinkai of the Kagaya clan combined with their superb physique almost integrates attack and defense. The general method of combat and weapons won't be of much use against them. Even the gentle fist may not be much effective in penetrating the skeletal carcass of Shikatsu Miyako Kekai Jinkai, therefore Kagaya clan is said to have unmatchable taijutsu skills, and unfortunately for the two chunin, both of them are taijutsu specialists. Ads by Pub Future 
Therefore, Kuroto decided to use Rain Will Assault to attract the leader of this wandering ninja unit and try to seal his chakra with a gentle fist strike before the opponent could activate his Kekai Jinkai. After making up his mind, Kuroto deliberately showed a weak front to make the enemy less cautious of him, this is the territory of the Fire Nation, please leave immediately. When the enemy ninjas heard Kuroto's plea, they laughed unscrupulously, some even became so carefree to even take out wine flask from their waist pocket and started drinking wine, not at all being watchful of Kuroto and Guy. Nice! Kuroto thought inwardly. Taking a few steps forward, Kuroto pretended to present a little weak stubborn attitude, and shouted, If you don't leave at this very instant, then don't blame Kanoha for being rude. Now, this attracted the attention of all the others, Kuroto was using the backing provided by the Kanoha village, therefore the ninja of the Kagaya clan also walked forward a few steps towards Kuroto, and said with a mocking smile, Boy, you know who I a. Just halfway through his sentence, then suddenly he felt a strong force acting on him and drawing him in the direction of Kuroto. As soon as the target flew up, Kuroto intercepted him instantly. Originally, there was only a gap of about 10 meters between the two parties, and as the enemy walked closer to reduce that distance, he reached towards Kuroto in the blink of an eye under the acting force of Rain Wheel, as soon as the two sides intercepted. Bang, bang, bang. With the muffled sound of palm strikes, the ninja of the Kagaya clan didn't even get the opportunity to act his Kekai Jinkai ability due to chakra points being sealed by gentle palm strikes. Sealing all the chakra points wasn't the end, Kuroto went further and used gossip palm strikes against him, aiming at the vital points and due to the enemy being unable to protect himself, it destroyed his brain. As a result of which the whole person fell to the ground like a sandbag without being able to do anything. These rebellious shinobi are different from the mist assassination unit they faced not long ago, the task requirement is to dispose of these ninjas, therefore Kuroto went for the killing strikes from the very beginning. At the same time, Kuroto initiated the attack he also signaled Guy, therefore, Guy also went ahead to start his series of close quarter combat with the other shinobi. Except for the ninja of the Kagaya clan, the other four were only high-level jinin. Therefore even before Kuroto could come to support Guy, they were already lying in a pool of blood. Kuroto and Guy didn't waste any time, after rechecking of anyone's presence around and repeatedly confirming that no one else was left to be disposed of, they sealed the corpses of ninjas in the sealing scroll and returned to the village without any more delay. On the way, Guy couldn't help but ask and wonder, Kuroto, what was that attack just now? How come the leader of these wandering shinobi flew towards you? Kuroto smiled and spoke with an arrogant snort, don't think that you are the only one with a secret technique at his disposal. The trick I just used is a secret technique too. Chapter 26 Guy doesn't have any Kekai Jinkai himself, but his acuity isn't weak and his mastery of strong fist taijutsu is especially very high, so Kuroto's use of rain will naturally will not escape Guy's perception at such a close range. But Guy didn't think much about it. Since Kuroto explained that it is a secret technique, he immediately exclaimed in surprise, I didn't even notice it, until the Kagaya clan shinobi was already very close, I have to say, your technique is really very powerful. Rain Wheel is the same as Tendo Pain Shinra Tensei. It's a really strong technique and doesn't even need seal printing, so it can be used at a moment's notice. Those unaware of its existence are very easy to get caught in the first encounter under a surprise attack. Not long even Sasori of the Red Sand was almost taken by surprise, by this technique, and he still lost the sand named Kazakage puppet that is now in Kuroto's control, this just goes to show just how useful is Rain Wheel in changing the battle situation. At this time, Kuroto put his smile away and said solemnly, remember, don't reveal information about this technique to anyone, it's a secret technique which will actually be effective only if its information isn't known to the other party. The secret of Rain Wheel is also one of the reasons why Kuroto didn't choose to capture the wandering ninjas alive but was eliminated on the spot. Guy nodded to Kuroto's words, I understand, I won't tell about it to anyone. Kuroto wasn't worried whether Guy would accidentally reveal this information, although the said party looks a bit funny and comical, Kuroto knows it full well that Guy is actually a very disciplined shinobi. After some more discussions both Kuroto and Guy speeded their travel speed to return to the village as early as possible. Back to the village, Hyuga Kuroto and Mike Guy went straight to the task center and deliver a comprehensive task completion report along with the proof of the completion in the form of five corpses. 
Since the mission was completed perfectly, the authority of Team Hyuga Kuroto was increased again, and now all the A-Class tasks including assassination missions were open to Team Kuroto. Because Kuroto not only completed the mission perfectly but also managed to gain a corpse of Miss Shinobi with Shikatsu Miyako Kekai Jinkai, so which was considered over-completion. A ninja's body is, to a certain extent, a source of intelligence. In particular, the corpse of a ninja with some kind of Kekai Jinkai is of a greater research value, so during the war period, the major ninja villages generally organize a capable corpse collection team, specifically responsible for collecting the corpses of ninjas with Kekai Jinkai for the purpose of research. In the following months, Kuroto and Gai completed tasks like Madman. As Chunin, they completed four more A-level missions and nine B-level missions with a very efficient rate, the two-man team now attracted quite the attention from other shinobi for their effective task completion. Ads by Pub Future. Authentic German Foods at Christmas Authentic German Foods at Christmas German Food at Christmas German Food Box The receptionist at the mission center also began to take the initiative to screen out the mission's team Kuroto to provide better convenience. After completing another B-level mission, Kuroto who was on his way home suddenly felt someone spying on him. He observed his surroundings calmly but couldn't find anything to confirm this feeling. Although people were passing by him on the surrounding streets, it didn't appear as though someone was hiding in the dark. Kuroto can be very sure of this because of the Tensegan, but he still felt that someone or something was spying on him. It made him wonder why he suddenly felt as such. Then suddenly he thought of a secret technique that could have been used to give Kuroto this feeling, a secret technique used by Sandame Hokage-sama. Crystal Ball Jutsu Does that mean Hokage-sama spying on me? It seems that the hard work of the past few months has finally allowed me to enter Sandame Sama's field of vision. After guessing that it might be Hokage Sama secretly spying on him, Kuroto didn't care too much. The souping of Sandame Sama obviously meant that he has started to consider candidates, and Hyuga Kuroto is under inspection, otherwise, given the current situation of the village, Kuroto doesn't believe Sandame Sama, who are busy with official duties and much important paperwork, will be interested in observing some chunin. Such spying lasted for a month. Kuroto is originally very cautious of his actions, and after realizing that Sandame Sama might be spying on him, he became more mindful of his actions. There was no abnormal behavior. Except for performing tasks continuously, he can be quite sure that Sandame Sama won't find anything else. And sure enough, it didn't take long for Kuroto to receive a Notice for being selected as a candidate for internal assessment for promotion to the rank of a Tokabetsu Jonin. Tokabetsu Jonin is regarded as the high-level combat power of the village. Although the village can mobilize tens of thousands of shinobis in the war period, in fact, the number of Jonin and Tokabetsu Jonin are limited to a few hundred, the remaining percentage of shinobi are Chunin and Jinin. This difference in numbers signifies that a Tokabetsu Jonin has the status and power of a deputy commander. During the war period, a Tokabetsu Jonin is even required to command several three-man teams to perform tasks. The site of the assessment was an Umbu secret base, upon reaching the exam site Kuroto found several familiar faces. Among the candidates, there were various shinobi of his generation including, Mike Gai, Yuhi Karinai, Sarutobi Asuma, Yumino Iraka, Mitarashi Anko, Shirenui Genma, Hei Gekko, Ebisu, and others. These Chunin ninjas are of the same generation as Kuroto, other than them there are also many elite Chunin who have already reached middle age, and there is also the figure of Uchiha Shursue, a genius shinobi from the Uchiha clan who is only a few years younger than Kuroto. As soon as Kuroto entered the selection grounds, he could hear Guy shout from a distance, Kuroto, here, here. Not intending to embarrass Guy, Kuroto walked over and greeted his teammate and other shinobi of the same generation together at the same time. If it was before Kuroto would be a little reserved in getting along with this group of people, after all, shinobi is a profession that regards strength to be a very important factor. If there is no strength, even if the opposite party is a classmate from the same year, their relationship will never be truly harmonious. Ads by Pub Future. Fortunately for Kuroto, that's no longer the case here, he is confident enough in dealing with these classmates calmly, in terms of mental fortitude he even feels a little superior over the rest. Seeing Kuroto's indifferent cold face, Saratobi Asuma decided to take the initiative, Hey Kuroto, 
I heard that you and Guy have completed several A-level missions in a very short period, is that really true? Attracted by Asuma's question, the rest of the shinobi also focused their attention on Kuroto. Obviously, they are very interested in listening to the candidate of the talk of the town. Kuroto nodded arrogantly, yeah. Guy on the side also laughed and said, how about it? I didn't lie, did I? We really did complete many A-class and B-class missions in the past few months. As the person in question always being laughed at by everyone, Guy has always been listening to others gloat and brag about their strength and achievements, but today, it is finally his turn to boast, naturally, he is in a surprisingly good mood. When the tail of the crane, like Guy now became an object of reverence, everyone's mood was obviously a little down, but everyone here is a shinobi they have a strong mind so the topic gradually changed during the waiting period for the Tokabetsu Jonin test. Asuma glanced around, and then whispered in a low voice only for everyone to hear, I heard that more than 200 shooting candidates are participating in the assessment, and there are only 15 spots available for Tokabetsu Jonin rank. Hiss. Everyone took a shocking breath. More than 200 participants competing for 15 spots, this means that one selection per 13 or 14 individuals, how tough it would be to be ranked up to a Tokabetsu Jonin can be imagined from this fact alone. Asuma's early information naturally made many of these Chunin ninjas depressed, Irika said in a pessimistic mood, it seems to be hopeless right now. Karinai and Ebisu also sighed, apparently as unconfident as Irika. Seeing Irika sighing in such a depressed manner, Asuma looked dissatisfied, hey, can't you have a little confidence over yourself, that bastard Kakashi has already reached the rank of a Jonin ninja so long ago, how can we give up so easily? As the son of Sande Mokage, Asuma has been left behind by Kakashi, this has always been Asuma's heart knot, and the fact that sometimes Sande Sama even uses the example of Hataki Kakashi to educate him, which makes him very depressed. Guy on the side who considers Kakashi as his eternal rival also clenched his fists and agreed, yes, we must catch up with Kakashi as soon as possible. Kuroto on the side didn't bother in getting involved in the discussion of how to catch up with Kakashi when the likes of Abido, Nagato, Tonari, and Madara are the enemies he is preparing himself to fight against. Therefore, Kuroto took the time to observe other candidates, he roughly counted and the result was the same as Asuma said, there are most like about 200 Chunin ninjas here. However, none of them had a very high amount of chakra, this made him confident enough in his abilities. As Kuroto was analyzing the candidates, a young ninja came to the front and spoke, Senpai, thank you for taking care of Itachi. He has mentioned about to me several times and said that you are a very good ninja. Kuroto looked at the other party and asked, if I am not wrong you are Uchiha Shursue? Upon realizing his mistake Shursue apologized, please forgive me for my rudeness in not introducing myself, Senpai, I am Uchiha Shursue. Chapter 27 Looking carefully at the young Uchiha, who was not very tall standing in front of him, Kuroto's thoughts suddenly dispersed. Uchiha Shursue A young boy who played a much crucial role in directing Itachi's life, an indirect cause of Uchiha's genocide, a young man who gave his entire loyalty and heart to the village but was relentlessly disappointed, another one of those individuals betrayed and suffered at the hands of Shimura Danzo. After losing his Mangekyo Sharingan to Shimura Danzo, to avoid further escalating the conflict between the Uchiha clan and the Kanoha village, he resolutely committed suicide silently. Perhaps the only Uchiha who was a more genius than Itachi ended his short life in a really tragic way. Thinking about Shursue's future, Kuroto couldn't help but sigh heavily. Shursue's sad end isn't inseparable from his naivety. He shouldn't have exposed his Mangekyo Sharingan, let alone disclose his dojutsu technique, the Katoamatsukami, to the elder council of the village. Even if it is Kuroto in Sandame Sama's position, and if the Uchihas are planning a coup d'etat, then the appearance of a strong ninja with such an influencing jutsu at hand will definitely make him feel uncomfortable. This is why, even if Shursue showed complete loyalty to Kanoha, he still couldn't gain the trust of the elder council. It's really sad. Kuroto sighed. Condensing his divergent thoughts, Kuroto smiled, I have heard a lot of legends about the Sharingan. I hope to be able to battle you to get the chance of experiencing the power of the Sharingan personally. Shursue also smiled, compared with Senpai's Baiwakugan of the Hyuga clan, there is not much advantage that comes with the Sharingan, but I still look forward to getting the chance of having a battle with you. 
Translator's note, total bullshit. Sharingan doesn't come with advantages? If that's the case then it might as well be better to say that the Rinnegan only provides a beautiful color to the eyes. There's a limit to being a humble individual. After a few more polite words, Shursui turned and left. Shursui knows it very well that the suspicion of causing the Kyuubi's rebellion falls upon the Echiha clan, so he kept a certain distance from the other ninjas in the village to protect himself and the other side. Ads by Pub Future. Green Card Renewal Application, File Right USCIS Form I-90, File Right. Green Card Renewal Application, File Right USCIS Form I-90, File Right. The easy way to complete your green card renewal application. FL Right. Looking at Shursui's back that is gradually moving away, Kuroto couldn't help but sigh again. In Kuroto's opinion, Achiha's idea of coup d'etat was ridiculous, as there were only three clansmen with enough strength to have some chance of making out any difference, but the more troublesome thought was that all three of them were either not sure or had opposite thoughts. Of those three, Shursui and Itachi didn't agree with the idea of a coup. Not to mention the patriarch Achiha Fugaku himself didn't want to choose that course. It was only because the rest of the Uchiha clan was angered at the unfairness they were facing did he agree to the plan. His will for the coup was still not very strong and it collapsed completely after his son's rebellion. Uchiha Fugaka gave up all the resistance and fulfilled to play a deep role in Itachi's path as a shinobi with his own life and his last words. And it is also really hard to say whether the Uchiha would have successfully won the coup d'etat even if Fugaku, Shursui, and Itachi all three supported the idea. And if the coup really happened with three united, although not be able to take over Kanoha, they could have still destroyed it entirely. Shursui himself could have wiped out the entire resistance from the Elder Council of Kanoha with Kanoama Tsukumi. Just as Kuroto sighed at the fate that the Echihas went through, Guy approached him and whispered in a low voice, Hey, although this kid Shursui is very famous, he seems to be quite approachable among the Echiha. Ginma and Gekko who were standing on the side coldly said, it depends on who he is talking to. Kuroto is from the Hyuga clan, so obviously, the other party will be polite, but if it is changed to you or someone else, he may not even pay attention. Asuma also leaned over and said with a serious face, this guy is not easy from what I've heard about him, if you encounter him during the assessment, be extra careful. Guy looked curious, is he that good? I heard that he has a record of successfully killing three jonin of the Mist Village. He is a recognized genius of the Uchiha clan. After a pause, Asma continued, I heard my old say that his strength is already enough to be promoted as a jonin. This time participating in the Tokubetsu jonin selection is actually just for appearance's sake. Everyone was surprised. What? Looking at the surprised people, Asuma just shrugged. What's weird? About it? Take a good look around you, he is the only Uchiha ninja here, which already explains it all. With that said, everyone immediately looked around. And it was true that in the crowd present here, the ninja wearing Uchiha's crest was only Uchiha Shursui. Upon realizing the meaning of what this implied everyone's face sank. Asuma obviously didn't speak wrong, this means that in the promotion assessment one spot has already been reserved for Uchiha Shursui, of course, there's nothing wrong with it, Given Shursui's strength, it is obviously a breeze for him to pass the selection naturally and such a reason also limits the Uchiha clan to send more ninjas of their clan as it would cause useless competition for the same spot, as the only one spot is reserved for the Uchiha. However, that's not the only thing Kuroto noticed, upon looking around he realized that no other Hyuga clansmen were participating in this assessment apart from him, and he thought silently, is there any agreement between the Hyuga clan and the village, and a spot was also reserved for me? Seeing the change of Kuroto's expression, Asuma winked from the side and patted his shoulder. You realized it, didn't you? The Hyuga clan must have also reserved a spot for you. Kuroto folded his arms and snorted unhappily. What a superfluous action. Ads by Pub Future. If Kuroto says he is disgusted over the thought of going through the back door or something, then it would him being hypocritical because Kuroto doesn't believe in fairness and virtue, it's always survival of the fittest and strongest, and having a noble status comes with its own set of benefits, therefore, it is not a problem for him, but in front of this group of classmates, he must show disdain for exploiting this kind of privilege or unfairness. Yeah, with Kuroto's strength, passing through this assessment shouldn't be a problem. As Kuroto's teammate, Guy supported Kuroto's words, 
although he couldn't have known Kuroto's inner thoughts. Everyone has also heard rumors of Kuroto's strength and knows that his strength has indeed grown very fast, so they nodded in agreement, and the fact that the children of the noble clans have some privileges, everyone takes it for granted, so although a little surprised, no one fretted over it. At this time, the Sanding Sama finally made his appearance at the assessment grounds. Those taking part in this assessment are all experienced ninjas, so Sanding Sama were not wordy and directly announced the rules of the assessment. This time the focus of assessment will be combat strength. As long as the overall combat strength of the candidate meets the sufficient standards, or if they specialize in a certain aspect that is considered difficult to be matched by others, then they will be qualified to pass the assessment. These rules make it much easier for the ninjas with Kekai Jinkai or those with mastery of some secret technique to have a serious advantage over the ninjas of commoner origin to pass the assessment. The opponent in the assessment will be selected from a random lottery. In the first round of assessment, Kuroto's opponent is Yuhi Kurinai. On the ninth combat range, Kuroto with one hand on his said calmly, Kurinai-chan, it seems your luck is not very good. Kurinai's face was a little gloomy, she was trying to keep a calm facade, didn't reply to Kuroto's provocation, just staring intently at Kuroto, seems to be looking for a flaw to exploit to her advantage. As a ninja specializing in the use of Jinjutsu, it is really not easy to battle against ninjas specializing in Taijutsu more against someone with a Kekai Jinkai like the Byakugan much less the Tensigan. It is already a known fact that Dojutsu type Kekai Jinkai, whether it is the Byakugan or the Sharingan, there is a certain degree of natural resistance to being affected by Jinjutsu, although not 100%, but the effect will be greatly reduced. This is also a reason why Kuroto is very curious about how the Tensigan would react if influenced by a Jinjutsu, to find out, he didn't take the initiative to attack he generally does, but waited patiently for Kurinai to make her move. Kuroto's unwavering posture gave Kurinai a great sense of oppression, which made her feel a little uncomfortable. Under the pressure of silent confrontation, Kurinai finally couldn't bear it after all. Megan, Jubaku Satsu, Demon Illusion, Tree Binding Death As soon as Kurinai made her move, she went with her best Jinjutsu technique, which is also one of the secret Jinjutsu techniques passed down to her from her father. As soon as Kurinai cast the Jinjutsu, Kuroto suddenly fell into a trance, but then instantly returned to normal, as if nothing had happened. Kurinai was simply shocked. What? How is that even possible? Chapter 28 From the Chakra's Response, Kurinai clearly felt that Kuroto had cracked her Jinjutsu. And this result shocked her. According to common sense, even if the enemy can break free of the Jinjutsu, still they need to use some kind of method to do so. This can be achieved by disrupting the flow of chakra or self-mutilation to stimulate oneself. In short, a method is definitely necessary to break for Jinjutsu dissipation. But here Kuroto did nothing as such, but was still able to break free of her illusion, which kind of made her really confused. Kuroto also had some realization of the effect of Jinjutsu on him now. Undoubtedly the Tensigan like the Byakugan, Sharingan, and Rinnegan is highly resistant to the effect of Jinjutsu. If it is an ordinary Jinjutsu, he hardly needs to do anything actively, the Tensigan can passively remove the effects of Jinjutsu on him. And the whole process only takes an instant. After realizing this, Kuroto decided to suppress the joy in his heart for now, as the battle was still not over, and said to Kurinai, I'll give you a piece of advice, if you meet with someone with some kind of Dojutsu ability don't use Jinjutsu as the primary source of attack against them. Kurinai stared hard at Kuroto, why did my Jinjutsu attack have no effect on you? How did you break free of the effect of Jinjutsu without using any Jinjutsu dissipation method? Kurinai's loud questioning attracted the attention of many Chunin who had not yet participated in their respective battles. Being the center of focus, Kuroto thought, this is a good opportunity to establish the image of a strong person, so he said lightly, against a ninja with a strong pupil power, ordinary Jinjutsu are simply meaningless, as Jinjutsu technique is of in chakra nature and the Dojutsu Kekai Jinkai increases the mental strength of a ninja, so the change of in nature has less effect on them. This is why I said to you before, the reason for your bad luck is that your Jinjutsu techniques are not much effective against me. Although understanding the reason behind the failure, but Kurinai isn't the type of person to give up and concede defeat so easily. She snorted at Kuroto's words and immediately started printing hand seals. 
Tijera Bora Tijera Horseyx. Jinjutsu, Flower Petal Escape. Wish. Ads by Pub Future. Show true love, personalized gifts that make hearts skip a beat. Show true love, personalized gifts that make hearts skip a beat. Made just for you, now up to 45% off. Louise and Fred Munich. As Karina cast the technique, signs of a slight breeze blowing through the ninth battle range appeared. This made Karina's lips curve, you have now been caught in a Jinjutsu technique. Not wasting the opportunity, she went with the flow of the breeze and swooped towards the still Kurodo. Even when Karina was approaching so fast Kurodo still stood motionlessly, it appeared as if was caught in an illusion and seemed to be unaware of his surroundings. But just as the audience thought that Karina has almost won, Kurodo raised his right arm and accurately sealed Karina's attack route. You! Shocked by the sudden response Karina couldn't help but mutter. Her attack was blocked at such a close range, this made her stunned on the spot. Kuroto didn't even bother to reply just turned his body and with a sharp momentum kicked Karina in the gut, making the dazed Karina fly away while coughing up some blood. It seems that you still don't understand what I explained a while ago, the passive resistance due to difference in mental strength due to pupil power of dojutsu renders your jinjutsu techniques meaningless against me. Kuroto stated this fact plainly. Karina got up from the ground with a face full of unwillingness and asked a little desperately, why? The Jinjutsu she uses are all secret and unique techniques passed down to her from her father, and her proficiency in Jinjutsu is something she takes great pride in, but today that pride is shattered as a weak glass in the face of plain facts. Not only Yuhi Karina, but even many other Chunin who were watching their battle were also shocked, even Shursui who has already finished his battle with a one-sided victory was also quite surprised after taking notice of the battle. Kuroto knows that Kurinai also lost her father on the night of the Kyubi's rebellion. He didn't want to emotionally agitate her too much, but it is an unavoidable fact that unless it is a Jinjutsu like Koto Amatsukumi or Tsukuyami then they would be pretty ineffective against Ojutsu type Kekai Jinkai. Making Kurinai realize this point earlier in the timeline would be a good thing for her. Therefore, Kuroto said coldly, it's the hard truth, rather than realizing this in the face of an enemy let me tell you from beforehand, as for whether you want to accept it or not is entirely up to you. Listening to Kuroto's tone, Kurina couldn't help but ask, can your Byakugan see through my Jinjutsu techniques? Kuroto just shrugged and wasn't interested in answering, then he remembered Kurina was played by Itachi pretty badly, so he decided to kindly remind her, if you encounter an enemy who is truly proficient in Jinjutsu kills, don't fight him for a pure Jinjutsu battle, especially if the enemy has a Dojutsu Kekai Jinkai, otherwise the consequences would be quite unpredictable. Although pretty upset, Kurina nodded at Kuroto's words silently and decided to admit defeat. Although she is defeated in this battle, it wasn't without gain for her. On the contrary, this battle made her realize her weakness and understand what type of ninjas naturally restrain her. On the side, the Sande Mokage watched the scene while pondering over Kuroda's words, and then he ordered the Umbu ninja standing next to him in the last round arrange a contest between Hyuga Kuroto and Uchiha Shursue. The Umbu in question was also paying close attention to the match just now so he nodded and said, Yes, it shall be done, Hokage-sama. After this discussion, the next matches began, one by one, the contestants were being screened out. Ads by Pub Future Unsurprisingly, Kuroto won all the next two rounds and therefore was qualified to enter the final round of assessment. By now only 30 Chunin left in the venue. Among these 30 Chunin ninjas, the only figures left of the same generation as Kuroto were Mike Guy, Saratobi Asuma, and the much younger Uchiha Shursue, as for the other classmates, they all got eliminated. Asuma had already anticipated Kuroto's and Shursue's winning streak but he was surprised when Mike Guy, who was considered another of those Tale of the Crane students in their academy days also won three games in a row, and he praised Guy, Guy, it appears you've also made great progress. Guy was obviously very happy, he stood in his signature pose, showing his shining white teeth, and said with an energetic laugh, ha 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 ha, I am Kanoa's blue beast, obviously I am going to be strong. Seeing all the Chunin ninjas present looking at them with a weird expression because of being attracted by Guy's loud laughs, Asuma waved his hands in embarrassment, don't look at me like that, I don't know him, I really don't know him. 
At this time, Sandame Hokage-sama came over slowly while smoking from a tobacco pipe. All the Chunin present gave their salute to Hokage-sama. Sandame-sama smiled and said, All the people present here are some of the best Chunin in this village. As the Hokage, I can't express in words how proud I am of all of you. However, the number of spots available for the promotion to Tokabetsu Jonin is limited, and therefore, we still need to go through a final round of assessment. As Hokage-sama stated this everyone's faces were now solemn. Being selected up to this point definitely means that all the remaining 30 chunin are outstanding in strength, it is hard to guarantee victory, therefore the final round of assessment will inevitably have some fierce confrontations. Ahem. After a slight cough, Sandame sama announced, let's start the final round of assessment. The matchups for the final rounds were also done by drawing lots, and the details for the match came out very quickly. In the first match of the final round, the participant to duke out are Hugo Kuroto versus Uchiha Shirsue. Seeing the result of the draw, Kuroto wasn't much surprised. Obviously, he is smart enough to know just how fair the drawing process. Manipulating the matchups is indispensable for the officers and is beyond what he can interfere with. It is also necessary for seniors to judge the candidates. Shirsue saw also stunned momentarily and then returned to a calm self. However, unlike the calm Kuroto and Shirsue, others present were obviously very interested in the results of this confrontation. As the two great dojitsu of the Kanoa village, which one of the Sharingan or the Byakugan is stronger or weaker, this topic has always been a topic of repeated discussion in the village. Therefore, the fight between Hugo Kuroto and Uchiha Shirsue definitely attracted everyone's interest. There was no need to think too much, Kuroto gently leaped and landed on the first battle range. On the other hand, Shirsue walked in slowly. As soon as the two sides stood opposite to each other, Kuroto said, As I've mentioned before I am curious to see the strength of the most genius Uchiha of this generation, additionally I am also quite interested in facing the Sharingan, I hope you won't let me down. And as soon as the signal was given, the fight begins. Chapter 29 Kuroto's mindset at this moment is very good. He knows that at this moment Shirsue is definitely not going to use Mangekyo Sharingan or any abilities related to it. So, what they would be competing against would be basic skills. Kuroto is sure that he has equal or higher chakra volume than Shirsue, the Tensigen are extremely resistant to Jinjutsu, although his ninjutsu skills are not very apt, they can be compensated with his Taijutsu proficiency in Gentle Fist. Therefore, his chances of winning are not small. As Shirsue slowly approached the training grounds, he did a short courteous bow to Kuroto and spoke politely, Kuroto-senpai let's do our best. Kuroto nodded at Shirsue's words and after both made the seal of confrontation. The referee around gave the instruction to begin the combat. The test begins. As soon as the referee's voice fell, Kuroto and Shirsue entered subconsciously entered the battle state. The first shot was taken by Shirsue and instantly he shot about a dozen shurikens. Clank! 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 Some of these shurikens collided with each other midair, changing their respective flight trajectories, either forward or backward, or left or right, as a result, they covered the entire sky towards Kuroto. Although Kuroto has seen Itachi Shurikenjutsu skills during their mission together but again seeing Shirsue's skills and Shurikenjutsu, Kuroto was still stunned. Whether the angle of throw or application of the amount of strength used in each throw is simply impeccable. Even with the Tensigen, Kuroto can't find any escape route left to dodge the incoming shurikens. Reducing his impetuosity, Kuroto decided to take the action, and at the very next he shot eight shurikens. Ads by Pub Future New Hampshire may cover the cost to install solar if you live in these zips. New Hampshire may cover the cost to install solar if you live in these zips. Energy Bill Cruncher. Ding! 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 Suddenly, the impact of the shuriken intercepting each other resounded throughout the examination site. Watching the dazzling shuriken jutsu battle, the Chunin all held their breath one by one. Those who can advance up to such proficiency in throwing skills are naturally regarded as specialized in shuriken jutsu. And this can be clearly seen from the battle taking place on the stage. Look, those shurikens blocked by Kuroto's throw are starting to move again. However, Guy's sudden exclamation said something else. 
Asuma said with a solemn face, it's wire string. Shursue uses specially treated steel wires to manipulate shurikens. If you don't look very carefully, it is really difficult to find them. The audience also exclaimed, but it didn't affect Kuroto on the stage. Kuroto obviously knows of Uchiha's special shuriken jutsu, so how could he not pay attention to the second stage of the opponent's attack, so when he counterattacked, he already directed his attacks at the wire string that connected shurikens. It's just that these wire string are specially treated, therefore not only are they extra durable, but also very hard to find because of not reflecting any light, even with the Tensegan, Kuroto is unable to find them individually moving at such high speed. Additionally, Shursue's manipulating skills are also very sophisticated, so after a while, Kuroto still missed a few wire string. The consequence of this small mistake quickly reflected in him falling into a disadvantage. Another mistake is that Kuroto didn't bring too many shurikens with him, he came slightly unprepared because the shurikens weren't available in his stock, and within a few seconds his shuriken stock was emptied, on the other hand, Shursue took out a scroll, unsealed it and suddenly countless shurikens popped out of the smoke. Chained by the wire steel, these shurikens fly up and down in the air forming a network, as if they were illusionary. For a second Kuroto even felt that Shursue was manipulating these shurikens telekinetically instead of manually through the wires. Kuroto muttered with a somber expression in his heart, can shuriken jutsu even be used with such an advanced mastery? Off grounds. Asuma shook his head seeing the pressing situation of Kuroto, Kuroto is about to lose, this Shursue is, even more, stronger than I anticipated. Guy stared at the two people who were in mid-confrontation and said without turning his head, don't be so hast in making your judgment, they are just warming up, look at them, Kuroto hasn't even moved from his spot at all. As Guy said, as soon as Kuroto realized that just having the Tensegan alone would not make up the difference in his shuriken jutsu skills that Shursue enhanced and mastered with countless hours of practice, so Kuroto gave up the entanglement of shuriken jutsu decisively and rushed straight towards Shursue. Taijutsu combat is where Kuroto is advantageous. Seeing the Kurodos aggressively rush towards him, Shursue's fingers moved slightly, his movements were so light and so controlled that all the shurikens flying around immediately shot towards incoming Kurodo. Revolving Heaven After several months of continuous training, Kurodo has become very proficient in Revolving Heaven, and now he can use it in his combat very easily, anytime, anywhere, any section. Ads by Pub Future. Clink! 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 The impact of revolving resulted in countless shurikens blasted into the sky causing pain in the eardrums of the audience present, and the shurikens that were bounced into the sky flew in all directions towards the audience. Dotan, Tajidoria Hiki, Earth Release, Multiple Earth Style Wall Sandame Sama quickly used Earth Release and four Earth Walls were erected on the edge of battle range to block the incoming shurikens. The Chunin ninjas watching the battle also retreated 10 meters behind. Among them, Asuma heaved a sigh while wiping the cold sweat from his forehead, these two guys. Guy didn't seem to care, and laughed, it is inevitable to take some risks to watch such a wonderful battle, this is youth. Hi hi. On the battle range. Not wasting the opportunity that appeared because of him using revolving heaven Kuroto finally approached Shursue and shot out a palm strike, the force of the strike was unstoppable as Kuroto used all the strength in that strike. Shursue was also not afraid, and immediately pulled out the short sword on his back, and the three Tomo in his Sharingan were spinning rapidly as he intercepted Kuroto's attack. In an instant, the two starting fighting a Taijutsu battle. The movements were so fast that after images started to appear all around. One of the Chunin in the audience was shocked and muttered, what is up with their Taijutsu skills? Is it just me or are they really appearing so weird? The other Chunin watching the battle agreed and nodded. Kuroto and Shursue's fierce Taijutsu battle really seemed a little weird. Their attacks would always stop abruptly midway, often slashing in the midair and suddenly stopping their attacks, or a sudden change of direction of the following attack just after the previously stopped strike. Even after a series of attacks, either of them has yet to make a complete attack. Most of the time, they are repeatedly switching their choice of attack, changing strikes, or forcibly stopping midway, and because they are doing all these actions instantaneously, that in the eyes of bystanders, their taijutsu battle appears really weird. Asuma on the other hand said in disbelief, so frequent predictions and corrections. 
their insight and perception are getting too exaggerated, is it even possible to have such an advanced battle foresight? Asuma's words seemed to speak the collective thoughts of the audience, and suddenly everyone came up with an idea, is it possible to do whatever you want with Dojutsu Kekai Jinkai? Sandame Hokage also flicked their eyes and seemed to be thinking about something. The umbu standing on the side asked softly, Sandame Sama, they are intentionally competing with their pupil power, right? Sandame Sama nodded at umbu's words, he wanted to explain more about his thoughts about this, but before he could the two on the battle range suddenly separated and retreated to a corner. Chapter 30 Such a high-intensity contest of pupil power is obviously a big burden for both Kuroto and Shirsue, so this kind of weird close combat is difficult to last much longer. Kuroto was panting heavily while taking the support of the ground with one hand. At this moment, his whole body is sore, and his calf is beginning to tremble. If he doesn't take the support of the ground with his hands, he isn't sure whether he can even stabilize his figure. This contest was not just about pupil power, but also the neural control they have over their body, perception, action speed, reaction speed, and instantaneous speed were all taken into account. The minute changes in their attacks midway put extreme pressure over the muscles of the whole body, so even if it was a very short confrontation, the resulting effect is no less than a whole afternoon training he sometimes does together with Guy. Shirsue on the other side was in even worse condition, he was sweating profusely, panting heavily, and looked extremely tired. Initially, Shirsue didn't pay much attention to Itachi's praise for Hugo Kuroto. It's not because of his arrogance or pride, but he indeed qualified to look down on most of the so-called geniuses in Konoha. But after this series of short confrontation, he experienced at first hand just how strong Hugo Kuroto and his Bikugan are. He never thought that he would fall behind someone in the battle of insight and reaction since awakening the Mangekyo Sharingan, but the reality here really hit him hard. Neither of them rushed to get up, but took a tacit rest while observing the other party. After a while, Kuroto who has already caught his breath stood up first and said, Let's continue. Shirsue didn't seem to have recovered completely, but he still stood up and nodded seriously. Kuroto stomped his feet heavily as a result of which the two shuriken were lying around his feet bounced and were immediately caught by him with both hands and thrown towards Shirsue simultaneously. At the same time, his figure flashed at high speed after the two shurikens, he rushed towards Shirsue. Shirsue has already faced a disadvantage in a close-quarter taijutsu battle, so this time he didn't dare to let Kuroto close in so easily and immediately printed hand seals. Ads by Pub Future Authentic German Foods at Christmas Authentic German Foods at Christmas German Food at Christmas German Food Box Snake Hiramamunki Abora Horsadager Katan, Gokaki no Jutsu, Fire Release, Great Fireball Technique. As soon as Shirsue shouted, a huge flame amount of flame was released from his mouth and took the form of a sphere, almost covering the entire battle range. Seeing the fire sphere rushing towards him, Kuroto had no choice but to use Revolving Heaven again as a counter. The battleground now became a big stove, and it was a stove with a fan no less. Kuroto's use of Revolving Heaven broke the fire sphere, as a result of which the entire training ground was now on fire. The ninjas watching the battle were thankfully less affected because of the earth wall Sandam Sama created but they still had to occasionally dodge the blazes of fire, and finally, everyone had to back up to a more distance to be able to watch the battle safely. On the battle range, Kuroto who resisted the great fireball technique was also a little uncomfortable. Revolving Heaven is a technique used to mainly counter taijutsu attacks, when used to defend against ninjutsu attacks, its effectiveness is greatly reduced. Therefore, although Kuroto somehow managed to block the effect of the great fireball technique used by Shirsue, he still had to use three times or possibly four times the chakra that was used in the fire release technique itself. Even if his chakra volume is higher than Shirsue, such an exchange ratio is really unbearable. Fortunately, after blocking the fire release technique Kuroto was already very close to Shirsue. Shunshin no Jutsu Body Flicker Technique Knowing how horrible Kuroto's close-quarter taijutsu skills are, Shirsue ignored the body fatigue and used the body flicker technique without any delay. Accompanied by Shirsue's voice, more than a dozen Uchiha Shirsue appeared around Kuroto. 
As soon as he saw Sher Sui use his signature technique, Kuroto immediately stopped and didn't rush madly, he scanned around all the Sher Sui around him with the Tensegan, but for some reason every image of Sher Sui appeared original, making it extremely difficult for him to distinguish between them for a while. Kuroto doesn't have much knowledge about Sher Sui's body flicker technique, but he knows of the title Shunshin no Sher Sui. Since Sher Sui can become famous with his alias as Sher Sui of the Body Flicker, it simply explains just how pedantic his skills and body flicker technique are. At this moment, more than a dozen Sher Sui's spoke in a unison voice, Kuroto Senpai, I'm going to attack. The words sounded like a series of echo sounds from all the direction, extremely difficult for Kuroto to distinguish the original source. As soon as Sher Sui's voice fell, a storm of attacks followed. Kuroto was having it really difficult because of being besieged from all directions by more than a dozen Shursui. He didn't even get the chance to defend properly and more than a few stab wounds appeared on his body. As a last resort, he had to use Revolving Heaven again and barely block the siege he was facing because of Shursui's body flicker technique. Ads by Pub Future After achieving a short respite, Kuroto finally had a short opportunity to observe the body flicker technique of Shursui. After continuous observing, Kuroto finally managed to have some understanding of it. The body flicker technique of Shursui under his extremely high velocity and mobility allows him to leave behind multiple tangible afterimages that could strike with actual force making it extremely difficult for the enemy to resist. But in the final analysis, the body flicker technique is also a taijutsu skill, and as long as it is some taijutsu technique, except for some forbidden ones, revolving heaven is impeccable in dealing with them. After realizing this, Kuroto no longer took the initiative to attack, but chose to defend. In a battle of chakra consumption, he definitely has an advantage over Sher Sui. And so, a battle of one-sided attack and one-sided defense began, Sher Sui's attacks were not going through the defense of Revolving Heaven. After blocking a series of rapid attacks numerous times, Kuroto wiped of the fine drops of sweat from his forehead and said, If only up to this degree, you can your signature technique be effective on me? Sher Sui also noticed this, and he decisively stopped the body flicker technique and finally spoke while heaving for breath, Kuroto-san, I unable to match you, I concede, I lost this battle. What? Kuroto uttered in shock, he was taken aback by Sher Sui's sudden acknowledgement of defeat, obviously, he didn't expect Sher Sui to admit defeat so easily. Sher Sui smiled helplessly at Kuroto's shocking reaction and explained, My chakra is almost exhausted, and it seems to me that Kuroto-san still has quite a lot of chakra, so even if we continue as it is, I will lose eventually. Looking at Sher Sui's tired face, Kuroto suddenly realized. The awakening of Mangekyo Sharingan although provided a qualitative improvement for Sher Sui and improved his combat effectiveness and chakra purity, but didn't help much in the physical aspect of his strength, Rather awakening a Mangekyo at such a young age is being a burden for him, as it is most likely affecting the ratio of Yin nature chakra and Yang nature chakra. Therefore, long-lasting fights aren't Sher Sui's specialty at least for now. After all, awakening a Mangekyo is an abnormal mutation of the Kekai Jinkai, and the natural essence of Sharingan is quite unstable because of its negative nature. Unless the user gains the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, it will remain a double-edged sword for the Awakener, and the more frequently it is used, the greater the burden it will cause to the vision and body of the user. This also gives Kuroto some understanding as to why Shimura Danzo dared to attack Sher Sui. The first reason is that the Mangekyo causes a lot of burden to its user so if Sher Sui is fighting he will subconsciously avoid using the Mangekyo. The second reason is that he initiated the attack using in the name of the village or for Konoha to justify his actions, which subconsciously suppressed Sher Sui's intention to use a killing blow against Danzo. After all no matter what anyone might say, but if the Uchiha Sher Sui really attacked Shimura Danzo with the intentions to kill, then for the Sher Sui with techniques Koto Amatsukami and Susanu at his hands Danzo was nothing more than an upper jonin, and if Sher Sui chooses to away put away all his scruples and decided to use all his methods, let alone Danzo, even killing Sandame Sama wouldn't have been a pipe dream. After all, he only needed to use Koto Amatsukami once and the Elder Council would have disappeared. Chapter 31 Although Kuroto felt a bit unpleasant, he knows Sher Sui wouldn't be using Mangekyo Sharingan abilities here, which is similar to how he wouldn't be using Rain Wheel and Kate Kage's puppet. 
What's more, if Shirsui really did take out the big guns likes of Katoa Mitsukami and Susanoo here, Kuroto is quite sure he can't resist them without going all out, so without worrying too much, he calmly accepted the victory. After forming the Seal of Reconciliation, Kuroto walked off the battle range and was immediately surrounded by Guy, Asuma, and other Chunin around. Guy happily congratulated, Congratulation Kuroto! After winning this round, Kuroto's promotion to Atokabetsu Jonin was now official, so Guy congratulated him in advance. Asuma glanced at Shirsui in the distance, and whispered to Kuroto, I was right to have thought that Shirsui has a well-deserved reputation. Except for you, I am afraid, close to nobody here can defend his body flicker technique. Guy also raised his head and agreed with Asuma's words, hmm, I thought for quite a long time, but I couldn't figure out a way to defend against this technique. Shirsui's body flicker technique is so fast, his kinjutsu skills are also off the charts, I am afraid if I have to fight against him, then without relying on Hachiman Tanku I don't stand a chance. Listening to the praises he was getting from all around, Kuroto thought silently, to some extent, I with the Tensigen does restrain the Sharingan of the Uchiha clan. Firstly, the Tensigen is extremely resistant passively to normal Jinjutsu, even if it is cast by the Sharingan user, this fact alone greatly suppresses most of the Uchiha specializing in Jinjutsu. Secondly, with the powerful insight provided by the Tensigen, I am almost immune to Uchiha's special Shurikenjutsu, which again makes me almost invulnerable to the Uchiha's with mastery in Shurikenjutsu. And lastly, because of the evolution of the Byakugan to the Tensigen, and the awakening of all the 33 genetic sequences, my growth in chakra volume has also surpassed most of the Uchiha of the same generation, therefore I have a lot of tactical advantages over the Uchiha because of higher chakra level. Of course, these advantages only lie over the normal Uchiha with three Tomo Sharingan. If I have to compare against the Uchihas with the Mangekyo Awakened, it would be really hard to say whether my Tensigen could withstand the Mangekyo Dojutsu techniques, at least at this point. Ads by Pub Future. New Hampshire may cover the cost to install solar if you live in these zips. New Hampshire may cover the cost to install solar if you live in these zips. Energy Bill Cruncher. Breaking out of his thoughts, Kuroto just smiled at Guy and Asuma who were still discussing Shirsui's body flicker technique and said it is undoubtedly true that Shirsui is the most genius Uchiha of this generation and besides Itachi who is still very young in terms of age I am afraid hardly anyone can match him so him having such strength is quite normal, don't worry too much about it. Asuma nodded at Kuroto's words but his face remained gloomy. Guy laughed heartily, ha ha ha, there is one more goal I have to catch up to. Asuma was speechless by Guy's optimistic attitude, what is there to be so happy about it? Guy patted Asuma on the shoulder and showed his white teeth while laughing happily, the passionate competition between companion is the real youth. You have to work hard Asuma, or you'll be left behind in the dust. Fending off Guy's hand that was patting his shoulder, Asuma looked at Kuroto, then glanced at Shirsui in the distance, and finally stared at Guy, left behind. Huh. Don't underestimate me. After speaking this Asuma turned and walked away to the side angrily. Guy didn't care about Asuma's anger and started looking around eagerly, muttering to himself, when will it be my turn? My blood is rushing, I can't wait to fight. After the staff cleaned and repaired the damage of the first battle range, the assessment continued. Guy and Asuma performed well and successfully defeated their opponents, each receiving a valuable spot in the Tokubetsu Jonin ranking. After a series of more rounds, 15 winners were quickly decided, and with the emergence of these 15 winners, the Tokubetsu Jonin assessment officially came to an end. Although Uchiha Shirsui lost to Hyuga Kuroto, but because of his off-the-chart strength and impeccable performance, he also won an extra special spot and was successfully promoted to a Tokubetsu Jonin. Regarding Sandame Sama's decision of promoting Uchiha Shirsui to a Tokubetsu Jonin under special consideration, none of the other candidates expressed any opinion. This is because everyone witnessed the battle between Hyuga Kuroto and Uchiha Shirsui, and they all know that Shirsui is overqualified for the rank of Tokubetsu Jonin rank, but it was just his bad luck to have been pitted against Hyuga Kuroto that resulted in his loss. After the assessment was completed, Hokage Sama stopped Hyuga Kuroto, Mike Guy, Saritobi Asuma, and Uchiha Shirsui behind. While exhaling a puff of smoke from the tobacco pipe, 
he examined the four Tokabetsu Jonin and spoke quite frankly, the four of you are some of the most excellent shinobi of your generation, you all are also the future pillar strength of the Kanoa village, therefore, to further enhance your strength and experience. I hope you can accept to join the Umbu department and become the cornerstone of the village to protect Kanoha from the shadows. Kanoha is in really dire need of a new generation of shinobi with high strength, Hugo Kuroto, Mike Guy, and Uchiha Shursui did not hesitate for a moment and immediately agreed on the spot, each has their respective reasons and objectives to accept this opportunity, but the ultimate goal is still the same. However, that's not the case for all the four present here, unexpectedly Saratobi Asuma, the son of Sande Mokage Saratobi Hiruzen, clearly expressed his opposition to the idea of joining the Umbu unit, he folded his arms over his chest and said, I don't want to become a sneaky guy in the shadows. Ads by Pub Future Hokage-sama frowned at the unexpected answer from his son and spoke coldly, What nonsense are you talking about? Saratobi Asuma, who is in his rebellious teenage period and has his daddy issues, was not afraid of Hokage Otosen. He coldly swept past Kuroto, Guy, and Shursui and shouted at Hokage-sama in a loud voice, I will prove to you that I am no worse than anyone here. After declaring this, he shook his head and left the office before anyone could react. Asuma is not an idiot but in fact is a truly perceptive person, at least as a strategist he is a genius, so after these few rounds of assessments, facing the opponents in each round being exactly weaker than him, he realized the tricks being used to make him qualify as Tokabetsu Jonin. Although Kuroto might believe that there's nothing wrong with this, but Asuma on the other hand who has got his daddy issues can't stomach the fact according to his self-esteem that he is promoted because of the political influence of Hokage Otosen and he also realizes that he is not strong enough to fight against the likes of Hugo Kuroto and Uchiha Shursui, and he can't guarantee his win even against my guy, so choose to leave with disappointment. After Asuma's little trouble, Hokage-sama didn't have any interest left to continue to say anything, he just briefed the three about the whole process of being recruited into the umbu, and then turned and left. Being exhausted for the day Kuroto rejected Guy's proposal to celebrate their promotion and returned home alone. But as soon as he entered the house, he found the one-eyed viper sitting right in the corner of his room, hissing his tongue. After taking out the note from the viper's mouth and looking through it, Kuroto burned it immediately, following which he changed into everyday clothes and went to a specific izakaya in the village. Going up to the second floor, he entered a single reserve room and said to Orochimaru who was calmly resting while sipping sake as if he was in his daddy's laboratory, Orochimaru-sama, it could be very dangerous sneaking into the village in the broad daylight. Dangerous! Orochimaru smiled contemptuously, the Yandame and the Kyubis Jinchuriki are no longer in Kanoha and the old man is all time busy with the official and political affairs of the village. The village is far less dangerous for infiltrating than it seems. And indeed, Orochimaru is damn well correct. There are not many Kage-level shinobis in the village and after the death of Yandame sama hardly anyone in Kanoha could pose a threat to Orochimaru who is a Kage-tier ninja himself. Whether it is the Toad Sanin Jiraiya or the Sandame sama himself, they would be resistant to using full force when fighting against Orochimaru because of their long-term kinship and master-disciple relationship. Not to mention him being almost unkillable, cockroach-like tendencies. So, although Kanoha at this time seems to be heavily guarded, for the likes of Orochimaru, who is extremely familiar with all the secret passages and routes of the village, coming to Kanoha is like taking a walk in his backyard. Thinking all this in his head, while resisting the oppression of being in Orochimaru-sama's presence, Kuroto asked respectfully, in that case, what did you need me for? Orochimaru stared at Hugo Kuroto for a while and finally spoke, Oh don't be so hasty, how was the Tokabetsu Jonin ranking up assessment? Chapter 32 Kuroto's face changed slightly when he heard Orochimaru mentioned about Tokabetsu Jonin rank up assessment, but he controlled his emotions and replied respectfully, everything went smoothly in the assessment, Sandame sama arranged for me to enter the Umbu unit. Kuroto was really surprised at the fact that Orochimaru knew about the test as soon as it was finished, this obviously meant that he had more than one spy in the village working for him. Orochimaru put down the sake cup, stared at Kuroto with a very scary expression, and asked, Kuroto Kuen, your recent growth is somewhat out of my expectation. Is there a secret you are hiding from me? Or is there some kind of discovery in the research of the Byakugan that you would like to inform me? 
Hugo Kuroto's strength has improved exceptionally in a very short period, those who don't know him any better might not find this very strange and think of this as him entering a period of rapid growth, after all, Kuroto is at an age where his strength should increase rapidly, similar to Mike Guy, Saratobi Asuma, Hataki Kakashi, etc., strength continuously improves with the passing of days and it changed every day. But Orochimaru is different from everyone, as he knows the person Hugo Kuroto quite well, at least more than anyone out there possible, Orochimaru knows that the shinobi Hugo Kuroto isn't of the kind with the unusual talent to match the likes of Taki Kakashi or other ninjas who are considered to be real geniuses, so Kuroto's recent performance and his rapid growth aroused Orochimaru's curiosity. Kuroto knows that he can't hide his changes from Orochimaru but he wouldn't admit it, so he shook his head, the study of Kekai Jinkai cannot be done overnight, I believe you are aware of this fact more than anyone. As for the question of hiding something from Orochimaru-sama? I don't believe I am capable of doing that. Orochimaru squinted noncommittal manner at Kuroto's response, really now kuroto Kuin. Orochimaru knows that Kuroto has only participated in the research for a few years, it is unlikely to have obtained impressive results and discoveries at such an early stage, moreover, he has also checked Kuroto's laboratory, which mostly contains the basic genetic testing data involving in vivo testing. Imagine not even having any living subjects to conduct experiments on, how can one obtain test and research results? Of course, Orochimaru didn't know that Kuroto had already done a very lively test, and the subject of the test was himself, so naturally, he wouldn't find any proof of test subjects or any data collected. After thinking for a while, Orochimaru smiled and said, It seems that I didn't notice it before. You not only have the potential to become a scientific researcher but also have the potential to become an excellent shinobi. Thank you for your praise Orochimaru-sama. Kuroto stated courteously. As if suddenly remembering something, Orochimaru again smiled and said, I recently met an interesting guy, and he asked me for your information. Who? the S-class missing mean of the San Shinobi village, the Sasori of the Red Sand. Not removing the eye contact with Kuroto, Orochimaru asked word by word, have you had some encounter with him? Ads by Pub Future. New Hampshire may cover the cost to install solar if you live in these zips. New Hampshire may cover the cost to install solar if you live in these zips. Energy Bill Cruncher. Kuroto nodded calmly unfazed by the pressure Orochimaru was putting on him, there was indeed an encounter. Obviously, during this period the S-class defected ninjas like the Snake Sanin Orochimaru, the Sasori of the Red Sand had joined the Akatsuki organization successively, and Orochimaru one of the three Sanin is a natural target for Sasori to inquire information related to the shinobis of Kanoa village. Kuroto had already expected this to happen, so he didn't show any surprised or unnatural look but agreed calmly. Observing no change of expression on Kuroto's face, Orochimaru continued, He seems to want to kill you pretty badly, what did you do to attract his hatred? Kuroto believes that with Sasori's pride, he will not reveal the details of his encounter with Kuroto or the fact that he lost Sande and Kazakage's puppet to Kuroto, so Kuroto briefly described the cleansing action Kanoha authorities conducted but omitted the details of the accidental victory of Sande and Kazakage puppet from Sasori's hands. After explaining it all, Kuroto smiled with fake nervousness, Amir Chunin somehow managed to escape from him, maybe this wounded his pride. Hearing Kuroto say this, Orochimaru showed a rare laugh, which surprised Kuroto. Can Orochimaru also laugh naturally? Kuroto thought silently. What Kuroto didn't know was that although Orochimaru and Sasori temporarily formed a team in Akatsuki, they weren't really getting along well. Although both are addicted to achieving. Immortality, one is taking the path of mechanical and non-biological technology, while the other is taking the path of medical and biological technology, and both of them have reached the threshold to achieve it in their respective fields. It is conceivable that the differences in their scientific views will lead to occasional ideological conflict. After laughing for a while, Orochimaru said, although I didn't give him any information about you, he must have some other source of information too, so you have to be careful. He is a paranoid person. I don't want to see you becoming part of his puppet collection. Kuroto replied with a bitter smile, to have the attention of such a strong person on myself is definitely not a pleasant experience. And some more discussion between Orochimaru and Kuroto continued. The Uchiha clan grounds. Seeing Shirsue's figure coming back, 
Itachi, who was hovering on the side of the road, hurriedly greeted him. Shursui-san, how did the assessment go? Shursui replied while stroking Itachi's head. Well, it did go pretty well, I suppose. So Shursui-san, are you now a tokubetsu jonin? Itachi was overjoyed when he heard Shursui and immediately asked, what were the judging criteria? Tell me quickly. Shursui was also not reserved and talked about the interesting and incident during the tokubetsu jonin assessment. Ads by Pub Future. Itachi listened carefully to all the details, then suddenly asked, Shursui-san must have easily defeated all the opponents, right? Shursui's face became a little stiff at Itachi's questioning, and he shook his head slightly in the final round of the assessment, I lost to my opponent, but Okage-sama felt that I performed well and allowed me to be promoted to Tokubetsu Jonin. Itachi was surprised, lost? This, how is this possible? Shursui is the most genius shinobi in the Uchiha's, he has earned this title based on his track record. And it is already believed that Shursui possesses the strength of a jonin, and this information has been recognized as a fact by the Uchiha clan, so it never occurred to Itachi that in the assessment for being promoted to Tokubetsu jonin, someone could beat Shursui. Look at you being so shocked, in fact, even I didn't think I would lose. With a helpless smile, Shursui continued, you also know the person who defeated me, and he is Kuroto-san of the Hyuga clan. Itachi suddenly muttered, Kuroto-san. Since a very young age, Itachi has the keenness and wisdom beyond that of ordinary people. He who is an extremely observant person can always find some details that other people don't pay attention to. Because of this the last time when he encountered Cloud Village's team, he was able to notice that Kuroto-san was not afraid of the Nibis Jinchuriki. At that moment, he was able to deduce that Hyuga Kuroto was definitely not any run-of-the-mill chunin. While Itachi was processing the information he has of the person named Hyuga Kuroto, Shursui continued with a solemn expression, there is an endless stream of strong individuals in the ninja world. We must never be blinded by the power of the Sharingan. We must always remain humble and polite, being prideful is not wrong, but we must not develop arrogance in our character. Itachi seemed to understand what exactly Shursui is referring to, he nodded seriously. Looking at the people passing through in the distance, Shursui asked in a low voice, what is the first thing you see in them? Itachi observed carefully and said with some sadness in his tone, pride. Yes, they are prideful for being born in the Echiha clan. After a short pause, Shursui continued in a deep voice, but this pride has turned into arrogance, and when that happens a person becomes too much unbearable for those around him. In the previous battle with Kuroto, not only didn't use the Mangekyo Sharingan he also had some reservations in going all out even only basic combat skills. The reason for that isn't only because he is aware of the village's suspicion of the Uchiha clan, but also because he clearly felt the undercurrent surging within the Uchiha for the past few months. Even the other shinobi villages know about the lack of power Kanoha is facing currently not to mention the Echiha clan who lives in the village itself. There has never been a lack or ambitious people within the Echiha clan, but until now there were too many strong people in the village, such as the Sanin, Yandem sama the Kyubis Jinchuriki, Sandem sama etc., so the Echiha could only choose to stay silent. But now that there is no news of the slug Sanin, the defection of the snake Sanin, the death of Yandame sama and the second-generation Kyubis Jinchuriki and the aging or Yandame sama coupled with the suppression the Uchihas are facing because of the suspicion, so the ambitions of many people that were silent until now have started to break out. Irresistibly. Shursui doesn't wasn't to do anything to put oil in those already burning ambitions with his actions, all he could do is try to contain it as much as he can. Therefore, when put against Hyuga Kuroto in the Tokubetsu Janin assessment, he chose to concede defeat quite early, this is one of the methods he chooses to destroy the ambitions of the Echiha clan. Chapter 33 Shershui's emotional words made Itachi lost in thought. He was naturally aware of the undercurrents surging within the family. He could already vaguely feel the contradiction between the Echiha clan and the village even when he was much younger, but he could not do anything about it. After a moment of contemplation, Itachi wanted to say something but stopped, Shursui san if the news of your loss to Kuroto Senpai spread, I'm afraid. It's not just the suppression from the village that the Uchiha clan was excluded from the village. It can be said that most Uchihas are not very easy to get along with. 
The main reason for all this is that once Uchiha's people open their Dojutsu Kekai Jinkai, their strength will advance by leaps and bounds with the awakening of their Kekai Jinkai, and eventually they will grow into Jonin pretty easily, this is almost an inevitable fact. It doesn't take them too extraordinary effort to gain power above others. Over time, it is natural for them to develop a sense of superiority over others. Therefore, Itachi was very worried that after the news that Shursui the most genius of the Uchiha had lost to Hyuga Kuroto, the unruly individuals in the clan would definitely go to seek trouble with Hyuga Kuroto. This is not unprecedented. Shursui smiled, I know what you are worried about, but you can rest assured that Kuroto-san is stronger than you or I might think. Itachi immediately understood the purpose of Shursui, so he was even more curious about the battle between Shursui and Kuroto, and hurriedly asked, Tell me about your battle with Kuroto-senpai. Shursui recalled the previous contest with Kuroto and said slowly, I never thought that Kuroto-san, who had been so unknown before, has higher digits of power than me. Hey, every time I think of such a genius is so low-key, but I was repeatedly called the most genius by the Uchiha clan, enjoying the Indian admiration of the companions in the village, I really felt ashamed. After shaking his head and sighing, Shursui described the process of the battle again. Both Jinjutsu and Taijutsu are almost ineffective against him? Upon hearing Shursui's view of the battle, Itachi lowered his head and muttered to himself for a while, and then he said again, Kuroto-senpai is so strong, it seems that I have been worrying too much for nothing. Shursui recalled something now, and said, I also had a feeling during the entire time I was fighting him. Ads by PubFuture E-commerce order fulfillment made easy. Run your business effectively across top markets and channels. Animary Itachi asked, What feeling? Kuroto-san seems to know that I didn't use my full strength in the battle, it seems as if he... Shursui wanted to say that he had a feeling that Kuroto seemed to be aware of the fact that he had awakened Mengekyo Sharingan, but he quickly shook his head and drove this kind of absurd idea out of his mind. At present, there are only two people that are aware of the information that he has awakened the Mengekyo Sharingan, and those two are none other than Shursui, himself, and Itachi, and Shursui believes that Itachi is more than sensible enough to not reveal this secret to anyone. On the other side of Kanoha Village Private Room Second floor, Izakaya. Izakaya on the second floor. After talking about his encounter with the Sasori of the Red Sand, Kuroto thought for a while and tentatively asked, Orochimaru-sama, do you know about the tail beasts? Orochimaru was a little surprised by Kuroto's sudden question, you are interested in the tail beast? Is it because of the Nibijin Shuriki you met not long ago? Kuroto did not hide it and naturally nodded, due to my lack of talent, my chakra has never been sufficient enough. To solve this problem, I read many books and materials and conduct some research, but the final answers all point to the tail beast. Orochimaru smiled softly, it seems we are quite similar, aren't we? You too will do whatever it takes to get the answer you are looking for, but I'll give you a piece of useful advice, don't touch the tail beasts, they are more troublesome than one might think. Kuroto quickly said, Tailed beasts are the secret weapons of the five great shinobi villages. Of course, I won't do anything to harm their interests so ignorantly. Therefore, I came to another conclusion, and I wanted to ask about it from you Orochimaru-sama. Ho! Oh. And what conclusion did you reach? Orochimaru asked with some curiosity. Is it possible to artificially create something akin to that of a tailed beast? Now this question drew Orochimaru's interest. Seeing the positive change in Orochimaru's expression, Kuroto immediately explained his idea of making an artificial tailed beast to him. With Kuroto's current knowledge reserves, it is absolutely impossible to be able to create an artificial tailed beast. If he wants the zero tailed artificial tailed beast to come into existence in advance, he must rely on the power of the Orochimaru, the second best researcher in the shinobi world. As for why not the best? That question is very easy to answer. The best is already dead, Naidem Hokage-sama Senju Tobarama in Kuroto's belief was the best researcher in the shinobi world. Moving that aside and coming back to the discussion. Ads by PubFuture Surprised by Kuroto's thinking, Orochimaru was again taken aback for a moment, and then said in a hoarse voice, kuroto Kuin, you really are different from others, you are a person full of ideas and imagination. 
Kuroto looked at Orochimaru expectantly. Is it possible to realize this vision of mine, Orochimaru-sama? After thinking for a while, Orochimaru said in a deep voice, In fact, the Kanoha village has been studying the tail beast since the time of Shodai Hokage-sama's era of power. Until the Naidame Hokage-sama came to power, the tail beast research project has always existed. But then I don't know why, the project was suddenly called off, all the research data was sealed, and the tail beast research project was completely suspended. Kuroto who heard this and thought in his heart, the village really has studied the tail beast in the past. In fact, since he met Shino, Kuroto has been trying to figure out from which village did he possibly stole the technology to artificially create a zero-tailed tail beast. Among the five great shinobi villages, the political situation of the village hidden in the mist and sand has always been unstable, and their military strength is also not very high. Therefore, it wouldn't be wrong to say that they simply do not have the ability to conduct in-depth research on the tail beasts, and this fact is clearly visible from their unstable jinchuriki. So, these two villages can be eliminated. As for the village hidden by the rocks and clouds, does focus on comprehensive research, but their focal point of research is the development of Earth Release and Thunder Release plus Taijutsu skills, respectively. Although Cloud Village has some understanding and research of tailed beasts because of Turtle Island and the inheritance left by the clan of Ginkaku and Kinkaku that were distantly related to the Sage of the Sixth Path, this is clearly visible from the fact that Cloud Village has perfect Jinchuriki, but Kuroto doesn't believe they have enough research resources and researchers that can conduct artificial tailed beast research. Therefore, Kanoha is the only village that had both resources and methods to conduct tail beast research. The presence of Shodame Hokage-sama with his wood release alone made it possible to suppress the tail beasts coupled with Naidame Hokage-sama's scientific interest and scientific psychology most likely made such comprehensive research quite possible. Therefore, Kanoha is the only village from which Shino could have obtained research results about the artificial tail beasts. This is the reason why Kuroto believes Orochimaru is the most likely person to be able to give him some data on what he is looking for. Converging his divergent thoughts, Kuroto asked promptly, so what made the research to be suspended? Orochimaru replied, although I don't know the specific reason, as much as I can guess, it was probably because of the unstable nature of the artificial tailed beast, I did check some information on this topic, and all the data states that the probability of the tailed beast running away is very very high, there is no suitable method of sealing or suppression, and once the tailed beast runs away, it will be a total disaster. Therefore Sandame probably put a stop to this research. Kuroto once again put forward an idea, what happens if we abandon the attack ability of the tailed beast and just use it as a chakra battery, wouldn't that improve its stability? Orochimaru glanced at Inquisitive Kuroto and said in a guiding tone, the accumulation of a large volume of chakra itself has quite the destructive power and there is no such thing as abandoning the attack ability. I tried using similar assumptions that you're thinking in my early years, but it didn't work accordingly, therefore I reached a thesis, according to which to improve the stability of the artificial there is most likely only one method and that is, using only one chakra source to create the artificial tailed beast, additionally the source of chakra shouldn't be too aggressive in nature. Kuroto frowned upon hearing Orochimaru's thesis, then according to this theory, in terms of single chakra source except for the tailed beasts themselves, close to nobody can act as a source of chakra for supplying the artificial tailed beast. Exactly, in the ninja world, perhaps only Shodame sama can supply chakra to the artificial tailed beast with his own power. Anybody else, including Naidame Sama, probably doesn't have enough chakra volume to meet the criteria. After a short pause, Orochimaru continues. Moreover, as I mentioned previously, the source of chakra shouldn't be aggressive or violent by nature, else the artificial tailed beast might run away, which again eliminate all the natural tailed beast, as their chakra is extremely violent by nature since there was no suitable source, so probably the research project was abandoned. Upon listening to Orochimaru's thoughts on the matter, Kuroto tried thinking about everything from the memories of his previous life, hoping to find some answer to this seemingly unsolvable question. He can vaguely think of several people who have an extremely large amount of chakra, but these people are all extremely strong standing at the pinnacle of the ninja world, but no one of them would suitably work for Kuroto as a source of chakra. Excluding these useless people, Kuroto also thought of the two extremely mysterious places with extremely large energy sources. First is the Ryumayaku, Dragon Vein, 
of the ancient city Roran in the kingdom of wind, and second is the Morio sealed in the land of demons by the witch of the land of demons. Chapter 34 Kuroto wanted to mention the Ryumayaku and Morio to Orochimaru, but after considering that it would be difficult to explain how he knew these secretive and highly classified pieces of information, Kuroto hesitated, and finally chose not to speak. And taking a look at Orochimaru, he seems to have no interest in artificial tailed beasts. However, this is also quite normal. Chakra volume is not a problem for Orochimaru, who has mastered Furofusher no Jutsu, living corpse reincarnation, and the secret technique of physical regeneration and is now developing the Edo Tensei. After weighing all the information he has in his hands, Kuroto finally asked the million-dollar question, Orochimaru-sama, could you tell me what will it cost me to get information about artificial-tailed beasts from you? Orochimaru looked at Kuroto with interest, I'm curious Kuroto-kun, why are you so attached to the artificial-tailed beast? Is there any specific reason you would like to share with me? Who knows I might share the know-how of its research without you paying me anything. Obviously, Kuroto won't reveal his true intention. The first rule of negotiation is, never reveal your true intentions, only then can you get benefit from it. Therefore, Kuroto didn't answer directly, but asked a question in return, then why are you so fascinated by the kinjutsu, forbidden technique? As you said before you and I are the same type of people. To research something, do I need to have a specific reason? It's just a matter of interest. Orochimaru patiently waited for Kuroto to complete his speech and then spoke, although what you speak is indeed true, but your explanation isn't enough to convince me. After shaking his head while staring at Kuroto, he smiled slightly, however, I also wish to see what kind of monsters can you make and what you become. So, this time I'll excuse your request. Kuroto was obviously overjoyed upon hearing Orochimaru agree, so you agree? However, Orochimaru didn't answer Kuroto's question but stretched out two fingers, I will give you all the information, but there are two conditions. Please speak. Orochimaru smiled and said, First, I want you to share the research results with me. Second, I want you to collect information on all the members of the Umbu unit, including old man's shadow guards. The manner in which Orochimaru spoke was not conditional but like an order. This obviously meant Kuroto didn't have any other choice or any room for bargaining, so he nodded and agreed. After some more discussion, Orochimaru got up and left. On the night of the same day, Kuroto got all the information about the artificial tailed beast stored within a sealing scroll from the mouth of the one-eyed viper. Seeing the scroll in his hands, Kuroto can infer that Orochimaru had stolen most of the forbidden technique and research material from the archives before defecting from the village, and this may also be a reason why the village senior officials carried out a bloody cleansing of Orochimaru's former subordinates. Unfolding the scroll recording the data of the artificial tailed beast, Kuroto just glanced slightly and frowned. The complexity of the research articles and the experimental data about the artificial tailed beast is beyond all his previous expectations. Ads by Pub Future. Love you can shape, surprise with a 100% personalized token of affection. Love you can shape, surprise with a 100% personalized token of affection. Made just for you, now up to 45% off. Louise and Fred Munich. The research states that there are more than 700 kinds of complicated fuinjutsu techniques involved in the process, many of which are sealing techniques that would be difficult to perform even for the likes of elite jonin ninjas. Additionally, the artificial tailed beast has unusually high requirements for the type of material used for its core body. According to the data, the village has conducted tests using 17 different types of material of which only one material namely, purple clay could barely carry a huge volume of chakra. Purple clay is a special product of the Numa no Kuni, country of swamp, it is a special type of clay soil found in the deepest part of the swamps. Because of its source purple clay is difficult to mine, so the overall output is quite scarce. As a result of this, it's the market price is equivalent to gold, which is a very rare and expensive metal. Kuroto had the idea that only obtaining a large source of chakra would be the problem in creating an artificial tailed beast, but after learning this information, almost everything from the source of chakra to the material for the core body is a problem. It's no wonder that even Shino, who controls the remaining military power of the Land of Sky also took so many years to finally be able to create Zero Tail even if it was in the incomplete state. 
After sighing with disappointed emotion, Kuroto shook his head and put away the scroll. With his current means, it is simply a pipe dream to be able to create an artificial-tailed beast, whether it is the suitable materials required or the necessary fuinjutsu, sealing technique, knowledge, or the most important of all funds to carry out research and experiments, he lacks it all, so Kuroto doesn't have any option but to temporarily give up the artificial-tailed beast project. After clearing all the thoughts, Kuroto went to sleep, as he was mentally exhausted by the series of events that took place today. Early the next morning, Kuroto rushed to the Umbu office. After going through the complete recruiting procedure, he received his new ninja ID, now he was officially a Tokabetsu Jonin of the Kanoa village, and at the same time, he was also an Umbu working directly under Hokage. In the equipment room, Kuroto met Mike Guy and Uchiha Shursue. After greeting each other, the three of them carefully selected the equipment for each of them. When it was their turn to choose the mask, Kuroto tried an eagle faced, it felt just right, so he opted for this mask. Guy chose an ordinary dog face mask. Shursue appeared confused between a kitsune and a Nico mask, in the end, he gave up the kitsune mask that appeared deceitful and opted for a relatively docile Nico mask. While all this was going on there was one thought that seemed to really confuse Kuroto, and that was how come Mike Guy selected an umbu? Kuroto is clearer than anyone that the person named Mike Guy, with his straightforward and honest abu personality, lacks the necessary darkness needed to be an umbu ninja, and this fact should also be very clear to Kakashi and Sandame Sama too, even then they decided to select Guy and Umbu squad. This is something that Kuroto can't comprehend, and in fact he can remember from the memories of his previous life, that although Mike Guy tried to join Umbu to accompany Kakashi and help Kakashi overcome the darkness, but was eventually rejected by Sandame Sama himself, using the same reason, so how in the hell is he now a part of Umbu? Honestly, Kuroto could only sigh at such, unpredictable changes in the story, it most likely is his influence, because he can't think of any other possible reason for this to happen. Ads by Pub Future. Putting away the unnecessary thoughts Kuroto followed Shursue and Guy to exit the equipment room. Hokage Office Hugo Kuroto, Uchiha Shursue, and Mike Guy, who had now changed into their official Umbu costume, stood upright in the presence of Hokage-sama. The Sandame-sama observed the three recruits carefully for a while, then nodded in satisfaction and said, Yes, all three of you appear very energetic, I believe you all will retain this vigor, now before being officially becoming a member of the Umbu Black Ops, you three will have to undergo a recruitment test. If you three pass the test successfully, then you'll undergo Umbu special training. Let's call your team. Temporary recruitment class, 11 until it becomes official. After saying this much, Sandim Sama clapped lightly. Following the sound of the clap, a figure fell beside him. Hokage-sama introduced, he is Kitsune, I believe you three knows his identity, he will be the captain of your temporary squad and also the proctor for your test. Kitsune took off his mask and indifferently introduced himself, Hataki Kakashi, pleased to meet you all. Following Kakashi's gesture, Kuroto, Guy, and Shursue also took off their respective masks and introduced themselves one by one. Now come that matter of your recruitment task. Hokage-sama knocked on the table with his tobacco pipe for attracting the attention of the four teenagers, and continued, A few days ago, the Witch of the Country of Demons sent a request to the Kanoa village, hoping that we would send some shinobi to help seal a demon from another world. The detailed mission information is in this scroll. This will be a semi-umbu mission. That means you all wouldn't be acting as umbu. But Kakashi would be responsible for judging whether you three are qualified to join umbu. The mission rank is S-class. Good luck! When Kuroto heard this, his heart almost froze. Not because of the so-called recruitment test or something, but because just yesterday he thought of the Morio of the Land of Demons as a possible chakra source, and today Hokage-sama has assigned a mission to help the Witch of the Country of Demons seal the said demon. Kuroto didn't know if it was just a mere coincidence or whether the village authorities have learned of the detail about his artificial tailed beast plan. Not paying any attention to the three recruits, Sandame Sama stood from his seat, turned around, and looked at the village from the window of his office. After a momentary daze, he continued while on the mission, the four of you will operate as a team of a Jonin captain and three Tokabetsu Jonin ninjas, not as a member of Umbu Black. Ops, it is highly likely that you'll encounter the shinobi of the other great villages too while on this mission, try to extra careful and operate in such a manner to avoid any unnecessary conflict with them. 
Yes. The four shinobi nodded in unison. That is all. Disperse. With Hokage-sama's final order the four shinobi left the Hokage office, the time was short and the task was urgent, none of the four delayed any longer and left the village and rushed to the country of demons, after preparing the required equipment and material supplies in the shortest amount of time. As soon as the four left the village, Guy excitedly spoke while rushing toward their destination, Kakashi my eternal rival. I am finally close to catching up to you. Kakashi replied feebly, yes, yes. Guy didn't notice Kakashi's impatience at all, or even if he did, he probably chooses to ignore it, Kakashi, chasing after companions and growing together is the real youth, when I think of this, I feel so full of energy. Kakashi turned his head and slightly glanced at Hyuga Kuroto and Uchiha Shursui behind the team while continuing to deal with Guy's antics. Behind, realizing that Kuroto seemed to be a little upset, Shursui asked curiously, Kuroto-san, is there something wrong? Kuroto shook his head slightly, nothing. Right now, Kuroto's mind is highly focused on figuring out a certain possibility and that is his suspicion on the village for being given this mission. Kuroto is indeed a little suspicious over this mission, just yesterday he met Orochimaru and discussed the artificial tailed beast plan, and although didn't mention Morio but still thought of it as a suitable chakra source, is it just a coincidence to be sent to the mission of sealing Morio the very next day? However, he did all the brainstorming all he could, and it seemed that the Witch of the Country of Demons did pass away around this time, leaving behind her only daughter Shion, as the next generation of Witch who was about the same age as Naruto. Chapter 35 In Kuroto's impression based on the fact that Shion was around the same age as Naruto and that her mother Moroku, the Witch of the Land of Demons before Shion, died sealing Morio to protect her daughter, and based on the mission details it seems that now is that time, but it is this coincidence that makes Kuroto feel more uneasy. Seeing that Kuroto was still worried about something, Shursui decided to divert Kuroto's attention towards some other thoughts and asked, Kuroto-san, what do you think of this mission and recruitment test? Kuroto, who was busy storming out his brain, answered casually, The Land of Demons is located between the Wind Nation and the Earth Nation. This time the objective of the task involves a demon from the other world, therefore the High Priestess will most likely seek help from Sand Village and Rock Village too, as such the mission will definitely involve the participation of multiple Shinobi Village. In short, it will be very troublesome. Shursui asked a little curiously, Hey, I don't know what kind of monster that demon from the foreign world would be. Kuroto thought about it a little and decided to reveal some information he knew about Morio to his teammates, according to my guesses, the demon should at the very least have the chakra level to match that of a tailed beast, otherwise, Hokage-sama wouldn't classify this task as S-class. Tailed Beast Level After a moment of contemplation, Shursui whispered to Kuroto in a low voice, Kuroto-san, I have a short-term countermeasure against the tailed beast, but I am afraid that after using it, I will temporarily lose my combat effectiveness. Kuroto was taken aback by what Shursui said, obviously, Kuroto knows that Shursui with his Mangekyo Sharingan has a short-term countermeasure against the tailed beast but he didn't expect Shursui to reveal a hint of this information to Kuroto, at least not at this early, they don't even know each other for too long, is this trust or is it his naivety that eventually led him to be betrayed at the hand of Shimura Danzo? Kuroto spoke solemnly after a short silence, when we were duking it out yesterday, I already had a feeling that your Sharingan is different from the normal Sharingan. Hearing Kuroto's solemn answer, Shursui seemed hesitant a few times, it appeared as if he wanted to say something, but he still had a lot of concerns. Upon noticing Shursui's internal struggle Kuroto smiled and spoke, You don't need to explain it to me, everyone has their secrets, after all, these secrets are also what makes people unique in a way, as long as your intentions are not harmful to the village, your secret will remain safe. Shursui sighed in relief upon Kuroto's comforting words and said sincerely, Thank you Kuroto-san. Kuroto waved his hands nonchalantly, It's no big deal, actually I also have a few secrets, in fact, I too have a secret technique in my arsenal that can hold off against the tailed beasts even if for a short duration. What Kuroto spoke is not nonsense, Sandang Kekage, known as the strongest Kazakage has the ability to suppress a chibi, with his magnet release, and since Sandang Kazakage puppet is in his hands, he naturally has some ability to contend against a tail beast class strength, even if only for a short time. Upon hearing, Kuroto say the Shursui smiled slightly and said, Sure enough, 
I always felt that you didn't use all your strength in yesterday's battle, Kuroto san. Sharing one's secrets is undoubtedly one of the best ways to get closer to each other. After only a short discussion, the friendship between Kuroto and Shirsue improved a lot. Ads by Pub Future. If you own a mouse, you have to play this game. No install. Play for free. Strategy Game Combat Siege. Of course, this is also related to the fact that both of them are members of the noble clans and shinobis with Dojitsu Kekai Jinkai, therefore their situations are much similar than it may seem, and as the saying goes, birds of a feather flocks together. The Front End of the Team Kakashi turned his head back after observing Kuroto and Shirsue talk for a while and said to Guy running beside him, Kuroto seems to have become exceptionally stronger in the past few months. Guy smiled hearing this, you're saying? He he, he is an inferior to your genius talent. Yes, yes. Kakashi dropped his head and said nothing more. After being traumatized by his father's suicide, then one after another death of his friends and teammates Abito, Rin, and finally his teacher Minato, Kakashi has become a depressed, indifferent and silent person, very occasionally would he say more than a few words that too only when he is with people he would consider as a friend. The four members of Team Eleven are all outstanding ninjas from Kanoa's new generation of shinobis, and their speed of traveling is naturally amazingly fast. In just one week, they crossed the border and entered the land. Of rain. In a cave. The four, Kakashi, Guy, Kuroto, and Shirsue sat around a small bonfire while analyzing the next route. Between the land of fire and the land of demons, there are several small nations such as land of rain, land of birds, and the land of bears. At present, there are several rebellious ninjas hidden in these small countries, if they aren't careful in the choice of route to take, then encountering a fierce battle wouldn't be so surprising, which isn't something they could afford due to the urgency of the task, therefore they must be cautious in selecting the most optimal route. After a while of discussion, Kakashi who has marked the route put away the map. At this time Guy whispered, the weather of the land of rain is really bad, it rains all day long, making the environment really humid and sticky. As the captain of the team, Kakashi dutifully explained, although the land of rain is small, it also has its own shinobi village, the demigod Hanzo of the Salamander is the leader of the rain village, so we have to be extra careful while passing from the rain country. Both Guy and Shirsue nodded seriously at Kakashi's words. Hanzo of the Salamander is a known figure throughout the shinobi world. The title of Sanin was granted by Hanzo himself. Kuroto leaned against the drywall of the cave and pondered to himself, based on the timeline, Hanzo should have been killed by Nagato by now. Sasori and Orochimaru joined the Akatsuki successively not long ago, this implies that the Akatsuki has transitioned from the time when Yahiko was the leader to the stage with Nagato in power. Ads by Pub Future As far as Kuroto could remember after Nagato became the leader, the first thing he did, seemed to be avenging Yahiko's death and taking control of the rain country from the shadows. And following Yahiko's death, Nagato no longer cared about good or evil, right or wrong, compared to some Morio that only ravaged the land of demons and its surroundings, the Akatsuki organization under Nagato's power was a group of real monsters, hidden in the ninja world, with the ability to destroy all the shinobi villages. Thinking about Hanzo, a powerful shinobi known as the Demigod, died so silently, Kuroto couldn't help but feel cold sweat down his back, hey, shinobi world is really very sinister. After passing through the land of rain without encountering any surprises and dangers, Class 11 also passed through land of birds and bears quite smoothly. Class 11 thought that everything went well up to now and they would soon be able to meet high priestess of the land of demons, but unexpectedly as soon as stepped into the lands of demons trouble started coming at their door on its own. Boom! Loud sounds echoed throughout, and the sky was filled with clouds of dust and smoke. Guy retreated suddenly seeing this and shouted damn it, we are a little late, what to do about these monsters? At this time in front of the four shinobi of class 11 was an army of stone soldiers moving at ghostly will. These ghost armies should be the brigade of stone soldiers serving the demon Morio, the rush towards class 11 with aggressive steps. Kakashi used Chidori against a few of the stone soldiers, Guy used Kanoha de Zenpu to kick away a few of them but without any damage, these stone soldiers stood up again and started coming after the four. Seeing their attacks being ineffective, Kakashi frowned, these seemed to be unbreakable. 
Kuroto also doesn't have much knowledge about these stone soldiers, but anyone with a discerning eye can see that these stone soldiers and nothing more than an army of soulless puppets acting under the orders of someone else, so he suggested, there's no need to waste any time here on these puppets, I would be best to meet with the high priestess first, I think she should know what to do with them. Regarding the current situation of Land of Demons, all four of the Class Eleven have no idea, therefore everyone agreed with Kuroto's proposal and rushed to the Temple of High Priestess bypassing the slow-moving puppets in the hinterland of this country. Along the way, everything they saw or heard was all about stone soldiers raging in this country. Not just some small villages but even the large towns have suffered, there is a very high casualty count among the civilians, shocking the four ninjas who have experienced the Third Shinobi War not long ago. Although shinobi are trained to become emotionless, they still couldn't bear to see such loss of life, still, they grit their teeth and increase their speed because the four of them knew very clearly. Rather than wasting time here entangling with these puppets, it's better to meet the high priestess and find a method to solve the one controlling them in one go, otherwise, the victim count will keep on rising. Fortunately, the land of demons is not a very big country, after just a few days of high-speed traveling. They arrived at the Temple of the High Priestess. Chapter 36 On a High Cliff Standing on the edge of a high cliff, the four members of the Class Eleven observed the Grand Temple in the distance. There was an extremely thin barrier surrounding the temple that protected it from the attacks of the stone army, since these stone puppets couldn't pass through or break the barrier, they surrounded the temple from all directions. Seeing that the temple was still standing, Kakashi sighed with relief, since the temple of High Priestess is safe that means we still have a chance. Guy anxiously said, but with so many of these stone soldiers present, how do we get in? Kakashi turned his head and asked Kuroto, Kuroto, can you look for an open route that we could take to enter the temple? Kuroto shook his head, I did. But the temple is surrounded by the stone puppets from all directions, leaving close to no space, gaps, or dead ends that we could use. Finally, Sher Sui said in a deep voice, in that case, making our way from the front is the only option left. Obviously, it is not an easy task to make their way forcibly. They have already tried dealing with these stone soldiers several times on their way here since entering the land of demons, although these puppets have extremely clumsy movements, they are powerful, once they start battling it would be very difficult for class 11 to make an effective conclusion. Kuroto who was still observing the surroundings suddenly pointed to a high cliff on the opposite side, look at that. Everyone looked in the direction he pointed at, and they saw a few figures appearing on the opposite high cliff, from their clothing, they seemed to be San Shinobi. As the captain of the team, Kakashi pondered for a moment and said, that should be the San Ninja's team sent by the San Village for the same task. We might be able to cooperate with them to break through the encirclement of the Stone Army and enter the Temple of the High Priestess. The current common enemy is the demon from the foreign world, so in this crisis situation, nobody was opposed to the idea of cooperation with some another village, therefore, everyone nodded one by one in agreement to Kakashi's proposal. Soon the two sides met together. The San team also consists of four shinobi. The captain of the team is a kunoichi named Pakura. Pakura of the Scorch, a very powerful kunoichi, well known throughout the ninja world for her Scorch release Kekai Jinkai and is also recognized as a war hero of the San Village. As the captain, Kakashi came forward and exchanged a few words with her to reach a consensus. Ads by Pub Future. You will never turn off your computer again. No install. Play for free. Strategy Game Combat Siege. The two captains, Kakashi and Pakura, took charge of the assault at the forefront, Guy and three other shinobi of the sand village were responsible in the middle, and at the end were Kuroto and Shursue. After deployment, the gate crash operation began immediately. Chiaini Arurp. With a sharp, singing sound of a bird song. Kakashi took the lead of the charge, his hand shining with the thunder of Chidori, he dashed into the encirclement of the stone army. Boom! 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 Followed by a series of loud noises, stone puppets fell to the ground one after another. Chidori's penetrating power was fully demonstrated by Kakashi at this moment, almost instantaneously, he had already torn through the queue of five layers. Seeing the aggressive charge of Kakashi, Pakura who followed him closely immediately printed the hand seals and shouted, Scorch release, five great streaming explosive. 
five scorch balls appeared around Pakura instantly, desiccating the surrounding stone soldiers into dry sand. The three sand ninjas in the middle of the team used earth release, earth style wall. As a result, two earth walls protruded from the bottom of the ground protecting the corridor that Kakashi and Pakura forcibly broke through, establishing a temporary safe passage in the array of stone soldiers. At the end of the assault team, Kuroto shouted towards Shursue, Shursue head to the middle, I'll hold off the back. Knowing the strength of Kuroto, Shursue didn't talk any nonsense and immediately rushed to the middle squad. Kuroto, who was at the back, now completely focused on dealing with the stone soldiers, with the inside of the Tensigan the attacks of the stone soldiers became slow-moving frames for Kuroto's perception. Unless absolutely necessary Kuroto didn't even use Revolving Heaven to deal with these stone soldiers, with simple gentle fist strikes and shuriken jutsu, Kuroto was able to deal with them. And from an extremely close distance, Kuroto was also able to see that the chakra signature of all these puppets was exactly the same, which obviously implies that the source is the same. Moreover, the source of chakra felt extremely evil and violent in nature. If the source of chakra behind the stone army is Morio the demon from the other world, then adds by Pub Future. Thinking of this Kuroto shook his head. Such evil and violent chakra isn't suitable to act as a source for the artificial tailed beast, therefore the option of using Morio as a possible chakra source was eliminated by Kuroto. Although there were only eight ninjas in the two teams, every one of them is an elite of their respective shinobi villages, especially Pakura who was already near Kage Tirkunoichi, so it didn't take much time for the joint team to make a breakthrough. Passing through the array of stone soldiers, they safely entered the temple protected by the barrier. As soon as the combined assault team entered the enclosed barrier, they heard the cheering sound of the guards protecting the temple from within the barrier. Because of the weakening of the seal of Morio, the high priestess of the land of demons had to bear the whole burnt of continuous assault from the monster, as a result of which the guards of the temple didn't dare to relax even for a moment. Now that they finally saw some powerful reinforcements arrive, they were naturally filled with joy, discarding away quite the anxiety and fear. In the temple, the high priestess was sitting on the futon with a sad face, and there was a little girl probably around one year old beside her. From each of their appearances, it wasn't very difficult to judge that they shared the bond of mother and daughter. On one side, a group of shinobi stood dressed in the official uniform of Rock Village Shinobi. Obviously, this meant that the shinobi of Rock Village had arrived here before the Kanoha Village and Sand Village, and from appearance alone, the ninjas of Rock Village all looked very arrogant and quite unruly. When Kuroto saw this group of Rock Shinobi, he suddenly became very angry and had the urge to kill them. These are the same rock shinobi that ambushed Kuroto only ten miles away from the Kanoha village while he was escorting the wounded back to the village. Back then, it was his closest encounter with the feeling of death. If not for the fact that support from the village arrived in time, otherwise Kuroto would have died aggrieved just like most of the ninjas that were part of the escort team. Kuroto never forgot to ask the identity of such a bold rock shinobi and learned that they were the famous beheading troops of the rock village. While Kuroto was busy controlling his killing urge, the rock shinobi were also observing the newly arrived helping hands. Huh, did Kanoha send such imps to die? It appears, the rumors that Kanoha has grown weak is actually true, a ninja of the rock beheading troop spoke condescendingly. There was no need to speak of Pakura who is a famous figure from the third shinobi war and the beheading corps of the rock village are a force to be greatly feared, among these famous and strong individuals of both the villages, Team 11 of Kanoha that consisted of young Kakashi and the three not-so-known, recently promoted Tokubetsu Jonin, really lacked the required influence at first glance. In Kanoha's team, the older ones were only around 15 years old and the youngest Shursue was around 11 years old, so they were indeed few imps compared to rock and sand ninjas. However, Team 11 isn't allowed to be looked down upon, because all their actions influence the reputation of the village, if these four left a weak impression in the subconscious of other forces, then it wouldn't be very surprising if a ninja army is invading fire country in a few weeks, therefore, they can't appear to be weak. So Kuroto spoke coldly, if you think so, then you better be careful not to accidentally die in the hands of this imp. If it was someone else trying to provoke them, Kuroto would be too lazy to bother, but facing the rock beheading troop, he just couldn't hold his sharp tongue. Captain of the rock beheading team, who was standing with his arms folded around his chest, said with a gloomy look, 
kid, do you want to die? If you think you can do it, why don't you try? Chapter 37 If you think you can do it, why don't you try? Facing the Rock Village's elite beheading corpse squad leader, Kuroto wasn't afraid at all. He took a step forward, releasing his unmasked killing intent for the other party. Kuroto is more than clear why the other party is trying to provoke Kanoha's shinobi team. Undoubtedly the impact because of the unexpected death of Yande Mokage and second-generation Kyuubi's Jinchuriki has yet to fade away. The Sand Village and Mist Village are not being so proactive against Kanoha because of their weaker military power for whatever reasons but the Cloud Village and the Rock Village aren't the same. There are definitely signs of them trying to make small movements here and there. This is one of the reasons why Kanoha Shinobi can't afford to shrink back or appear weaker here because these kinds of provocations won't decrease if one party shrinks away, rather the more one party shrinks the more another party will intensify. Feeling Kuroto's unmasked killing intent the captain of the beheading unit squinted his eyes and put his hands on the short sword at his waist. For some reason, he felt that this not-so-young brat wasn't bluffing. On Kuroto's side, Kakashi, Dai, and Shirsui immediately got into a fighting stance, and the members of the rock beheading unit on the opposite also became alert for any possible attack. An intense stare-off was taking place with both parties looking for an opportunity to make an effective attack. Seeing that the situation was getting worse by the second the high priestess sitting on the futon stood up with the intentions to persuade and resolve this matter peacefully, Ninja-san, I ask you all to please let go of your prejudices, for the time being, the demon from the foreign world is breaking through the weakening seal as we speak, and the stone army will soon be able to get past the barrier protecting this temple. I ask that you all work together to solve this upcoming calamity. Ads by Pub Future Authentic German Foods at Christmas Authentic German Foods at Christmas German Food at Christmas German Food Box Listening to priestess requests both sides finally didn't continue with provocations anymore, they also know that infighting isn't a wise choice given the current situation since the monster is continuously approaching here, so each side took a step back to maintain a temporary peace. Pakura who had been watching the two sides going at each other, finally asked the witch, Hi priestess, could you please elaborate on the current situation? The witch nodded, the enemy we have to face is a demon from a foreign world, named Morio. His objective is to destroy the shinobi world and create Sin and Okoku, Thousand Year Kingdom, to rule over it, long ago a clan of shinobi had borrowed his ghost army to help him achieve this goal. However, he was stopped and sealed away by my ancestor. However, the seal isn't permanent and it has been broken by the descendant of that very shinobi clan, freeing the soul of the demon. The barrier enchantment I placed around the temple can hold both the demon and his ghost army to pass through however it cannot hold off against the cultists following him. This is why Morio will definitely order his cultists to attack here in order to kill me, who can reseal him. If I were to die before resealing him, the whole shinobi world will be destroyed by him. After understanding the gravity of the situation, everyone's faces were gloomy. Although nobody here has faced the demon Morio but having dealt with his ghost army gives them some understanding of what kind of power he might possess, and if it exactly as the priestess described then letting him run amok in the shinobi world would put the whole world in danger. After the priestess finished with the explanation Kakashi asked straightforwardly, Miko-sama, you mentioned that you have a method of resealing the demon? While stroking her daughter's hair, she replied, yes, that's right. The priestess of each generation has the responsibility to keep the demon sealed away, but the location where the seal is placed is in the land of swamps. It is obviously good news that the demon can be resealed but the location is troublesome. Pakura asked while pondering over all the details, then how are we going to lead the monster to the objective location? Hearing Pakura's question the priestess smiled sadly, don't worry, everyone, I am the biggest threat to that monster. As long as I personally go there, he will definitely follow. As soon as Priestess revealed this detail, Kakashi took out a map and spread it directly on the ground. Although the land of swamp is adjacent to the land of demons, the distance between the target location and the current location is still well over several hundred miles, the planning of the route has to be done carefully as the Priestess isn't a shinobi and paths are quite steep and mountainous. After some more thinking Pakura said, the ghost army isn't really troublesome, with their slow speed we don't have to be worried about them catching up to us as long as we break through their encirclement. Ads by Pub Future. The captain of the rock team also nodded in agreement, and in that case, 
The enemies we have to particularly careful against is the demon himself and the cultist Shinobi. The Shinobi following the Morio's command was originally just a group of weak ninjas with their leader Yomi only at the level of a jonin. But now they have been blessed by Morio, they have an almost inexhaustible supply of evil chakra from the demon, with this they can unscrupulously perform ninjutsu, and even use several large-scale combined attacks making them much more dangerous. Considering that the situation might get out of hands if their team were to be chased while traveling to the Sealing Mountain, Pakura said with a hint of bloodlust in her tone, instead of being besieged by the cultists and the stone army on our way to the Sealing Mountain, it's better to use this enchantment that can block the intrusion of ghost army to solve the cultists, and then escort the priestess to the Sealing Mountain in the land of swamps. The captain of the rock unit agreed, we think so too. Kakashi also nodded with Pakura's proposal, we have no objections. Following the unified opinions of Kanoha, Sand, and Rock Shinobi, they all mobilized in the temple immediately and prepared for the upcoming battle. Because of the Byakugan and mastery over Revolving Heaven, giving him both sensor abilities and high defensive techniques, Kuroto was responsible to personally guard the priestess and her daughter. Unlike most of the shinobi that were highly worried, Kuroto wasn't very concerned about the situation, so his thoughts were more focused on the artificial tailed beast's plan. As Kuroto has gained more knowledge and data about his Tensegan in the past few months, he has come to understand that the biggest obstacle stopping him from being able to use other abilities of the Tensegan is his lack of chakra volume. Therefore, only by increasing his chakra supply can Kuroto utilize other abilities of the Tensegan. And this problem isn't very difficult to judge considering the case with Nagato and his Rinnegan. Madara transplanted the Rinnegan to Nagato while he was very young but he awakened the Rinnegan only after the emotional stimulus because of his parents' death but it should be noted that he still couldn't use all its abilities, it was only when he had grown up did, he start using other abilities of the Rinnegan after another emotional stimulation due to Yahiko's death. But that still sucked away most of the vitality within him, making him the dried up skinny person he appeared in the story. One thing to not forget is that Nagato is from the Uzumaki clan whom Madara selected carefully to revive him, the Uzumakis are well known for their especially high chakra volume and tenacious vitality, and such a person was so overwhelmed under the effects of the semi-awakened eyes of God. So Kuroto suspects that the Tensegan didn't yet awaken all the abilities is because it's probably protecting him as the current him can obviously not support the fully awakened Tensegan. This is the reason why Kuroto seeks the artificial tailed beast more relentlessly. He most definitely needs a battery that continuously provide him with chakra energy, only then can he continue his research on the Tensigen with confidence, because he doesn't want to become like the skinny Nagato, as the gains wouldn't be worth it. Chapter 38 Kuroto wasn't very concerned about Morio and the Ghost Army because he is aware that although they are undeniably a big threat that cannot be underestimated, but that's all. There are countless such powerhouses hidden within the ninja world, let's not mention the others, Nagato with the Rinnegan is more than enough to deal with the Morio and his ghost army, therefore, even if the Miko-sama fails to successfully seal the demon, it is impossible for him to truly destroy the shinobi world. Moreover, Kuroto vaguely remembers, this seemingly weak Miko-sama of the land of demons in front of Kuroto actually has mastery over extremely powerful fuin, sealing, techniques. If nothing changes, then her self-sacrifice would be more than enough to seal the demon successfully. Therefore, Kuroto converged his racing thoughts and started to make his own set of calculations over how he can be benefited from the situation here. After a while of brainstorming, he glanced at the little girl beside the Miko-sama and asked, Is she your daughter Miko-sama? What is her name? The little girl didn't wait for the Miko-sama to answer and said in an excited voice, My name is Cheyenne. Miko-sama smiled at her daughter's excitement as watched Kuroto and Cheyenne talk. Kuroto squatted beside Cheyenne and spoke in a teasing manner, Oh, your name is Cheyenne-chan? Hum, you have a pretty nice name. Cheyenne-chan stared straight at Kuroto's eyes and asked courageously, Ninja and I, chan your mask is really interesting, can I see it? With a smile, Kuroto took off his mask and handed it to Cheyenne-chan. Cheyenne-chan jumped and ran around the hall in excitement. Looking at the carefree Shayan-chan, a trace of melancholy appeared on Miko-sama's face. From the conviction that Kuroto could see within her eyes, he understands that she has made up her mind, even if she has to sacrifice herself, she would do it all to seal the demon. So, Kuroto asked, Miko-sama, are you really sure you can seal the demon? Miko-sama lowered her head and answered, 
in order to avoid the threat so that everyone can live safely, I will seal it, definitely. Even at the cost of your life? Miko-sama suddenly raised her head in shock at Kuroto's sudden unexpected question. Although she didn't understand why he would ask this, but still calmed herself down and nodded her head firmly, yes, even at the cost of my life. Ads by Pub Future. If you own a mouse, you have to play this game. No install. Play for free. Strategy Game Combat Siege. As soon as the Miko-sama nodded, a loud sound echoed. Boom. The loud sound was the result of a violent explosion just outside the hall. There is no doubt that the enemy has infiltrated the temple. With this Kuroto was immediately alert, he immediately took his umbu mask from Shayan-chan and stood on guard in front of the Miko-sama and her daughter. Gradually, the sounds of explosions outside became more frequent, the entire temple was faintly shaking, shouts of the enemy, shouts of guards and the wailing of the wounded were all mixed together in this chaotic situation. Kuroto was staring at the gate with only one thought repeating in his mind. It doesn't matter whether this mission was simply a coincidence or some kind of enticement from the Hokage-sama, since I have come to the land of demons, I can't afford to waste this unexpected opportunity. Since Kuroto made up his mind, he whispered lightly to the Miko-sama, your daughter is still too young, she isn't yet ready to live without the protection of her mother. Miko-sama asked in puzzlement, what are you trying to say? Kuroto said quite frankly, the demon isn't exactly as dangerous you think it to be. I would say he is at the level of a tailed beast at best. In the shinobi world, although there aren't many methods to suppress someone as strong as a tailed beast, but that doesn't mean there are none. Hearing Kuroto's words Miko-sama seemed to be thinking something. Without waiting for her to speak, Kuroto directly stated his condition, I need some special materials from the land of swamps, if Miko-sama is willing to help me in obtaining them, I can guarantee your life. Arranging some special materials wouldn't be much difficulty for someone of her position, at best it could be considered extra reward or compensation, but she had doubts whether a 14 or 15 year old teenager really had the ability to go against the demon Morio. But she also doesn't have very many choices, so she asked, what exactly do you want? Kuroto stated his requirement, purple clay. Purple clay is not only expensive that would take him at the very least three to five years if he were to collect it alone, but it would also bring attention towards Kuroto, as purple clay is a really precious material. But if it were the Miko-sama of the land of demons this problem would be solved. With her high status, the expensive price wouldn't be a trouble and it would also avoid any suspicious attention giving him a sense of assurance over the secrecy of his artificial tailed beast plan. Hearing that purple clay is what Kuroto wants, Miko-sama frowned slightly, as far as I know purple clay can be used for few in techniques, what do you need it for? Now Kuroto obviously can't answer this question, so he promised once again, as long as Miko-sama gives her word in helping me obtain purple clay, I will guarantee your safety until you successfully seal the demon, and I don't back down on my promise. This promise is not some empty words from Kuroto, but he really has the confidence to fulfill it. With his strength, he isn't much worried and if worse comes to worst, he can just bring out his secret cards. Ads by Pub Future Whether the Kazakage's puppet in his possession or Shirsue Susanu, both of them have the ability to fight against Tail Beast class opponents for a short time and can also be used against Morio without any problem. With him and Shirsue keeping the demon busy, it would get much easier for the Miko-sama to seal it. Seeing Kuroto's confidence Miko-sama decided to trust in the words of the teenager, after all even if he can't fulfill it, she would only die in death is something she has prepared herself to face long ago. Therefore, all right, I promise you, was Miko-sama's reply. Although purple clay is precious but not enough to make Miko of the land of demons to consider too much or hesitate. After the deal was settled both parties quiet down tacitly. Only the ignorant Shayan-chan raised her head, stared at her mother for a while then turned towards Kuroto, not understanding why the both of them went quiet all of a sudden. When suddenly, several shinobi in white robes rushed into the main hall of the temple. Kuroto didn't hesitate and directly used rain will rotation to attract them towards him and killed them instantly with precise gentle fist strikes, this whole process only took a few breaths, as soon as traces of panic started to appear on Miko-sama's face the enemy shinobi were already dead. Miko-sama who couldn't even see the enemy shinobi's appearance was taken aback and finally exclaimed, you really are an excellent ninja. 
Since I have made a promise then I would naturally do my best to keep Miko-sama safe. After a short pause, Kuroto asked again, I hope Miko-sama can keep our agreement confidential. Miko-sama nodded gently, don't worry I give you my word. As more time passed, the outside noises started to calm down. Not long after, the shinobi of Kanoha, Sand, and Rock returned to the hall of the temple one by one under Pakura's lead, most of these cultists have been eliminated by us, the leftover won't be enough to pose a threat. The captain of Rock's unit said, Miko-sama, we should depart now. Kakashi also nodded silently. Kuroto glanced at the group of people, they all looked a little tired but none of them was injured, and this is also normal considering that the enemy shinobi were only Jinin or Chunin level at best while Kanoha, Sand, and Rock Shinobi are all elites of their own villages. Aside from the enemy's high chakra volume provided by Morio, all their techniques are only Chunin or Jinin class, so it is natural for them to suffer a crushing defeat. Suddenly Kuroto thought of something and asked, what happened to their leader of the cultists? Guy laughed heartily, their leader managed to escape but I don't think he would survive considering he was pierced by Kitsun's Chidori. Hearing Guy mention this Kuroto vaguely remembered it was remnants of cultists that triggered the resurrection of Morio in the main series, but he isn't sure whether the leader of the remnants in the future is the same as the current one. But it was no use thinking about it anymore, who knows what might happen in the future, after all his presence here will keep affecting the events, and as he starts getting more and more involved with the happenings, the future might be a totally different picture than what Kishimoto Sensei painted. That's the end of this tale for now. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe, or you'll wake up on Orochimaru's Cold Lab Experience Table by dusk. Comment your thoughts and with that being said have a great rest of your day in peace.